What? Nick, what'd you say? Let's see. Let's let's dissect what Nick is what Nick has brought forth today. Dylan is man oh man, do you look good? You just know it, you know. I don't know the rest of the thing between Anthony Mack and Sebastian Stan. I don't know what you're talking about either. I know that that's Warner Soldier and Falcon, but I have no clue what you're talking about. Also bring back steroids for hitters, well, yeah, obviously. Me too, Ka! Me too! I agree, because it's such a joke. Listen, we're getting all these no-hitters. We're going to have more no-hitter moments. We're going to have more, more things, because we just... We're not trying to put the ball in play. We're not trying to do things. I mean, obviously, you know, do you think the no-hitters are going to stop? You know what I'm saying? Like, do you think the no-hitters are just going to be like, ah, we've seen enough, you know? You know what I'm saying? Like, no, the no-hitters are going to keep coming and coming and coming because nobody gives a shit. You know what I'm saying? Nobody get. But like, you know what I'm saying? The no hitters are gonna keep on happening until people start to get wise with two strikes. Until people stop trying to go for the long ball, and they try to be a little bit more competitive at the dish. Because right now, it is not competitive. See, I bought the two. Oh yeah, it's gonna be nice. I, you can see I bought these two cards, the Cabrera and the uh, the Marquecas. I bought them. I said, why not? I don't even know what the fuck that was. But I bought them. Um, I don't know if my shit sold. Let's see. Did it not? All right, my control thing sold. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going <clears throat> after Kluber. Again, finishing up um, that run. And then, uh, that's kind of it. But debut of what? Uh, I'm just going to... What was I going to do? I'm not... Oh, yeah. I'm going to get rid of that perky. I'm going to get rid of this Molly Percocet here. 9350 I'll give me 84 mm. I don't know what else will I don't know what else will we could buy here cuz I do want to get working on a lot of these cards that I don't have. You mean Kellenic? Yeah, no, I'm not going to debut them. I mean, I was thinking about playing online like I said in that post on the Discord. I was thinking about it. Um I don't know if I'm going to play online. If I do play online, we're going to play ranked to try to win a game and get to 500. Uh, I I got five days. I'm probably going to buy the Clemente. Because if you know anything about me, you know that I am a collectionist of these cards. I like to collect them. I like to have all the cards. Where'd Max be? They went home that night. And Max with his girlfriend right now and... Uh, uh, Max, see, you want to know what's been AIDS? Because I just saw that Mac texted me. It's what reminded me is um, Mac, Mac went away to Florida, right? So, you know that. I think I might have said that like two weeks ago or something like that. Mac went to Florida with his girlfriend and his girlfriend's family. They went to Disney. So when that happened, PJ came to Mac's house, took his Xbox, and ripped for him. Ripped a lot of online and stuff. They didn't read my shit. Yeah, we were just focused up. It was... Because what sucked was that, like, they came over in the afternoon and evening. It would have been awesome if we if they had stayed over. Like, if it was a weekend, because PJ wouldn't have had to gone back to work the next day, and Mac wouldn't have had to gone home, oh, we would have been ripping all night long. It would have been hysterical. Would have been great because we were having a great time. I rewatched the stream. I thought it was a fantastic stream. We had a good time. Um, but what happened was PJ went and ripped on his Xbox. And since he's been home, PJ's been working and stuff. And I go back to his house because uh, he's been staying with his girlfriend. And um, Mac hasn't had his Xbox in like a week. And uh, he keeps forgetting. What if I came to rip?
So, you know, it just, it's where it's at. But honestly, I might put in the buy order for the Clementi. Because all these guys have been, you know. We have some time to buy the Rhine, the, Rhine, the Prince, and the other guy. Forgot who it is. And then also we have two weeks to buy Mattingly and them. So, we have plenty of time to fundraise. Bob Clemente is out in five days. So, it's like, I I might think about putting in a buy order. For, for Clemente. Uh, pretty soon. Dylan, I'm starting pitching for JV1 Saturday. Let's get it. Love to hear it. Love to hear it. Yeah, we're going to put in a buy order for it. Um, Because I do want the card. Um, Like I said, this is what I do with my coin from here on out. Because I have the live series done. It's trying to get the other cards. I'm not concerned about headliner cards or the cards in the space one through three packs because we're going to be earning them i'm not even concerned the prices and they're going to be in the store again prices will go through the fucking floor i'm not i'm genuinely not concerned and all these guys are 8k he's 15 but like percival and all that stuff where do you get all your coin because i need coal so basically like since i completed the mlb I've just been kind of saving up. I've gotten some pulls. Like, I'm not going to lie. There there have been some pulls that have been had. But the biggest thing is just playing. All right, we got the Clemente. We got him. Uh, but I do like to be like a completionist type of deal. We are going to play online because if we win one online game, we're going to get to that pack, and then I get to pick Tom Murphy or uh, the other guy. And then that's another person that I don't have to buy. Who is it? Who's in that pack? No, it's not him. Who's in that pack with him? I can't think. Oh, it's the fucking all-star one. It's the all-star. Wade. Yeah, Wade Davis. So, <coughs> I'm done. <coughs> I hate when that happens, when you inhale, and you totally just suck down a whole fucking shit. Sades. Um, should we play online first? Yeah, let's do ranked. Wait, first off, let's fix this fucking team that they decided to put out there on the fucking field. First off, fuck Posada. Put in Piazza. That's one. Two. We can leave Acuna. Yeah, Noodle Boy can stay there. Yeah, no, I'm good with it. We're going to play online. We're going to fuck around. We're definitely going to fuck around. Uh, let's play online. Let's play a little ranked. I win one game. It's not about the fucking unlock at five wins shit or the ten. It's about getting to this at 500 and being able to get Tom Murphy so that I only have to buy like Wade Davis. You know what I'm saying? Play online. I'm not excited about it. If you can't tell, because it's just just a it's such a pain in the ball sack. It really is sometimes. It really is sometimes a kick in the nuts. It really is. Hand got caught in the fucking thing. Oh, now I get to use this. I haven't used that. I didn't use that all last game. Scherzer versus Feller. We got Buxton showing up. It's not a bad team. It's not a bad team. I like the Solak. Home. The New York Yankees versus the New York Islanders. We're playing a uh, PlayStation. I love it. I love that I use that. I absolutely love that song. And the first pitch. Buxton the Buxton. That'll work for me. Won't it? All right. 
show high. Wow. He's betting 333 with three dingers. So that would tell me that most of his hits with show high have been of the dinger variety. That curveball wasn't even a bad one to Buxton. No, 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 it's Acuna. It was Acuna. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was Acuna. It was Acuna in left. Buxton is in right. And Trout's in center field. I mean... Made a mis bit of a mistake. It's too late, and he's not even catching up. I'm gonna put this one out of the strike zone. It's perfect timing. Very late. I don't like this whole. I don't like this slider. I don't like this slider. This is not. Ooh. I guess I did like the slider. slider. I knew it right away. As soon as I pressed the button, I knew exactly what pitch he had just thrown. You know what I'm saying? Like, you ever have that where you know exactly what pitch has been thrown and you try to stop, but it's just too late. You can't. You can't compete. Oh shit. Is that gone? Is that gone? Let's go. Fucking served that one up, didn't you, Chucky, you stupid fucking idiot? Oh, the fucking purple. Fucking. You can do it! I was super duper ultra late on that one. His slider really has action. It really moves with it, doesn't it? All right, slider curveball. I think he's going to come back with either a cutter or a fastball. It was a fastball. It was a fastball. Holy shit. I think, I think it's fastball again. It was a chain. Wow. I mean, he featured every single pitch on that. LaRusso's so bitch made, bro. I don't even want to talk about that. You want to talk about how you turn uh, maybe a possible uh, World Series contender into having the lowest morale and, and a rift in the dugout? That's that's the prime example. I mean, to be honest with you, I mean that that is insane. What? Wow. What that statement was was ridiculous. What what that My statement was was big crazy. And it keeps getting bigger. <laughs> Flight EX. Uh, one, two, four, five, six. Thank you very much for the follow. Thank you. I know the changeup. He featured every pitch in that at bat to me. Uh, he had the cutter up. He had the fastball up. He had the, uh, the curveball in, the slider out, and then the changeup right on the outside edge. Bro, that's not even where I wanted it. Like, here's the thing, and and I was talking to Mac about it last night. We talked for like two hours on the subject about um, about the uh, Yerman uh, situation, and I mean I already kind of prefaced it with what I was saying about creating a rift in the dugout, but Yerman Mercedes did nothing wrong. I just pitched that way too early. Let that go. We basically here's. Here's the situation, right? This this is the situation. 
is that if we're going to piss and moan about that there's a certain time to swing 3-0 and a certain time for this and that and, and courtesy and have some respect and all that, let's put in a mercy limit. Put it, let's be little league, let's put in a mercy rule, and let's get the fuck out of the game. You know, if we can't be competitive at all fronts, you know, it's it's ridiculous what LaRusso said. You know what that shows? Old. Old versus the new. You know, maybe there is a time and a place that that what LaRusso was saying is correct and Yerman would have been wrong. But not now. You probably didn't have to swing at that pitch. No. See, I disagree. If you have a guy on the mound, if you have a position player on the mound, it is no longer a baseball game. Okay? It's it's a theater. It's a circus act. It is no longer a game. A competitive atmosphere. You get what I'm saying? It's no longer real. And if you're behind 3-0... Position player or not, in a blowout game of that nature, I'm sorry. You got to swing the bat, okay? And like you said, he's trying to get the bag. He's trying to get a contract, okay? He's trying to get a contract, right? He's a nobody, right? At, he's Where'd he come from? He came from a no, nobody knows, right? He's a kind of an unproven commodity. And if we're going to piss him on about, oh, four, up 15 to 4, what happens if he didn't swing at that? It's 3-1. Fouls off another 3-2, strikes out, and the Twins score 12 runs because there's been 12 run ninth innings in Major League Baseball history. And they lose the game, 16-15. What are we going to say? Oh, maybe he should have fucking swung. That's what's going to happen. Well, maybe he should have swung. If we're going to have an issue with a certain, you know, at a certain point, not being able to swing in a certain count, if we're going to have an issue with that, call a mercy. Call a mer put a mercy rule in there. So we can, you know, doubt it happens, but it has happened. And that's the beauty of baseball is that you're never out of it. As long as you have one strike to work with, you are never out of a baseball game. And that's the beauty of the game. That's the beauty of the game. You can say, oh, I doubt it happens, but it has happened. There have been 12 run ninth innings. Well, I disagree with the take sign. It is 15 to 4. Never give up an at bat in a blowout. Whether you're winning or losing, you never give up an at bat. And you know what? It's in the strike zone. It's 3 0. I disagree wholly with Tony LaRusa. I think Tony LaRusa is a disgrace to baseball for that comment. No, you want to put fun into the game? You do what Yerman did. But his coach called the sign. I don't agree with calling the sign. I think it's 15 to 4. Who's who's calling signs out at, up 15 to 4 in the ninth inning? Who's calling that? Like, that's a manager that doesn't understand the, the game, where the game is at. Who's managing at 15 to 4? You're sitting back on the bench, your, your fucking lineup cards in your back pocket. You've probably made some defensive substitutions to put some rookies in. But let me tell you something. Whether he had called a take or not, you do not throw your player under the bus like that because you saw every single player i'm not even paying attention to this fucking spastic what he's doing on the mound like this guy's probably like i'm striking him out i don't even i don't even care i'm, I'm chatting like you know what i'm saying i don't even give a shit but what i'm saying is like you don't come out and say that's the wrong thing and there'll be repercussions for our family go fuck yourself like you know what i'm saying like get the fuck out of here you fossil like jesus christ Christ Almighty, you, even if you don't like it, you say, yeah, whatever. And you talk in-house. You talk in the dugout. You talk in the locker room. You don't, like, look how Girardi handled that fight with Gene Segura. I'm not talking about it. it stays in the clubhouse. stays in the dugout. I'm not, look at the Ratter Raccoon. I'm not talking about it. Ratter Raccoon. Whatever happens stays in the, whatever was said stays there. Like, not saying this shit. That's craziness craziness and absolute like it's weak and i loved lance lynn and and tim anderson and everybody getting on the case being like yo bro what the fuck are you talking about and like everybody is nobody what i like 
It's like there were kind of some halvesies with the Tatis situation. There's no halvesies here. Like, everybody's saying, like, LaRusso, what the fuck? And he, like, he's tripling and quadrupling and quintupling down on it. Because then the next day he gets thrown and he goes, ha, fuck him. Basically, that's what he said. He told his, uh, oh, well, fuck him. He des basically saying, like, he deserved it. You never say your player deserves to get hit in the head, in the foot, in the rib, in the arm, intentional or not. one nothing, 15 nothing, or anywhere in between. Extras, first batter, or... You never, ever, ever, ever say, basically, that your player deserves to be hit. Ever. And I agree with what Lance Lynn said. Because you know what people are going to say? Oh, he's got no problem hitting Yerman? I'm going to fucking beam him every time at the plate. If you had some real scumbag people, like back in the old days of baseball, and somebody said something like that, they'd be like, all right, clearly his manager don't give a fuck about him. We're going to beam the shit out of him today. And if he gets back up, we're going to beam him the next time. We're going to beam him the next. We're going to beam him the next. Like, he don't care, right? Like, that's the, that's the attitude it gives off. You know what I'm saying? Like, wow, look at that fucking, fucking PCI. Like... Fuck that. You see that PCI check? That thing's nowhere fucking in the same time zone. The game's a joke. That fucking PCI. Did you see that shit where that PCI was? Whatever. I mean, but like craziness. Crazy. I, I totally... I cannot speak in more terms about how fucking distasteful what Tony La Russa did. Um, because you have to have your players back. You, you have to. Like, I guarantee you that they're talking about it in that clubhouse. Like, you know, our manager doesn't have our back. So why should we have his? And that's what it's about. Like, my manager don't care. Like, my manager don't give a shit. But if you want to in inject life into it, what you should be talking about is the fact that you had one fucking fat fuck pitch it to another fat fuck, and, and he took him yard. Like, 3-0, and he fucking obliterated it 47 miles. I bet you, like, everyone, like, was like, oh, my God, like, that's so much, like, that's so cool and so much fun to watch and shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-oh, retard alert. Retard alert, class. Let's fucking go. But, you know, I just have a... I just disagree with how he's handled the whole situation. Between his comments after the homer, his comments after that, and then his comments towards Lance Lynn. Like, I'm sorry. You can't not defend your players for two consecutive days and then get butt hurt when your players tweet, like... When your players tweet that they're butt hurt, you can't then get butt hurt and be like, "No, I, I, you're not allowed to be butt hurt. I'm the manager." Like, no, no, my guy, you, you're speaking out your ass off. Yeah, you, know, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't, you can't be like, "Oh, you, you, you can't, you can't." You know, if we're going to say, you know, even if you disagree with Lance Lynn, but you also disagree with Tony La Russa, you, you have to have let both people be able to speak. Yeah. I mean, I saw one tweet, and it was, like, hysterical. So, like, let's say, like, one of the baseball writers tweeted out his quote about, like, oh, there's be repercussions or something like that. And somebody was like, it's not the first time he doesn't know how to handle a Mercedes. I was like, yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. He can't even follow the law. Forget about rules. He can't even follow the law. And we're going to talk about fucking... We're going to talk about unwritten, gay-ass rules of baseball. I played baseball. I've watched baseball my entire life. Some of these unwritten rules are retarded. Is that... That's not gone, is it? Just going to miss it. Oh, let's go. Like, 
piss out of here. But they, you know what I'm saying? Like, the guy can't even listen to the ru the laws of the land. And we're going to worry about unwritten rules in a sport. In the ninth inning of an 11-run game on the road. Like, you've got to be absolutely fucking kidding me. Guy is a, guy's insane. Captain Insano. And that's just how I feel about it. And and if I was playing, I just... And especially with the way that Yerman was then hit by a pitch. And then the comments after the hit by pitch. If I'm out there, I'm going... My manager don't have my back. My manager don't got my... He don't have me. Like, if I go out there and do something, my manager doesn't have my teammates back. So what makes me think I'm gonna, that he's going to have mine? And that's the fucking type of schism and division that can be sowed when something like that occurs. And and that's what I'm saying. And that's what I'm saying. Is that we can sit here and say, oh, he took a take sign and he swung and it was 3-0 and it was 11 runs and there was a position player throwing 47 miles an hour. and But at the end of the day, you know, we can't be complaining about you know, trying to trying to get life in the game, and then when there is a bit of life, say unwritten rule. Like to me, that's not how it works. You know. Because we can get barely get people to understand the real rules, and then these Fakakta half-ass Manfred rules. Come on, that's ridiculous. They finally start checking swings. Give me a break. Like, that was a good curveball. Like, there's nothing else I could do there. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's zero else we can do with that scenario. That curveball was terrible. Dude, that's just a hanger, my guy. Like, I know I caught it. But Christ, what about the time when it's going to be a homer because of the RNG? Like, Christ. Base it. Martinez took first base and chucked it. What? I don't know what you mean. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I saw him. Oh, I was. It took me a while. Davy, Davy Martinez, not face it. Took first base and chucked it. You know what? I bet you that'll get his team fired up, won't it? Hey, friend. Double play. And the only reason he was there, there was no shift on, is because it was going to cover second base. Which does happen. That's how the Mets got a triple play turned on him. Yeah, no, no, I got you. It just took me a second to, to think about it, but... Um, no. Like I said, I... I just disagree with it, you know? I'm an outsider. I have no stake in either team. I'm not a Twins fan. I'm not a Chicago White Sox fan. But I am a baseball fan, and I know that Tony La Russa is a Hall of Fame manager, and he's won a World Series as a manager in two different leagues and in two different teams. And he's won a championship in three different decades. But that doesn't mean that he could be a retard, okay, out there. And that doesn't mean that he can go willy-nilly just not defending his players. Oh my god. Oh, 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 oh. Green, 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 green. Please the Cubs from Maven. I know. One dollar. But you know what? Good on the Cubs to see, like, hey, let's give this guy a, an opportunity. We have no room at the end. Um let's give this guy, he's clearly a major league talent he's been around you know in the major since 2006 we have no room let's let's give him a chance to play on another team and they gave him away for a dollar it's not an indicative of his play good on the cubs um you know for just saying like here take the guy and give him a chance and he's playing he's listen with the injuries that have been happening to the mets He's going to be playing for at least the next couple of games in the outfield. So, he's going to be playing Major League Baseball instead of being in Iowa uh, with the uh, Springfield Cubs. So, I mean, Iowa Cubs, excuse me. So, 
Um, you know, good on them. Good on them. Uh, I'll give the I'll give the Cubs tremendous credit for that. Good for them. Well, that's a hit. It's a double. You know what I'm saying? kind of like wanted to check that swing is he gonna pinch what is he doing he pinch hitting i mean um different picture no fuck this is a hanging curveball that's gotta be a home run i fucked up at least acuna will tag and be safe i gotta run her a third for Piazza, who did hit a solo homer in the third to give us back the lead. Fuck. I think he's just going to try to hum some fastballs in there. Try to go back to that slider. There's the slider. I was late on it. I did. I tried to lay it down there. Uh, but I didn't expect him to pop it up. About a million miles. Strike one. Come on. Shit. It's just... I hate when things are left up out of your control. Like, check swings. You know, when you hit a check and it's like, it's bull. And it's like, why? I mean, when it's a strike and it's a bull. Like, it's not up to your control about what the... What it is. What? The bunt? The bunt was a very sound move. I got 90 speed at, at third. It's not a force play. I I had no problem with it. I just didn't think that an outside curveball would lead to a um would lead to a uh, fly ball bunt to second base. I didn't see that one coming at all. From the game. From the RNG. I know, but I've never even seen a bunt go that far. Like, that's what I'm, like... But, you know, with two strikes, I know, like, I've got Piazza, but, again, the only reason I did it was because I had speed. I get that ball on the ground at first base, it's not a force play, and I kind of sent him home. Um, he's he's going to be safe by a mile with my fifth run. That's why I was doing it. He's got a pinch hit, right? He is not pinch hitting with Scherzer. Interesting. Fuck. He is. Is it the 42 card? Probably definitely is the 42 Jordan. Yeah. Problem is, if he wanted to stream snipe me, he could because Bob Feller is so fucking long with his shit. Fuck me, Bob. My like Christ. No way! Are you kidding me? Oh, no way, my guy. Oh, no. You gotta be fucking me, man. No shot. Alright, alright. But come on, did you see that shit? Where did that strike miss? Come on. The only hit's been the fucking homer to Otani. That's been all she wrote. Wait a minute. 
There's a new subscription. Who subscribed? Dude, the whole, like, fucking bot has not been working. It's just not been it, Chief. Past couple of nights. Hold on. I gotta go on here and fucking refresh the, uh, the, the thing. Because this is crazy. People keep fucking doing it all the time. And they're not, it's not coming up. Like, crazy. Like, the bot, like, you know, um, not the bot, but, like, the fucking, like, um, thing. The alert box that comes up and says, hey, you know, because so, it says, like, we have plus one new subscription on the stream. One. But who is it? I don't know, because it just doesn't fucking say it. Crazy. Like, did you resub, Nick? Is that what it's saying? Did you resub? Because sometimes people resub, and it's like... Like, the resub thing hasn't worked. It hasn't worked. Like, I think my friend Matt Malahi resubbed, and I didn't even know. I didn't even know what happened. Damn. Like, then, it, it's just so stupid. This doesn't pop up! Anywhere. Chipper's over too. PJ had a clutch up home run with Chipper. And we're back in an 0-2 hole. Still got crazy good aim. The show needs me. You do. Show needs you, my guy. How you been, Justin? Dude, that was the home run that that was the ball that he hit the home run on. Hundred mile an hour up and in. Like and I, and listen, I can't even complain about the whole show I think. I know I said like, oh his PCI sucked on that play. But like he did hit one in real life like that. So two like that. So I can't even really complain. If the MLB just seen what I did, they would tell me to just pick a team. Why? What do you? What'd you do? What'd you do? Yo, did you see that guy standing up in the back on the fucking railing? Did anybody see that shit? Yo, clip that and fucking go back and watch it. The guy was standing on the railing. He was literally popping a squat on the railing of the dugout. Oh, come on. What, is you, what are you missing like that? This is going to be a homer. I just want to know, like, just late. I'm, I'm throwing it here. How does it end up over there? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I, I just want to know. I, I, I really want to know what, what the fuck is going on. No way. Oh, no. I got 99 speed bucks. In. Like, that's, that's what you call a nice catch.
I was fucking. I've walked. Griffey twice. I saw that you just messaged Justin. Hold on, I will read it in a second. I just want to focus up on this Griffey. This is a card that can like change a change an event. I'm just gonna focus up. One second, mate. And I will read it. Dude again! He has check swung on that inside curveball, and they gave it to him. When the check swing on the inside pitch it was almost like an automatic fucking strikeout. Sit down. Thank you. Some dude on an ATV was flying by my house at 20 a.m. He was selling drugs on the road, and I watched him. So I grabbed the lighter, and when he drove back, I ran out full speed through my lighter. Wow. Whipping that shit. You know, what, you know what just popped into my head to the fucking Napoleon Dynamite scene when he hits him on the on the bike? When he throws it side, that thing sidearm, and he fucking hits him. He was going perpend. Okay, yeah. So you let him. <laughs> no, no, bro. His check swings are fucking no doubt about it. No, safe. Minor. Yeah. Piss off with the fucking RNG of this game. Crazy, crazy, crazy. My check swing. Yep, he went around. His two check swings. Nope. Check swing, I didn't see it. Ah, oh, circus. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do with this game sometimes? What are you gonna do? Well, Ernie Banks had three flyouts. Shit, man. All right, to the seventh we go. Um, I don't know how much longer I'm going to go with Bob. I'm going to get the bullpen kind of cranking. Uh, we're going to get up Gossage. We're going to get up Lee. Not too much longer. Not too much longer with this guy. Not too much longer. What happened on that pitch before, perfect example of what happens when you are able to get that low curveball and get him guessing. I just was able to throw. Are you kidding me? And then he check swings again and doesn't get the strike call. One, 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 one. Throw it! I wanted it. Dude, you should. You should have. Should have gained the old one two smacker. Thanks for finally giving me some type of RNG kind of call there with that daughter. Oh, of course, another check swing. And he doesn't go on that one. Pitch. Fuck with that fastball rising high on me. Struck him out. I, you know, in a normal world, you'd say, "Oh, walk Nick Soul like a why he's gonna pinch it anyway." Catch that. Thank you. All right, got through the seventh. Uh, I've seen enough of Bob Feller. Um, seven strong innings. I've seen enough. Fuck. Mike, where is that when Acuna was at third base to give me that insurance fifth run? Dick. Yeah, okay, no. 
Good good idea, Bob, for grabbing a bat, but you can piss off to the fucking bench. Thanks. Putting Steve Finland in. Oh, I see what you're saying. Fuck. I've got to hit that gone very late on a slider down the cocker. All right, waste it all. Oh. You yeah, know, I would be suspicious too. Guys on ATVs, late at night, drugs or no drugs, I don't give a shit. You know, if you know that in your area there's people on ATVs doing home invasions and it's late at night, which is when 99.9% .9 of all of those shits happen, you gotta know, you know, you gotta keep your guard up, my guy. Yo, good jump, Finley. I don't think you could have got a worse jump if you tried. Can I be honest with him? Like, I don't think that Finley could have done a worse piss poor job trying to steal that big. That's why I was trying to swing, because of how horrific that fucking jump was. Well, yeah, no, you gotta, you have to. The circus. Again, RNG of what kind of a jump is he gonna get, and then I get possibly the worst jump of all time. Uh, did he cream himself watching Kluber? Yes, he did, because I did. And we were watching, we were on FaceTime together. And he was watching, so. He did. I mean, the last Yankee... My crew is big, and it keeps getting bigger. Brother Chi Chi, thank you very much for the follow. Um, thank you very much. How you doing, my guy? How you doing? Real guns are illegal with pimple. Huh. That's a spicy. That's a spicy one. Um, what was I saying? Because the last Yankee no-hitter was on, was in 1999, and Mac was barely one year old, so he had never seen his team, he had seen his team win some world championships, he had seen some Hall of Famers, he had never seen that, um, he had never seen a no-hitter or a perfect game by a, like, obviously he was alive, he was born just after David Wells, and he was alive for David Cohn's perfect game, but he was not cognizant um he remembers watching the Mucina bit in Boston but it was good because I had watched it over here for the Mets you know with Santana but it was good to have him get it it was good to have him get it going but um brother Chi Chi welcome in thank you very much This is going right down the fucking middle. So wait, what did he pause for? Huh. Thank you. Thank you very much. Three outs to get. I don't know. I might leave Dickhead in. Because he really just pitched a very a very dominant performance right there. I might. I might leave him in. Depends. Everybody's been using this Barnes, too. I mean, I don't care. I really, I'm done with this, with this fucking asshole. I just want to get out of the game, grab a win, go over 500, get that fucking free card, and then get the fuck out and play offline. Like honestly, that's what I want. I don't even. Like I don't even give a shit. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, I just want... I just want to be out. Fuck! Chipper! You gotta pound that shit to the fucking moon, my guy! Fuck you. Again! Again! What is he, early? Very late. game, my guy. Shit. Yeah, fuck out. Let's go. Come on. Fuck! I hung it. Fucking... <laughs> All right, a three-run lead going to the top of the ninth. We're going to start off with Goose because he could barely fucking touch him. Against the meat of his order, can we grab the win? And he's just pumping it in. 101, 100. And he had one pitch at 102. He's red hot now. Sit down. Oh, thank you. They finally called him on a check swing. Thank you. It's about time. I'm just mad at the game for just not giving him the same dog meat RNG that they were giving me. Fucking fastballs not being strikes. I don't like it. He was very early on that. All right, got back in the count. Let's go. Am I going to walk Griffey for the third fucking time in this game? Yep. Fuck me. Who else didn't see this RNG coming from a fucking mile away? Cuh. Like, fuck you, team. Like, you know what this game could do? How would you like to suck my balls? You good? Gun him! Ow, get the fuck out of my lobby. Let's go. GG, but fucking... Let's go. Piss off. The RNG almost fucked me. Almost fucked me over. Wow, we were literally almost tied. I can't tell I love this. That's why I'm, le that's why I'm leaving it on.
I hope everyone's enjoying Meet the Mets, because I do. Big win. That was a fun one. Oh, man. <laughs> hmm. As much as ground. Yeah, I get. Yeah, fuck. Like shit. And then when you look, she's like 12, and it's like, Jesus Christ, these fucking people. It's crazy. But that's what gets them famous, so it's like, they're like, fuck that. And the parents don't give a fuck, so what does anyone give a fuck? We lost two subs? Bro. Fucking F in the chat. Jesus. Dude, I just feel like with this channel, where we... Whenever we take a step forward, we take about 58 steps backwards. Nah. Yeah, nah. It's, I think that would be a bit sus. You know what I'm saying? Like, we just... We just... We take a step forward... And then we take a step back. It's like, no. It's stupid. It really is crazy. How, you know, we just take a step forward and then we take a step back. It'll get better in the, uh, it'll get better in the future. It's just like, you know what I'm saying? Where we gained two sub, we gained two follows today. But then we just lost one, and I, it's like crazy, you know. You know, we, we, get, we got all those gifted a couple days ago. We then lose two subs. Shit's booty, that's what it is. So now that I've done that, let's go back to the conquest. And do what we came to do, which is to win 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Is it 13? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. It's 14. Oh, two, three, four, six, seventy-nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I mean, listen, the Mets have won nine out of the last thirteen games, and three of those were against the Tampa Bay Rays, and three of those four wins, uh, losses, they had a lead. So it's like the Mets, for all their issues about not really having that much of a team, have definitely been. Pretty good. Like I gotta, I gotta give them credit. They have definitely cobbled together a little something out of absolutely nothing. It's 
sucked. That's what it did. It sucked. It fucking blew. Fucking retard coach decided, hey, I'm gonna put in my goaltender, who's kind of hurt, kind of not. We're gonna put him in, just for the fuck of it. And really blow our chances at a win. And he did. And he did. I mean, he blew that chance of an Isle Dub. No, every week. My guy. It's every fucking night now. We've now had one. We've now had... I'm counting. And if you don't count the mad bum one, you're, you're an idiot. Because... We sanctioned seven inning games. It was in a sanctioned seven inning game. The umpires walked off the field. They said, that's the game, folks. It wasn't called for rain or anything else. It wasn't called because of a power outage. It wasn't called for any of that. The game ended. And to me, it's a no-hitter. It's not like all that other shit where it doesn't count because, oh, it was rain out or this or that. No, it was a physically ended by no fault of anybody's game. So to me, it's like, that's a no-hitter. So we've now had, well, we had the first no-hitter, then like a couple days later it was Rondon. Then we were kind of silent. Then we had the Reds, Wade Miley. Then like the next day it was Means. But then we also in between that had the Mad Bum. And then yesterday we had Turnbull, and today we have Kluber. So like, when the no-hitters have happened, they've happened in like, very very close proximity to so we've had like these three groupings of no hitters where it was Musgrove and Rondon it was Miley and Means and then it was Turnbull and Kluber and then you know even if you want to say that the third grouping had Mad Bum then it did but it's like it's crazy where it's kind of like we're like grouping these things together the reason why but here's to answer your question of why it's happening is because the way that we train these hitters to hit and the way that they're attacking the, the game is eight. And I'm surprised it's taken this long to do it. Ever since the... Well, they've killed the baseballs too, so a lot of those flyouts in these no-hitters that are going to mid-center field or even the warning track would have been homers or very, very things in the gap or, or things that would have been harder to catch or maybe not catches at all. So, Nick is right about that. But also, we have literally just been saying, all right, I want an uppercut swing, home run. If it bounces off the wall, not a home run, then it's a double or triple if you have speed or whatnot. But we're aiming for the home run. We're not aiming for the base hit. We're not aiming for the 350 batting average or the 370. We're not aiming for 300-something hits, you know, 260-something hits in a, in a season. You know, we're going for the home run ball. Uh, every single pitch of every single at bat. So, that's the problem, is that we are we are batting horrifically and scooping. So everything's going up in the air, or they're striking out outright. That's why strikeouts have been on an explosion. And if it continues to occur, Nolan Ryan, what everyone thinks is unbeatable, has to watch out, because there will be people like a Scherzer who pitched like Scherzer at the beginning of this strikeout portion of MLB history, and in 20-something years, they're going to be crossing over the 5K marker. I guarantee you, there will be, a, um, within the next 35, 40 years, if baseball continues to go down this trend of homer or nothing, you're going to have people getting to 4,000, 4,500, 5,000, if they start to let the pitchers go back to pitching like they used to. That was quite a crazy ending. It's quite a crazy ending. It's quite a crazy series. I mean, I think that that's a series that can go seven. Where with the Islanders and Bruins, um, Islanders and Penguins, I do believe that that's more of like a, a six or a five game series, either way for the Islanders or the Pens. I don't think it's going to go to seven. Um, but like I was saying to you last week, after we had won game one, I said that we had won game one. We had won a game on the road. Then... Game two was gravy. We didn't win it. We should have won it. We were clearly the better team in the next in the last fifty minutes of that game. Um, 
Varlamo stopped 40 shots, but unfortunately he let in two soft goals. That's his problem is he'll he'll get the craziness and let in the soft shit. It's been his problem the whole time. So definitely an issue with him. I would have started Sorokin. Uh, he showed you what he could do. He's going to be our goaltender. Uh, I'm, I'm done with Varlamov. Like, he's old. Sorokin's young. And Sorokin won his first game. Like, I'm sorry. I'm going to the Coliseum tomorrow night, and I'll be posting pictures in my Discord. If you're not in the Discord, please, uh, please, please join it. Here it is. There's the link for the Discord. But, um... I'm going to be posting videos and photos and shit like that. But if I... I'm going to I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm going to keep it a, a Ben Frank with you. I'm sitting on the far end of the Coliseum. So the Islanders come out far away of the tunnel. They, they're like over here. Right? If the first guy that comes out of that tunnel isn't number 30, uh, Ilya Sorokin, I'm going to be a little upset. I'm going to be a little upset. I'm not going to lie. I'm gonna I'm gonna be sitting there going, hmm. I don't really know about that. I don't really know about that. That's what I'm gonna be sitting. I'm gonna be going. All right, let's go Islanders. Right, I'm an Islander fan. I'm here at the Coliseum. I'm like, let's get after it. But I'm gonna also be sitting there going, I don't know. You know, that's that's the biggest thing. Is gonna, I'm gonna sit there going, yeah, I walk out. I mean, listen, I'm only paying a hundred dollars tomorrow. If you wanna know how I got this ticket, it's kind of lit. Somebody was giving it away on Twitter. Somebody was giving it away like, oh, I have an extra ticket, vaccinated section, let's get after it. Who wants to go? And nobody had answered. And I was like, fuck it, I'll go. Hundred dollars? Shit. I got the ticket transferred to me. It's a real ticket. It's got a barcode. I said, let's get after it. I gave the money, and that was the end of the story. So... And that's how I got a Islander playoff ticket for a hundred bucks tomorrow. I can't believe I did, but I yeah. So I'm gonna be at the Islander game tomorrow, and you know, if we win, because this is what I said, like I was trying to say before, is that if we had done it with the we had won game one, if we won game two, it was gravy. Tie game. 1-1. One, one. It's now a best-of-five series. Two games in PPG Paints Arena. Three games at the National Veterans Memorial Coliseum. It's set up for us on the books to be a dubber. And in the four series since Barry Trotz took over the New York Islanders, the New York Islanders have played in six postseason series. They've won four and they've lost two. The ones that they won four, they won game one. The ones where they lost the two... They lost game one. So, we've got a lot of things going for us. Also, in Islander history, it's very rare in Islander history to lose game one. I mean, to win game one and not win the series. So, it's definitely the wave in Islander history. And also, it's the wave in, like, real history. I think in the NHL playoffs... It's something like 70% or something like that. If the wind... Yes, I did hydrate because here's my water. And I literally drank and I checked it off in the rewards queue. Yes, I did. You need to pay attention, Nick. I'm saying like we lost fucking subscribers like shit on a fucking bike i just feel like we're just in such an uphill climb now it's like we keep we keep gaining like gifted and then like people you know then the other gifted run out and it's like we gain the follows and then like i'll gain two tonight and then we just lost one like you know shit's nuts I'm not capping. You're capping. Redeem another one, Nick. And where's your other f fucking... The president of the Hydration Nation, bro? He's not subscribed no more. I messaged him. I was like, bro. 
your your uh, buddy of the hydration nations looking for you. Never answered. So you got to talk to Mads. You got to get on that hydration nation, John. Yeah, he's demoted to treasure, but you can't even say treasure because he's not subscribed, so he doesn't even have the money. Make him the secretary. He's the sec. He can't be the treasurer. He's not subbed anymore. If he resubs, yeah, he could become. He could re He can re become the president of the hydration nation. Happened when Drew wrote in the thing, he was like, oh, fucking uh, football. I'm like, not that football. The real kind. Jeez, you fuckhead. Dude, I'm just so late. Like, or early and shit. It's just like... This fucking... Oh shit on a shingle. Take. I'm early. I'm early. Fuck me. Get up. I don't know why, because I'm playing it tonight. Well, that's gone.
me. Horny. That is it. The second baseman. Mike. Move. Knock down. Oh, yeah. When you have uh, food at night, it definitely uh, makes you feel some type of way. Hold on, Nick. I'm gonna whisper you something. See the messages sent you? Messages is too. Dude, these are all the new ones. You want to hear the new ones? You want to hear the new ones? So this one was... Like jazz. That one was from, you know... That one was on the soundboard. I don't know if you heard it. It was there, um... When we played the other thing. We played uh, a couple nights ago. So then there's... Wow, 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 he's very nice. King in the castle, king in the castle. Yes, you match. I'm my name is Borat. I like you. I like sex. It's nice. Naughty, naughty. Dude, that's another one. Dude. He is failing my assholes. That's the funniest one. Great success. You suck, you jackass. You can do it. Group hug in the shower tonight. How would you like to suck my balls? I gotta raise the volume of some of these. 
Uh-oh, retard alert. Retard alert, class. Okay. 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 What the fuck is going on in here? From the campaign and then... Playing hee-haw with the fuck around gang. Dude, that will never not make me laugh. That fucking playing hee-haw with the fuck around gang from the campaign. That'll never not make me laugh. I will always laugh at that. Oh my. Playing hee-haw with the fuck around gang. Fucking serve that one up, didn't you, Chucky, you stupid fucking idiot? I hope to fucking hear that a little bit tomorrow. By a little bit, I mean like 15 times. That's an idea. It's definitely an idea. I was thinking of getting Roflo's voice when he goes, Yes, sir. We were talking about that in his Discord. Best Ken. Yeah, the Dinger Derby Ken Murphy is the best. I mean, his first one about being a right fielder was pretty good. If you're over the age of 13 and you're playing right field, it's because you're the worst fucking player on the team. Like, that one's a really good one. Just a classic. Um, but it's kind of like, I don't know if I want to use other people, like other people on the soundboard, where it's like when I'm... When I want to kind of stick to cartoons, movies, shows, pop culture, things like that. You know, like if I use like you or I use me, Mac, PJ, you know, if I were to go get something maybe like from Roflo or Nate or your friend, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Home play, oh yeah, home play umpire is funny. And then once you throw that shit turd out, he go, get out of here, that's a chode. That's, dude, I should get that one. Get out of here, your dad's a chode. I'm gonna, oh, I'm probably gonna get that one. I was thinking about putting the emote up there when things get played, like Nate does. Um. Uh. Because I, I do like that, it is nice. But at the same time, it's like, I do like the fact that it's just a sound effect. Fucking serve that one up, didn't you, Chucky, you stupid fucking idiot? Nothing, nothing. Yeah, I got a fucking. I've got to absolutely raise the volume of some of them. I don't know how to. Um. If they come out with a captain and say, no, uh, Walker Bueller, we'll, we'll use that for every strikeout if I play with him online. I'm not taking Corbin Burns out. Like, fuck that noise. Nice. Thanks for your pitcher tip or whatever the fuck, but I don't really give a fuck, so thanks.
mind. I'm fuckhead. Good shit, Corbin Burns. Let's go. As he very much starts the, I think, near tier 4 or is tier 4. I don't know. He's near something. Buxton's about to be tier 3. Burns is closing in on tier 4. So is Soriano and Chipper. Acuna's about to be tier 2. Piazza's closing in on tier 4. Banks just got the tier 3. Uh, Ortiz making the climb, and so is Trout. Trout making that climb for tier 5. All signs lead to Trout being my first tier 5 player. Dude, I had 17 on that, and now I have 7. I lost 10 on that particular round. Like, you gotta be kidding me sometimes with this fucking bullshit. You gotta be kidding me, bro. This whole rotation of doing this, um, this showdown, or whatever, uh, this conquest, the whole thing has been a genuine circus routine. Watch, can I win a 1v1? No. Oh shit, I did. Alright, so that was just a fucking song and dance. As I... Do I have my 300th territory? No, they took it right back. Well, guess what? I'm gonna go down with this shit. And I'm gonna take all that territory right back. And now all those fucking things are out of energy because they don't want to fight me no more. Because they, they're bitch. And uh, they get fucked up. No, fucking daytime. In June. Okay. Give me a hell yeah! You like jazz? I got, um... I get? I got... Black and white, thick shape. Those are the best. I gotta shake. Shake that ass. Oh my 
god. Ho ho ho. Green Giant. Gone forever, Aaron Hernandez. Um, yeah, shake that ass. No, I got a black and white thick chick. That's what I love. The guy, our ice cream guy, he, he makes him so good, it's unbelievable. That scared the fucking shit out of me. My air conditioner just defrosted, and I think shot about a 15 pound cube of ice out of my air conditioner. It scared the fucking shit out of me. Dude, that scared the shit out of me. You're sitting here having a chat, and all of a sudden, boom! An ice game shooting out. I don't know if you could hear the ice. I don't know if you could hear the ice coming out, but it definitely. The ice came out. minutes until game day and I can't sleep. It happens. Um, because you're excited, you know, that's the thing, you want to get after it. That's how it goes, you know. Well, with that home run, Acuna has to be tier two, right? Like, there's no chance he's not. We're playing on all-star difficulty. Oh, he fucked up. Oh, base hit from the pitcher. And the bases will be loaded. For Byron Buxton, who flew out to deep center field in his previous at-bat. Oh no, that's an infield hit. An infield hit for Buxton. And it's five. Nothing in the bases remain loaded. For Alfonso Soriano, who cranked a dinger derby in his last time. Come on. You can do it! Okay. Right down the cocker. Oh, hell yeah, bro. Inside out base hit. Let's go. That's a two run dinker. Um, how about at 500 subs? We do nothing. We get 500 subs. Trout having to take one right down the middle. Really suck it.
left fielder, Harold Ramirez. That is second. A shortstop. Bro, Nick. We're like uh, a couple bills away, I think like $12 away or something like that, from uh, grabbing, I think, like $300 all, all the time. Like all the time grabbing like 300 bills. I like the other option. We will not degrade ourselves. What I want to do if I ever become, like, really, really big is have watch parties of playoff games. Like, stream myself watching, like, a playoff game, and you can see how I act. You can get me all fucking aggravated. Benny Franks. Well, no, um, all time, all time in the five, in you know, in the six months that we've been streaming, the five months that I've been affiliate, we'll have made three hundred coin. Yeah. I think that. Um. I think that I'm no. I think it's like, so I need to get a, I need to get to hundred, by the end of the month, and I think that I need like eleven more dollars or twelve more dollars or some shit like that. But then to get the 300, I think it's like $40. Oh my god. Group hug in the shower tonight! Today success. Playing hee haw with the fuck around game. It's just, you know, basically you take the, sh the uh, sub count and divide it in, in half. Well, like times it by five, or times it by 2.5. And then that's roughly the amount of money. Then the bits, you gotta figure, you know, figure out how many bits. One bit to one dollar, so it's like, you know, you just go from there. I know he's up to what, almost twenty three hundred. I just feel like he was at five hundred and stuff, and it was a good number, but all of a sudden, just an explosion. Oh my Christ! He got to twenty six, bro. And somebody had to have gifted him like three hundred. Bro, what's his top gifted? Who's his top gifter? Because, N Nick, he was at 20-something. He was at, like, 22.72, like, late yesterday. So someone had to have dropped an absorbent amount of, of subs. So who's his top gifter of the week or the month or whatever the hell it is? You gotta go look at it. It's because he, cause he had to have just gained 400. Or not, it wouldn't be. It'd be, like, three, like, 320. In the past day. Crush. Yeah, go go look. And, like, it had to have just happened. Because, dude, he gained 32. He gained 320. Yo, Drew's in the house. Let's go. We're just looking at something, Drew. Hold on. We're just looking at something. That Nate, the guy that, I'm, that me and Nick are close with, we both mod for him. I've been in Discord calls with him, and I've talked with him, and I'm always in his chat and stuff. I always watch. We've raided a couple times. Um, I was saying that he, you know, Nick was saying that he gained a lot of subs, and I was saying, yeah, he's up to like 2280 or something like that. And, um, um, he was up to like 2280, and he said now he's up to 2600. He hit that purge and lost 200 subs. That's tough. The problem is, a lot of his shit is, is buoyant on subs, I mean, on gifted. And that's not a problem, right? Like, money is money. You know, he's still getting the coin from it, but a lot of it is bo is buoyed on, like, actual subscriptions. It's not that Because he posted on Insta825. Oh, so. And there's no number that really sticks down to you in that chat. There's no number that really... Gets gets at you. Everybody kind of gave a little and it turned into something. Yeah, half of his followers are sub, in in some way, whether it's by a gift or by themselves. I mean, I'm by myself. I gifted myself six months in advance. 
No, I, I gave myself six months. So I don't I don't pay again for Nate till August. So yeah, because I went from uh I went from February to August. So I'm I'm gonna be sub for and then it'll renew again, you know, for twenty five bucks for six months. You know, at down the line. Your attention. But listen, good for him, because he, he definitely works hard. And he has a nice setup, a good story. He's kind of been knocked down, right? Like, you know, he talks about it. When he hit 2,000, you weren't in there. But when he hit 2,000, he was very emotional. As you would when you hit a big number like that. I, I would be too, and I hope that if I ever am fortunate enough to hit that, that I will be. I think that I would be. Um, I was kind of going crazy at 45, so, you know. But uh, what he was saying is like, he was told very early on that he will never make it. He was talked, he was talked about in other people's chats about like never making it and stuff. And he's gotten 26 or 25, whatever the numbers, 100 subs concurrently, and he's a good streamer and quality and uh, gives out the good advice too. And it's good, man. I mean, he really is. I'm happy. Like I said, there's some things that I would change, and we've talked about it, both on stream and off, about like, you know, but he's not a broadcaster. He's he's coming into it from a totally different angle, so he's not the most polished. And you don't expect him to be the most polished. He does a damn good job at, at where he's at. He does a damn good job. What's his name? I want to check him out. So his name is... Um, uh, Nick, can you write it down? Actually, no, I'll, I'll write it. I'll write it in there. I'll write it in. I'll give it a shout out. Oh, does it not? Oh, okay, it did. I thought it wouldn't give it to him. He's on right now. He's on right now. He really is the man. He's the only MLB streamer that I watch. I mean, I watch smaller people like Ronin, right? Because he's a friend. I watch myself. Cause it's me. You know, I... I. Um, Kyle's chat's weird. He, Kyle's chat's weird, man. Like, I don't know if you ever hang out in that shit. But it's kind of a weird place. Um, I don't really fit in there. I don't really fit in. I don't really fit in. And I don't watch Danny Dumu, Dimu. I don't watch Kevin's YouTube videos. I don't watch Fuzzy on YouTube. I don't I don't really watch anybody else other than Nate. I really don't. I really don't. I don't watch Coogs. I don't watch... I really don't watch anybody. I really, I really just watch Nate. And by really, I don't know why it's a really. It's, it's the only answer. I mean, oh, I watch Meeks. I watch Meeksy. That's it. Those are like the only couple of people I watch. Troy Dan when he does it, right? I watch me, but he doesn't really count. I watch Ronin. I watch myself. I watch Meeks. I watch Nate. That's it. Like, like that is all I do. Kevin is quality, so unique. I just don't watch him. Like I said, like, you know, you get into your, you know, your person that you watch. And I'm happy that you guys and everyone else, you know, you guys select me to be the one that you guys watch. It means a lot. You know, I, I hope that we can grow something big here. But the growth, the growth has been kind of slower than I wanted. So we're hitting a real good rule of growth. And, uh, kind of shit itself. A lot of those fucking people that I was getting in February and March and stuff have been unfollowing and it's retarded. What are the rules on music? Okay, so here's what it is. If he were to leave the streams up, he would get copyright strikes, and too many of those, you'd lose your channel. So what he simply does is he deletes the videos as soon as... This, so he doesn't keep the streams up. Like with me, I keep them up for two months, which is the maximum, and then they auto-delete. I save them, and I put them on YouTube. With him, 
you know, they get lost to time unless you put things. So because of that, he never runs into any DMCA copyright strikes. Like, because I want to save my streams, I love my content, I love talking to Chad and putting up content of playing games, whether it was COD or Minecraft or whatever, because I want to upload that content to other places um, and save that content, oh my Christ, because I want to do that, I don't put up music, because if I did, the uh, portions of it would get muted from Twitch, and even if I hit record in OBS, yes, they would be recorded to my computer, but if I uploaded them to YouTube, they would get hit with copyright, you know, some of them, some, a lot of times copyright's just like, oh, you won't make money on the video, uh, but you can still put the video up, some of it's like, no, we need to mute this, or ba ba ba. It depends. It honestly depends upon the artist, the song, the label, everything. It's just a very weird thing. And I really wish that we would fix it, but with the most recent legislation that was passed in 2020, with like the stimulus and stuff, the rules got worse somehow. I just wish that, especially with like a soundtrack for a video game, if you're playing a game and the soundtrack is being on, you shouldn't get penalized for that. Like, it's part of a soundtrack. You're not, like, again, and also, like, with Nate, he's trying to create an atmosphere. You're not trying to make money. And the whole thing about copyright, to me, is, like, you... Copyright is to protect people from saying, like, I am I made this song. And Nate's not going out there saying, oh, I wrote, I wrote One Week by Bare Naked Ladies, or I, I wrote, you know, this country song. He's just playing the music and trying to create a vibe. And I just feel like that should be perceived differently. It's not. You know, the law is retarded because it's written by ancient people. You know, I think that... I know, Casualty was cr cranking dingers left and right as I was chatting. Um... No, your sub didn't run out, did it? No. No, you're about to actually hit, like, your one month. Because you followed on the 22nd of April, and you subbed that night with the Prime. Now, the thing about your Prime, and I'm sure you know this, is that you will have to renew it. It's not like a renewing sub where you pay, and it just automatically happens. So on the 22nd at night, you will not be subbed anymore, quote-unquote, and you will have to manually resub with your Prime or manually resub. Because I think it'll say, like, continue... I think, like, if you click it now... Because I can only speak from, like, seeing other people. I see, alright, 94.5. Um, is that it says, like, continue your sub. And, like, you can hit that and do it now, right? And that will continue it as soon as it comes out. If I'm here and I don't know... Yeah, it'll just happen in two days. You know, that that's it. You know, in two days, you'll... You know, you'll come in and you won't be subbed anymore. And it'll say, like, you'll see, like, right now it probably says, like, continue sub or gift a sub. You'll say, it'll say, like, subscribe. So, are you kidding me? All right, one plate appearance, Buxton will be a tier three. Uh, Trout continuing to keep on, keep it on. No, yeah, we will. I just don't want to sound like I'm asking for sub, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know that you sub now, and I think that you enjoy it. Listen, I'm trying so hard. Like, I, I'm, I'm really, like, I'm not kidding. I really am trying so hard to get more emotes. It's just that Ryan just doesn't, hasn't done them. Like, he's been busy, and he's been, you know, like, on stream. Like, the last time he did it, he did it on stream, and I was able to watch him do it, and we were able to chat about kind of what I wanted, and, oh, can we change this color, or can we do that? Um, unfortunately, uh, he hasn't done an art stream, and he hasn't, um, you know, t we haven't talked on Discord about it, and we haven't, he hasn't done them in his free time, and he hasn't done them, so, unfortunately, those other three ideas that we have, which we decided on, which is, um, Hydrate, I have it written down, Hydrate, GG, and 
Hydrate, GG, and Raid. So unfortunately, um, we haven't started on them. I've been trying. Uh, I don't know if we are going to do anything for Tier 1 or Tier 3. I mean, Tier 2, I mean. Because I want everybody to have all the emotes. Um, you know, maybe we toss some emotes that I really don't give a shit about there. You know, because he said, like, oh, I want to draw a couple extra. Like, knock them out. Like, obviously, I want stuff that if we hit the 5 slot, the 6 slot, etc., etc., that we can put them right in. Like, they're kind of in waiting. And kind of entice people to then give subs and stuff and get subbed in. Um, you know. I know Wanna asked for subs. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't... I'm trying to figure out words. I don't want to ask for subs. But at the same time, like, if you watch anybody, you kind of have to. And they everybody does it. I don't want to do it. But I think a Benji, like, like if you watch Nate, what he does, he does it in a very cheeky way, and it's a good way. Is like, he'll be like, hey, can somebody gift a sub to this guy? And then they gift a sub. And then he'll do it again. And then he'll do it again, and all of a sudden they're in a hype train. Because if three different people give subs and, and gift bits and stuff within a five minute span, all of a sudden hype train begins and then they all race to get that thing to tier 5. He's not dumb. You know, everybody kind of thinks that the guy is dumb. He is not dumb. You know, do you know what I'm saying? Where it's like, I don't want to ask for subs, but I think somewhere down the line I, I am going to have to be like, hey, can we get you know, oh, we're so close. Can we you know, hey, we're so close to the monthly sub goal. Hey, we're so close to the weekly sub, you know. Everybody does it. It sucks, but it is part of the game, you know? It's kind of like the gamesmanship type of deal where it's like it's the game within the game. I don't know. Am I making sense? Sometimes I just talk. Sometimes I just... The mouth just goes, and it's like... You know, just chat, you know? But... You know, I am gonna I am gonna kind of message him on Discord again and be like, hey, you know, I don't, because that's the biggest thing is like, I kind of feel weird about it because I've kind of like in our message log it's been like me the last like seventeen times. But my my vantage point where I'm coming from is that you can't say to someone, hey, I'll do this for you. And then, like, I go, okay. And then, you don't, not don't do it, but you know what I'm saying? Where it's like, hey, we're going to do it? Hey, we're going to do it? Hey, we're going to, like, you know what I'm saying? I feel like, in a way, I do have a right to kind of be, like, asking. Because it's like, hey, you said you'd do it. And I don't want to have somebody else do it. Like, ask Nate, like, hey, can you get me in touch with the guy who makes yours? Or, like, that Don, Don L guy that, um... I, I raided once uh, that Ronin talks to. He creates uh, emotes, and I think that he would do it. But then you have different artistry and stuff, and yeah, it can create variety, but it's like, I don't want to do that because then it might sour that relationship. So it's like, it's kind of like in a rock and a hard place, you know what I'm saying? You know, where it's like, what do you do? What do you do? Um... Trying to get sleep after it hits twelve, so I can get, so I can stream the game day. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? I don't know if you know. If you think that I'm kind of speaking retarded, tell me, tell me. And if you think that I'm speaking not, then then tell me that way too. Like I I I want to know like. Because I keep writing, like, hey, I don't mean to bug you and stuff. And I keep going into, like, his chat, like, and hanging out for hours and watching him stream. But I keep going in and being like, hey, I, I don't want to, I don't want to bug you. Like, I don't want to be annoying and be like that little pesky kid, you know. But, like, hey, you said you'd do it. Like, we've talked about it for a couple weeks. So I've had the decision of what I want. And we talked about extras and stuff like that. It's game day, baby. You, do you know what I'm saying, though? In all serious, like, do you know what I'm saying? It's like, I don't, 
I don't want to sound kind of obnoxious, you know? It's that fine line. It's a fine line. But I am gonna message him and be like, hey. Oh shit. going to bed now. Yeah. Alright, thank you, Nick. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you, my guy. You know, you're a legend of the game. But, like... So, like, he made the emote on April 7th, 2021. And it's a great emote. I love the goddamn thing. I really do. And we then were talking about, even that day, making new. You know, making more. And... I messaged him on 409. 414. And I kind of said, like, hey, everyone's loving it. Like, thank you so much. Which everyone... That wasn't even a lot. And then 418. And it's like, hey. Like, can we chat about it? Um, 420. We talked... Like, I, I said, like, hey. Can we talk about it? And then 423, like, I, that's when I found out he was on a little bit of vacation, so that's when I messaged him, like, hey, I wouldn't message you if i known. He goes, no, it's all good. And then 428, we talked about it. 512, I messaged him. And then, I, mean, I just messaged him now. And I've kind of been in his chat the other, on some other dates. And I just, I just kind of want him done. Like, the, I've got three slots to go. I just want the slots filled up. If we decide, you know, hey, let's put two other ones that we don't really care about that I wanted, put them down as tier two and tier three. They can always be placeholders. Get them, get them done, get them drawn up, and have all available emote slots used up and kind of max out where we're at. I think that'd be nice. I think that that helps, helps the cause a little, don't you think? One thing that's good is that Byron Buxton will be a tier three. He had the advance, and then he got the double. Ah, chip it. Uh, knocked it down, but nope. Just kind of scrolling through, seeing who's on. We're not done yet, but I'm just kind of just scrolling, you know, you can kind of see what's going on. Alan Dale. Hayden's on. I think Hayden might, might, might raid us. And then after the stream, if he's still awake, I'm awake and stuff. I think after the stream, we're supposed I'm supposed to give him my account shit. I don't kind of sus, but not really. And he's gonna do the panels. I think we're gonna talk about the panels, and then we're gonna get these panels going, make the stream like look, make that area look nice.
G Man Choi, sit down. Oh, shit. Goodbye, Tampa. Bitch boy. Yo, Drew, are you there? Because if you are, I'm, I want to play the new uh, the new stream deck sounds that we got going on. Okay, Corbin Burns near is slowly creeping up to that tier four. Lee Smith, whatever. Soriano's near tier four. So is Chipper. Bucks and Hitches hit tier three. Trout continues grabbing sixty six points. Ortiz is getting there. Banks, Finley, Piazza, Acuna. It's just great, great shit. Really is. Okay. Uh-oh, retard alert! Retard alert, class! How would you like to suck my balls? Some of them are way too quiet. I don't know why. Yeah, shit. What a sneeze. Thanks for the at-bat, dickhead.
Come on. I beat Miami, I'm able to go up the fucking coast. I'm dead. I gotta raise the volume on a lot of those sounds. Shit. Send him on home. He's safe. RBI triple. Steve Finley. Too good. The legend of the game. Buxton says, I'll just lean on into that one. Dinger Derby. Let's get it. The new Tier 3 Byron Buxton. Damn, trying to have to take a fucking pisser right down the middle. Fuck. Fuck me, game. Chipper. Um, it's a good question. Uh, positive because you know the last one in 09, which was uh, 12 years ago, 
But the one thing about it, oh shit. Oh Christ on a fucking bike. What the fuck was this? Hold on. The fuck has occurred? What in the jolly good fuck has occurred? Okay, I don't know what the fuck that that problem was. But um what I would say is uh that last decade was the first time that the Yankees weren't at least in a World Series since the 1910 decade. Because uh, they had won in each decade other than the 80s where they only went in 81. They didn't go. And yes, they should have went twice in 17 and, 18, and 19, and they were cheated out of it, and even 18 in some respects with the, with the Red Sox. But um, I think it's... Their window is li literally like now. Like, that's what I feel with their pitching and stuff and their lineup. Like, if it all clicks, and when it does click, they're the best team out. When it doesn't click, it's it's a nightmare scenario. They've dealt with injuries. Every team will and does. If the Yankees go out there and compete and they're able to get to the playoffs, they're a different beast. I've seen it in living color. And... I think if they don't do it soon, they will actually have to commit to a rebuild. Like, they kind of half-assed the rebuild where they were doing good shit with, like, Sanchez and Judge and shit like that. And then they were like, ah, free agents. Let's trade away Starlin and let's do this for, for Giancarlo and let's go get this and let's go get Hicks and make trades and stuff. And that's not bad towards a rebuild, but, like, they didn't actually rebuild. They kind of patched over, you know, those mid, no, those early 2010 teams. And they kind of patched them over with like patch job rookies and prospects and some trade acquisitions and things like that. They kind of patched it together and said, "All right, we've got a team that can compete." They went to the wild card game in 15, and then we, they didn't miss. They missed 16. That's when all the people came up, and then. They rocked the world around in 17 and 18 and 19. So, you know, shit happens. You know, that's my thing. And then with, you know, 2022, you know, it, they were poised for a big year. Pandemic season, they get in, with, you know, with the 60 games and stuff. They go second rate to the Rays. They couldn't beat them. And then they lose to them in five games when they really shouldn't have. There's been some postseason choke jobs. Some of it aided by cheating, some of it not, but some of it's bad luck. Like 2012, they had a good team. They got swept by the Tigers. Um, you know, lost to the Texas Rangers. So, you know, hard stuff. What's your favorite position in baseball? And if you were to play, um, second base. I was a second baseman when I played, um, you know, in elementary and T-ball and middle school and travel and CYO and PAL and everything, I was a second base. So I love second base. I always had a thing for second base men. I just kind of felt like I just understood the position. I understood the role, the responsibilities. You know, some of my favorite players growing up were second basemen. Like, I liked Cano. Like, I wasn't a Yankee fan, but I liked Cano and what he did. As a Met fan, I heard about people like Wally Backman, but also Tim Tuffle, Jeff Kent, Felix Mion. You know, uh, um, Fonz, growing up, I was a Met fan. Fonzie, right? Fonzie was the wave. Uh, Valentin on the 06 Mets. Like, I, you know, Daniel Murphy, you know. I I just had a, you know, Joe Morgan. I loved Joe Morgan as an announcer, and then when I learned him as a player, second baseman, number eight, I kind of connected with that. I was like, oh, I, I like that. You know, so that was something else so i've always had a thing for second base i played it um i played a little bit of outfield and i pitched a little bit but uh starting and closing but second base was my wave second base was my wave just on my wavelength i, I just knew about the coverages the, you know the cutoffs and the pickoffs and the double plays and the triple plays and the fly balls and infield flies and plays the first and 
stolen base. I just loved it. I really did. Who would you say your favorite slugger is of all time and why? Well, I'm going to go with my first ever favorite ball player, my first ever baseball jersey, um, my favorite Met that I watched behind David Wright. But he was number one before David Wright came in 2004. Um, and then after he left in 05, it was the end of the line. Is the Hall of Famer, the greatest low offensive catcher to ever live, Mike Piazza. I think also because he was, a, like I said, a Met. He had great homers. Um, I very strongly remember his 9-11 homer. Um, everyone in my family, like when they played, was catch for catchers. So like that meant something to me too. And it was just, you know, they, the Mets were also pretty good with him. And they went to the World Series in 2000. So... You know, he was he was kind of like my guy. I loved I loved Mike Piazza, and I'm Italian. He's Italian, and it just kind of you know. And I also, as I got older, I, I appreciated his story of being the last pick of the draft and becoming something. That's what I appreciated and loved about Mike. And Mike Piazza is my favorite Met. He's my favorite, second favorite Met, but my favorite like slugger. Delgado was another guy. You know, when he came to the Mets in '06. That was a great home run hitter that we had, you know. Beltron banged a couple. I mean, even Wright cranked a few, but, you know, if we're talking about pure power, it's, it's Piazza. It's Piazza. Hey, he's parallel three for me, too. You know, if we're talking about pure, powerful people, it's it's Michael. It's Michael. If you want to talk about other facets of the game, you know, best defensive, like, best overall met that I watched... And I am honored that I watched him for 14 years as a kid, as a teenager, and then, you know, my 20s was David Wright. Um, a guy that was destined to be a Hall of Famer. Um, and he got derailed by injury, you know, so. He was my favorite Met. By, he's my favorite Met far and away, and my favorite baseball player, but my favorite slugger is Mike Piazza. And my second favorite Met is Mike Piazza. And like I said, like if you want to talk about third Met, fourth Met, fifth Met, that's when you start tossing in the Delgados, the Beltrons, the Santanas, the Grom, right? I even liked Dickey. I love Dickey because I, I mean, as a kid, I didn't know his little story about his fucked up life, right? And the whole, like, not having a pitching ligament. I didn't know that shit um, at all. I only learned about that, like, a couple years ago. But at the time when he was going off in 2012 when I made 20 games, I, I was pitching for my team and I threw a knuckleball. So I like connected with that. And that's what you do when you're a kid is you connect with players in the sport that you love. You connect with them. And if they're on the team that you watch, then it's even better. But like you just connect with people. And, and that's, it means a lot when you're able to connect. Um, Another, you know, connection that I had, and I've told the story a couple of times, and I will probably tell it a bunch more, and I have no problem, is uh, Ed Charles. You know, not all people know who he is. He was the third baseman on the 69 Mets, the Miracle Mets. Uh, I met him in a September 2009 baseball game, and I went up to him, and I said, hello, Mr. Charles. It's an honor to meet you, and he said, okay, it's very nice and stuff. Uh, it blocked AIDS. Didn't like the old AIDS. Yeah, no, yeah, he's he's the best pitcher far and away in the game, and he's arguably top five players in the in the entire game. But um, anyway, going back to the story, he you know he put the, he put his ring on me, his World Series ring, and I took a picture with it, and then you know he, he turned around because I was sitting like two rows in front of behind him. I mean, he was two rows in front of me, and he turned around to my dad. And my mom, he was like, can he sit with me? And they were like, ha ha, yeah. Um, and I wound up sitting with him for the whole game and just chatting with him. Chatting about the game, chatting about his Mets, those Mets that I was watching in 09. Uh, talking about, um, talking about my game, talking about his game at playing third base and stuff, and it was just so much fun. 
It was so much fun. I take it for granted, like, talking to him as a 12-year-old. I couldn't imagine if I had spoken to him as a 24-year-old. I can't even process it. But I could barely process that I did it at 12. And that's really the story. And then, like, the addendum is that... Um, the addendum is that he then was doing an autograph signing at City Field, like, almost a year later to the day. And we showed up late. Like, we didn't even know it was happening. It was in the Verizon studio. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we didn't even know it was happening. Because uh, we always went to the Verizon studio every time we went to the Met game because they would give away free shit. Like, handbags, phone stickies, shit like that. So, we go in, and they're like, oh, you know, he's done signing, but here's a here's a picture. And I was like, okay. And uh, he walks past. He kind of stops, turns around, and goes, you're the kid I talked to last year. And I said, yeah. We were able to kind of catch up and stuff and talk about it. And, and um, it was just an honor, just a privilege and an absolute honor. And I was fortunate enough to be hosting my talk show the day that he passed away. And I was able to give him a very nice tribute. And I kind of told my friends, like, hey, I want a nice package made up of Ed Charles. And we were able to make a nice little package up and, and kind of do something nice for him. It was very nice. And it was kind of weird, um, but like the, that day I was getting ready and I kind of imagined myself doing like a, um, an, a eulogy of him. And that moment on the radio, if I ever, you know, unfortunately if he ever passed away, if I was fortunate enough to be on the radio to do it. And I kind of was just kind of, you know, going through the motions and talking about the story and stuff and what I would say. And I got in the car and I told my dad, I was like, yeah, I, I was just doing this. I was just kind of kind of freestyling and he goes well put the freestyle to the test he passed away today and i go what and i looked it up on my phone and, he, and it said it just pure ass coincidence and that was and that was how it happened so i kind of had a weird premonition that he had passed away and was able to craft it before i even knew it and then we did it it was a very, very nice tribute. And I was fortunate enough that I was able to tell that story on air and talk about it and um, do, the, do the right thing. And it was right before opening day for the Mets. Or for baseball, but for the Mets. It was right before. I hope that that was an interesting story. I hope that was interesting. I love telling that story because it's a fun, fun story. It's a beautiful story. A beautiful man. A beautiful man. Uh, he really is. Um, really is. And then the only other time that I really had something similar was as a kid in about 2006. I, well, 2007, I don't know what, I think I might have been 07. Uh, David Wright, Paul Duca, Joe McEwing, and I think there was a fourth, and I don't remember the fourth. All Mets, two of them current, Joe McEwing wasn't. Um, they were all at Island Garden, which is right near my house. And they were having a baseball clinic. And my dad surprised me and said we were going. And I was able to, to swing the bat and take baseball tips and stuff from current New York Metropolitans, especially David Wright. And I was in, when I got to David Wright's group, he was talking about hitting. And I was sitting front row. Like, I got to that group, like, when, because we knew, you knew the order of where you were going. So when my shit was over with, like, Joe McEwing, I was fucking out of there 5,000. I ran to the next station, and I sat my fucking scrawny ass right down, my 10-year-old ass, right in front of my idol, David Wright. Sat right in front. And I was, like, this close to David. And then he was, you know, demonstrating the swing, and he said, hey, can you 
help me demonstrate about balance. So I stood up and I pushed against. He was so he was swinging, and I he told me to try to push against the bat to stay balanced. And I was demonstrating how to stay balanced with my idol. And it was the greatest thing. And I like I said, I just told the story. I remember it to this day, and it was so cool meeting Paul Duca. It was so cool. It was so cool uh, meeting him. It was so cool meeting Joe McEwen. Joe McEwen was a 2000 Met. Um, so it was it was very cool uh, to have met all of them. Those are my stories. I mean, I don't know. You guys tell me if you want to keep hearing these kind of stories. Because I love telling them. I love these. I love telling these types of stories and and uh, I'm talking about it. It's fun. But I, you know, I've been very fortunate to have met some baseball players. And like I said, to have been able to have gone to that baseball camp and work out with my idol, who I still idolize. Like, David Wright always will hold a place in my heart. It's, uh... It's better than that. Wow, 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 it's very nice. It is. I love it. But I love telling those older stories about, you know, meeting a player and stuff and talking and and answering questions. I love when Positive comes in and asks the um asks the sports questions. It's fun. Gets me on a roll to chat. Your attention please. I can't like I don't know why I'm Punch back. Jackie. Jackie with the pinch hit grand slam dinger derby. Fucking you like jazz? Fucking like give him some of that. Fucking serve that one up, didn't you, Chucky, you stupid fucking idiot? memory like that was with Griffey. We had seats behind the dugout once and I just got my first new new era hat. He told me he liked my hat. But like shit like that. Some random ass in a counter, right? You're sitting there with your fucking hat on and Ken Griffey Jr., Hall of Famer, talks to you. Like that me it means something. Like it 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 does something to you. Right? Like it, it, it hits you in a certain place. That you can't really describe. An absolute inane action can mean so much, and it just it just shows the tremendous power that these athletes do have. You know, to make someone's day and also to ruin someone's day too. stuck with you forever. Now, I'll give you one that's bad that is stuck with me forever. We can't fix it. We can't go back and correct it because he's dead. Um, Tom Seaver. You know, the franchise. Arguably one of the greatest pitchers ever. Um, I don't know if I've ever said this story. Th I've definitely said the story on stream. I don't know if I've said it to you. But basically, so like, it was the day after, ready? The day after I graduated from middle school. So I was a middle school graduate. I was looking on to high school. It was the day after. We're at City Field. We're at City Field. And we're in the Pepsi porch, like we always were. And 
my mom and my sister used to like walk around because my sister was young at the time my sister was like seven and i was 14. so or six excuse me she was uh she was she was eight she was eight so um we we're six years apart that's right so they would always walk around get food and stuff so they walk back up top near like the fifth inning and i get a call my mom my dad gets a call from my mom and says tom Seaver's up here does dylan want to come see him and obviously, the answer to a 14-year-old boy whose pitching motion was modeled off of Seavers would be, yeah. So I go, hell yeah, Dad. My dad's like, go see him. So I go up to the Pepsi porch, like, top. Like, there's a top to it. So I am now behind Tom Seaver with my mom and my sister. There's, like, a bunch of stand-up tables. Like tables that you would stand at, right? And I'm looking at him. I'm like, okay, 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 okay. Because I was kind of a little shy back then. And I'm like, alright, alright. So this is my plan of attack. I'm going to go up to him and say, hello, Mr. Seaver. I'm going to get a handshake. Like, that was what I want. Didn't have a pen with me. Didn't have a ball. Didn't want an autograph. If he had offered, I would have been fucked because I didn't have one. Like, my mom was there kind of be like, if a picture could be taken, my mom was like, ready to go so I'm kind of so there was like a um, a ramp there's a ramp at the top of the Pepsi porch he was at the top of the ramp so I walked to the, around and I walked up to the ramp so now I'm at the entrance of the ramp and Tom Seaver is standing two feet away from me and I stick out my hand and I go hello Mr. Seaver and he kind of did like this get out of the way and I was stunned stunned I literally stood there there was these two like I'd say like late teen kids early 20 guys standing right near him and they were like shook the security guard that was standing with him was like shook and he just looked straight ahead I didn't say anything else I just kind of like shuffled like one foot shuffled shuffled and I was stunned. I was fucking floored. I was like, I couldn't speak. I was like, so shook up. Like, I was like, what? And, um, that will never go away. And that started my, like, years-long hatred of Tom Seaver. Like, it, we hate him in the family. Like, when he was diagnosed, like, when he died, everyone was like, fuck him. Like, we didn't care. Like, we didn't give a shit. It definitely fucked us up. It was one of those things. You know? Where you can make someone's day or break someone's day. And that was, that was, uh, that was that. <clears throat> That's what occurred. What day was that? So I think it was, I think, I'm pretty, I'm pretty fucking sure it was the day after. So like, let me go to June 18, 2011, and that's, Yeah. That was it. Mike Pelfrey. Mike Pelfrey went a complete game. Five hitter. One run. The Mets won six to one. Dan Herring got the loss. Mike Pelfrey got the dub. Beltron homered. Yeah. Yep.
June 18, 2011. One of those things. Just one of those things. See, it just sucks. It just gets you in a fucking mood. Hold on. Let me do this one. Um. Just to kind of show you, Drew, if you are here. And I think you are, because you just said, damn, that's tough. Let me pull up. So, there's me. There's me and Ed Charles. There's me and him. There's me and him. See. And that was my David Wright black jersey that I wore to every single thing. I wore it to every game. Oh, wait, you can't see me. Hold on. Let me drag all this shit now. Now you can. So, yeah. Um, so... Yeah, no, that's... I hope that you get to meet Bear Larkin. Bear Larkin would be lit. Bear Larkin would definitely be lit. But yeah, see, I got the ring on. There's my black David Wright that I wore. I still wear it at every Met game because it was lucky. Dude, I never saw them lose. They lost this game. They lost this game. I guess I think it was against the Padres, and they lost 6-1. to one. It was like mid-September 2011. Or 9, 2009. Um, but there's me in the ring. There was the hat that they were giving out. They were giving out these uh, hats, these helmets, and I actually have it. Hold on, yo, I'm looking right at it. The fuck? Hold on, I'm looking right at it. Here, see, here it is. Here's the helmet. Here's that exact helmet that I'm wearing in that thing, and it's autographed by Ed Charles. So, like I said, I don't. Like I said in my chat, I don't lie. I never lie. Um, I don't lie. Ed Charles, 69 World Champs. He signed it right after, I think, right after this photo, I think. But, yeah. <clears throat> like I said, I don't, I don't need to make up shit. I have a good life. I don't need to make shit up. Uh, some people do. I don't. And uh, that's one example of that. That's one example. Because, see, look, this, like I said, it was right before opening day. This is opening day. So when did he, March 17th, I posted this. So I think he maybe died that day or he died, like, the day before or something like that. And that's that. I mean, that that's, that's really kind of it. See, look, I was David Wright for uh, for Halloween. That's when I was in London. The Isl the Islandiers. Oh, here we go. This is the beach. That was right before Corona. This was right before Corona. And basically what happened was that he was going around saying that I just came back from China and... Uh, I got I, I gave them all Corona. It was a joke at that point. Nobody everyone was like, fuck Corona, that's a beer. Like nobody gave a shit. Now Well, now we all know what that's now we all know what's good with that. But that's that's that little trip down memory lane. But no, I, I love that. That was uh it was good. I'm pretty sure. No, it's only the one. All right. Who's the best? Jonathan Stever. Fuck is that? Eric Pena. 
All the, the problem is all these cards eat ass. So like they all suck. Joey wins. Congrats. I need one more of these players, and then we've got, and then we've got the Kalanick, which is really the goal of the whole scene. Why is the twenty pack box the featured thing? Like why? Why? Why is that? We're at 584,000 XP. We're about to hit space two pack. Obviously, we're going to be in here, right? Like, you know it's coming. I know it's coming. I have all the uniforms anyway, so that's like a 3,000. Like, useless. Well, we're probably going to pick, because once we get to this, fuck Cy Young, fuck all these other guys. It's going to be JD, right? If we get to this, I'll be stunned if we do. But if we do... It's got to be Adley Rushman, right? Like, it's kind of, it kind of has to be, it kind of has to be Rushman, right? Because the, the, the answer is not Billy Hamilton. Like, Noodle Bat, no thanks. So, probably by the end of this shit, not probably, by the end of us playing this conquest, we're going to have Kellenic, but we're also going to get into that space pack, which is great. So, let's... Skip to my Lou here. I'm going to put out like a 10. A wall of 10 here. We're going to go against the Reds. Put up like 50. And then against the coastline, we're going to put up the others. And then we're going to try to go take from, take from what we can. Oh shit, I gotta start it. Clicky, Bobby. Clicky. That'd be pretty dope if you got to meet Barry. Barry's lit. Good guy, Hall of Famer. Great hitter. Great fielder. What I mean by like model when I did see it was like I would come up above my head like he did and I was a righty, he was a righty and kind of push Hello push MTV, off welcome to my Yo, crab. Look at that, we crank a dinger right when Hayden gets here. Let's go. It's Thanks, huh? Thanks for the raid, Hayden. Um shout out to my boy Hayden with the raid. Of six, I appreciate you. Alyssa's in here. Aiden, of course. I was in there. I was watching your fall, guys. I got out of there right when I said that I was. After I saw, um, who is it? Albi choke. Oh shit! Oh shit! Fucking served that one up, didn't you, Chucky? You stupid fucking idiot! Great success. Oh, you did get the win. Okay. Very nice. Give me a hell yeah! 
that's pretty good. Alyssa, hi, how are we doing? But, uh, welcome on in. We're just playing Conquest. You missed, we played online, we won 4-1. to one. Stressed me the fuck out, but we did crank some dingers. And now we're just playing offline, trying to get the Jared Kellenic card. Just trying to get it going. We were chatting about old baseball players. We were chatting about, uh... Um, you know, our old idols and shit like that. That's good, you gotta win. I still never got my, I, I still never got a win. I still never did it. I, I never won on Fall Guys. Now that nobody plays it, like on my friends and stuff, and I don't really ever play it ever. Probably gonna stay like that for a pretty long time. I was so close so many times, especially early on the first night that I had the game that I got it on PlayStation and stuff. First night that I really got involved. I was so close on that final mountain so many times. It was like when the game like exploded. That's when I got it. Exploded. My hand fell asleep. Shit happened. It happens. It, it, it definitely happens. Okay. Naughty, naughty. <laughs> Great success. Oh, yeah, I'll give you that one. Wow, 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 he's a very nice. That's a very nah. That, that's very good, bro. That's good. You gotta always... You, you gotta... You gotta be... You gotta be good. You gotta be good out there. Cuh. Cuh. I'll give you even a... Me too, uh, woo! Me too! You gotta always... You gotta always be appreciative of the car. But no, yeah, we're just trying to win this game. We're trying to play this. These uh, conquest matches, beat the nation of baseball for the second time. Get to the space one pack, be sixty thousand XP away. Good, I've told you, good, good shit. That's good. I told you, that's a quality. What's my favorite MLB team? The New York Metropolitans. The New York suck ass. That's what my favorite team is. The mother. Um, the fucking assholes. These people. I love that I have this on there. I'll, I'll stop. But yes, the New York Mets. My favorite team. Ride or die for that one, bitch. Um, um, I love how Hayden's just being like, yeah, I'm kind of like a man whore. And, and Alyssa's like, well, good luck. Like, it's pretty good. Yes, I'm very proud of you. I mean, I would have committed to that blonde. I would have fucking committed to that blondie. I'm a Houston Astros fan. Oh, good and good. Got blood. Fucking dubs in the chat. Fucking dubs in. No, but that was like a month ago. Let's go. Good shit. Oh, yes, daddy. Let's go, bro. Good shit. Oh, you Astros fan? What was that? Huh? Curveball. Oh my god, it actually was a curveball. <laughs> Fuck me. It actually was. It was a curveball. It was. Ah, oh, that's a dot. That's a dot. Oh man, chat, check my. I will. I will. Hold on. Oh, that's funny. The Houston Astros. You want to know what's said? And I was talking about it with my cousin because my cousin's a Yankee fan. The direct victims of the cheating. And the Houston Astros didn't need to do that. Like, 
Yeah, they won the World Series, but they didn't need to do it. They had such great talent on the team, both pitching and bench and regular uh, lineup. They didn't need to do that. They're just so stupid. They really are. Like, they had great talent. Altuve and uh, Bregman, Marwin, uh, J.J. Redick, like, Yuli and Springer and Correa. They didn't need to do it. And that's what gets me angry about it. They didn't need to. I said, God bless. Yes, I did. I'm always out here um, respecting a college drip. You know, that's probably my biggest gripe about it. Is that they didn't have to do it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out Hayden. Everyone who went from Hayden's raid... Go follow Hayden. Uh, I think Drew, Drew's the only one in here, and he was already following you, I'm pretty sure, so. Uh, the worst victims, yeah, I mean, the A's got cheated out of, uh, some division titles, and I think the Angels would have gotten one of them. It just sucks. It just sucks, asshole. The whole thing just sucks. My biggest thing is, like, if they had come out and once they got caught in 2020, and technically 19, like in November, but 2020, and been like, yeah, we cheated, we done fucked up. But they were just so adamant that they didn't do it. Like, and, and like, so dismissive of people's criticism. Like, if they had taken it on the chin in, like, the weeks before spring training and been like, yeah, we fucking did it. And they were open in the public about it. And because they weren't getting suspended. Um, and they were allowed to compete in the playoffs that year, even with the COVID. You know, they were, they were a game away from going back to the World Series. Like, if they had just owned up and said, like, listen, like Altuve, you've got the press has me for an hour here at the table. Take your lumps and and take the L, right? And, and answer every question truthfully and honestly. I don't think they would be getting treated like they would. Like, if they had answered every question, owned up to it, and been very truthful and forthcoming, I think people would have been like, all right. But now that's why people are going to probably be booing them for the rest of their careers. And, like, it'll always just be a thing because of how the stories changed and the stories lied and they, they didn't be truthful to the media and blah, blah, blah. I think that that's probably the biggest thing. Did you know they just came out with oat milk? Didn't they have that already? Cheese. Cheese. Um, I still think... Yeah, no, people have been using oat milk for, like, years here in New York. Yeah, no, that's been a thing. That's been a thing for a while. Oh, yeah, he 100% had a buzzer. In it. Because here's the thing, right? And again, I don't want to sound like I'm picking on on the uh, on the uh, Astro fan, right? Like, I don't want to sound like I'm picking. But I kind of But the thing is, is like, if you were to walk off home run, off a guy throwing 100 shed at home to send your team to the World Series, The first thing you're not thinking of is, oh, I, my wife said I can't rip my jersey off. And then the second thing that crosses your head is definitely like, oh, no. I have a bad tattoo on my collarbone. Who the fuck is thinking that? You just hit a home run off one of the game's elite closers of a rivalry that's been spawned over the last five years at home to send your team to the World Series for the second time in three years. You are not thinking of those two things. You're just not. Like, that, that's a fucking line. Oh, you're lactose intolerant? That sucks. Like, it's just like, bro, what? Like, you're not thinking of that shit. You're not thinking of that. You're thinking of, oh my god, I just hit a home run, like, to send my team to the, like, holy shit. Like, you're running around the base like a kid. You're 
Kirk Gibson or some shit. Like, you're fucking going off, right? You're not thinking, oh, my wife said to not rip my shirt off. Oh, I have a bad tent. Get the fuck out of here. Hacker ass. I never drink milk except in my shakes. Neither do I. Like, milkshakes, ice cream... Um, that's when I have milk. Uh, you know, the butter, sour cream, that shit don't count. That's a different type of dairy. Yeah, it's, you know, it's milk. It's not really milk. Yeah, cereal, right? Cereal. Ice cream. I have all types of dairy. Cheese. Butter. Sour cream. Uh, whipped cream. All that shit. The only milk I'll drink is chocolate. Oh, yeah, no, you gotta have a good chocolate milk. Chocolate milk's lit. True Moo or some of that shit. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah, I mean, I don't... I don't... I think... I think he might have left chat, which is unfortunate. But, I... You know... The thing is, also, that gets me so heated about the Astros is their fans are so dismissive yeah, well, you gotta use whipped cream for sex, 100%. But their fans are so dismissive of what they did. And it's almost like they own it now, like, yeah, we cheated. Like, no, that's not a fucking good thing. No, this is not something you should be proud of. This is something that you should be a fucking embarrassed by. A lot of whipped cream. Like, that's probably the biggest thing. You know, that's probably the biggest thing, is, you know, um, not just the fandom of the Astros just being so kind of, I don't want to say the word scumbag, but it's pretty fucking close to that, where they're like, so dismissive of people calling the Asterix and, and people, you know, saying that they cheated and stuff, and it's just like, and being so butthurt about them getting booed on the road. Like, I don't know. Yes, and I, yeah, I know. You used to be a fucking male gigolo. I got dark chocolate almond milk. I don't like the dark chocolate. I'm a milk chocolate. I hate white chocolate. And I hate fucking dark. And I hate almonds. And I hate the nuts. I hate all that shit. All I eat, nice milk chocolate. The only chocolate bar that I'll have is like something with like a crunch bar like it has rice krispies but that's like it I can't I can't do the dark dark eats my asshole I like yodels anyone here like yodels yo if you don't like yodels you're just cracked out like who doesn't like a good yodel dark is okay but white chocolate eats ass yeah but do we like yodels what is the opinion of yodels Oh, you hate sweets? Uh, yodels are where it's at. Yodels are definitely, like, where it's at. You've never had... Bro. What? Pick up a fucking yodel, bro. Dude, my dad gave up soda for, like, Lent in, like, 2013 or some shit. And he's never gone back. He's never gone back. He's given up soda for, like, seven years now. I love... See, I love soda. I love soda. So, for me, it, that would be pretty difficult because I love it. I give a four old. Nah, I can't give that shit. No. I can't. I need. I need that shit. It's my coping mechanism. You drank soda once? Nah, I drink it all the time. Like I'll have like, like I got. Look, I got my Coke Cherry right here. I got my fucking mini fridge behind me full of Coke. Like, I'll drink Coke, Pepsi, Cherry Vanilla, Vanilla Coke. My my go-to when I go to Burger King is Cherry Vanilla Dr. Pepper. That shit's the wave. That shit is the ultimate wave. Cherry Vanilla Dr. Pepper, I'll have. I'll have... Oh, I get it. Nah, shit, shit is not as... I don't get ass, right? So, like, you need it, right? 
Wait, Alyssa, how old are you? Like, as we continue this conversation, I'd like to know if we should continue this conversation. Like, like Hayden is 17. That's Ike. I'm 24. Drew's 22. We're all adults here. Alyssa, how old are you? Yeah, I'm on that shit. See, I don't, right? I don't, I don't, I don't have that, right? Look at me. I can. <laughs> Close enough. Um, we'll round it off. Skittle. See, I fucking hate Skittles. Santa's cute as. See, around here, Dylan Santa's is not. Dylan Santa's is not good pickings. Dylan Santa's pretty ass pickings, to be honest with you. Compare it. Comparative. Eh. Why did it shut that one off? Like, we're talking about all this shit, and it, and it shows... I don't think Automod likes Drew, to be completely fucking Ben Frank with you. I don't think he likes... I don't think Automod likes Drew. Because it never blocks anybody else's. Yeah. My cousin doesn't no more. Now that he has a girl. He don't, but... Yeah. Lead. No, Automod definitely hates you because it only stops Drew shit. It really does. Like, it doesn't stop anyone else. Maybe it doesn't like to stop Hayden because he's a mod. And Nick's a mod too. And me because I'm the guy. Like, I don't really write in chat, but also I'm the... Like, owner of the chat. Maybe, like, that's why. Maybe that's why. I don't know. But yeah, there's the Discord if you're not already in it. Hayden's now in it twice. Listen, I don't even give a shit that you're in it twice. You could be in it fucking 15 times. It makes me feel good at the end of the day, that number. So if you're not already in that Discord, please consider joining it. Uh where I chat when I'm not on stream. I like to hang out in there sometimes. I'm in voice chat right now. And nobody's in it. Oh, yeah, that's right. Hayden, that's right. You are in it on your other account. I need to add you to to the new one. I mean, I have to add you back to it. I need to give you a permission slip. Leading off for the Orioles. Not sure. Now you should see. Right, forgot about that. I don't use the old hub, uh, Gretz, um, Gretz, Drew to get back at that. I don't use that. I use other shit. Independent shit. What's up, bitch? What's up, Homesprung? What's up, Sway? Ka. Ka. I love this shit. I love the stream deck. It, it's so much fun. Oh, you got it? Yeah, no, I have the 32-bit one. Like, I have... The like, the, the the super small one? or like No, the big one. Oh, the huge one? Yeah, the 32 one. Yeah. Oh, my God. It's fucking nuts. I know. Big G. I have, the, I have the, the regular one. Yeah, the 6 one? Uh, no. The, the, oh, the, like, the, the 15? 5 yeah, yeah. I mean, the one thing that I kind of thought going into it was like, um, the other shit, I'll send you the other shit, Drew. But the other thing that I thought about with this was like, oh, I've got to think of like 32 things to put them in. No, no. And then no, once I saw like the next profile thing, I was like, oh, oh. Yeah, there's a lot. It's more than 32, bro. Oh, yeah, I got, I, I got I limited. Just, I just, I need more sounds, dude. I don't have any, all my sounds are old. I mean, I just... You know, 
I've just been taken from, like, other people and, you know, shows and movies and shit, stuff on YouTube that I watch, you know, just trying to take some type of inspiration. Like, Troy Dan's my favorite YouTuber. I got four sounds of his, of him speaking, but also mad sounds that he has. So I like the... Uh... One well, it's like you fucking idiot, whatever that was. Oh yeah, that's from Ken Murphy. Yeah, whatever that is. Did you play that one? So, What's yeah, that one? yeah. Fucking serve that one up, didn't you, Chucky? You stupid fucking idiot. So basically, <laughs> what that's from is this guy. <laughs> he does a bunch of skits of baseball shit. Yeah. And he's supposed to be like a coach, Coach Ken Murphy, and that's from his home run video so all four of those that I play are from his home run shit I'm gonna get all their shit from him like he has one that um when he when he uh, talks about being a home plate umpire and he has one where yeah. he goes once you <laughs> once you eject the parent go over to the dugout and eject the uh, that little fucking bitch in the, in the and then he goes <laughs> over and he goes get out of here your dad's a chode <laughs> and that's what I, I want to get that one but oh it's so hysterical you should honestly want, dude, you'll laugh. Like, he has one about right field. It was his first one. And you've probably seen him, like, maybe on TikTok, too. And it's like, if you're over the age of 13 and you're still playing right field, it's because you're the worst fucking player on the team. Like, shit like that. Never bunt. Yeah, never bunt. That's another one of his things. <laughs> if you're thinking about bunting, give yourself a nut tap. Like, excuse me, what? A nut tap. You know, tap yourself in the nuts to hurt yourself. Yeah, I know, but I don't know why you... Okay, sure. Just to, not, to, just to say never bun. Like, if your coach... Do you like my, uh, do you like my Discord profile photo? So I, I do. I like my push profile, too. I do. I like the animated little PFP. It's nice. Like, better than my uh, better than my current PFP? I mean, the profile of you as a kid is pretty nice. <laughs> yeah, right? That's a good one. It was pretty I'm, good. I'm not, no, but like, I'm trying to like have everything the same except yeah. maybe like for Discord. I just don't know which one I like. I I like, uh, it's a, it's a good one. Um, you know, if I had, an, like, what I would want from like mine is to have my face, like I love the face that I make in that photo, but to have that be, um, drawn. Yeah. But I've been talking, like, I've been talking with Ryan all the time in his chat and stuff, but then we just haven't fucking done it. Like, like to get the other emotes on a, on a roll. It's been over a month. I've been, like, writing to him on Discord and stuff, and I talked to him in chat, and we're like, yeah, 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 we'll do it. And it's like, it's been a month, and I don't want to sound like I'm, like, bothering or breaking balls, but it's like, it's kind of been a month, you know? Yeah. Like, it was a month, it's actually over a month, it's a month and a half, because it was a month since he made that hype emote, which I love, and I want him to make the other ones, because he's good, right? Yeah. And... I, I think that your your profile photo for Twitch, like, it's just everywhere. Like, someone follows you, you see that. If someone raises yeah. you, like, you see your face. It's like, oh my god, his face, I can't escape it. Yeah, I know, it's too good. It's, 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 too good. So, it's so beautiful, it's a great photo. It's too good. Okay. The lighting is right, the background, you got the little smirk on your face, well, you know? Well, the thing is, where that photo was taken, it was taken at the Bronx Zoo. And it was taken by my friend who's a photographer. And we were just, we were there working, because I'm in my work shirt. You work at the zoo? No. Oh. I work at a, I worked, that was 2019, I worked at a summer camp. And so does oh, he. Oh, got it. Got and it. He, we were both counselors, like the head counselors. We were yeah. the two oldest. And he does photography on the side, and he had his camera, because, you know, he was going to see animals and shit. And yeah. he said, you know, Dylan, turn around, and then that was the photo that he took. Yeah. And then that was, that was it. I think, so I don't you, think you, you could that, see you it. Had that, you had that smug, bitch-ass face. Yeah, that was it. I was just like... That's great. Because I was, I didn't want to go to the zoo, because it was so hot, and we had already walked so much, and I just didn't want to do it. And that was at the beginning of the fucking thing. Yeah. So, I was just... It was hot. So, Dude, I was so done by the end of it. We walked like three and a half miles. It rained a little bit. It was so fucking hot. Holy Christ. It was the worst. Dude, and I used to run in, uh, like, back in, like, in freshman year. No, no. Yeah, freshman year. 
during track, I used to run like three miles every Friday. That shit was so light, bro. Now I go outside and I run like one mile because I, I don't like go outside that much. I like yeah. vomit like every time. Yeah, no, I can't. I was never the big runner. I was like, I was fast, but I was like, fuck this. Like, it's your fast but short distance, not, you know. Yeah, like distance. in running bases and shit. And like when we, when we play football, like. It's just more short distance and you stop, not just continuous. Yeah, running. not not for length and distance. Not a distance runner. Yep, I was a distance runner. I used to be, but now I'm just a bitch. Like cross country shit? No. No. I could run like a few miles like at a time though. No. Like when we had to do the mile for school, I was like, this is fucking AIDS. No, that was easy. My friend Will would finish it in like five minutes or some shit. He would get around those four laps like no, I used, no I used problem. to do that. I used to do like a 540 or something like that. I, was, I would fly. Yeah, no. When I had to do it for baseball, we had to run two miles. I did it under the time limit, but I was like, this is AIDS. Like, you won't even run two miles, like, in a, in the season. Like, this is stupid. I used to run um, three miles in, like, 15 minutes. Wow. I think we had to do two miles in 12. I think that was what we had to get after. Oh, that was a, that was a good hit. Oh, yeah. Mike Trout. You don't fuck around with Mike Trout. Yeah, perfect, just... perfect. That, you know what that needs? That needs a little fucking... Ho, ho, ho. Green Giant. It's for, like, see, that's what Troy Dan uses when he greens a shot on 2K, but I use that for the perfect, perfect. Cheesy. Oh, that's gone. No, fuck that. That was a fucking hanger. Bro, I hate playing online. Like, that's why I stay offline. It's just too much stress. Like, it, the game has just so much RNG in it, and it just tilts so much. Oh, guys. The side. Crazy. What? I said, <laughs> Fall Guys. Like, oh, yeah. I mean, the RNG is just insane. But, like, if you watch, like, an online game, like, you know, that guy that I raid all the time? Um, Nate? Yeah, the guy, major, the guy with, like, seven, 70 viewers or whatever. Yeah, Major. Yeah. He... Like, he'll, you'll watch it, and you'll be like, holy shit, this is fucking great. Like, this is insane. This is Captain Insane on me. Fucking ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Green Giant. He's throwing out a third base. No, he's not, because it's an eighth throw. It's fucked. It's one thing that's good is that these are three in a game. Like, just get this shit over with. Get Kalanick. Well, I'm uploading my video. What time should I make it? Like, what time should I... Put it as like what time should I upload it? Like 2 p.m. tomorrow or something? 2 p.m. is good. Then it's like what 5? Yeah. Yeah. Good. We used to just have to run 20 minutes, no distance minimum, so we just basically walk in the track. That's what all the cute girls did. They didn't want to like ruin their makeups. So they just yeah, walked. they would just walk it. Or you know they would pull the my my pussy's oh cold. Oh my god, my pussy's cold. My yeah. tampon fell out. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah, I can't run today. I got cramp. And they'd be like, okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. That's bullshit. Cool. My ass, dude. That shit's on Utah Street. Never coming back. But, yeah, no. Dude, I'm we, five subs away from 100 on that's, YouTube. Dude, that's amazing. That's amazing. Good for you. That That's... And you're, what, at 1,073 followers? 1,073, yeah. That's insane. I mean, it rounds it off on your thing to 1.1. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's it's pretty close anyway. It's pretty like, damn it's close. close. Dude, if people wouldn't just keep unfollowing, and it's like random people from like 90 days ago, because I have wide spots who tell me everything. Yeah. I would have 513. It's insane. Damn. That's how many people have actually hit follow on my channel. But I'm only at four. Look, I lost <clears> one today. <throat> It says 437 up top. That's a lie. It's 436. It's crazy. It's crazy. I don't even know what. It's like people who don't come around. Who... Well, you're like in that phase where like you're not like consistent 10, 15 followers a stream, but you're like you're getting there, you know? Yeah, I gain like two, my two or three. And I love it and I appreciate my two and three. Yeah. Oh shit, this might be an inside the part. No, it's not. It rolled right to him. It's a triple. But, you know, I, I love it. You know, I love doing this shit. I told you that. It's fun. It's just, you know, also with, like, the subs. We keep taking, like, a step forward, a step back, then two up. Like, now we're down to 20. We were at 22. Yeah. I'm taking you were at, you, were at, you were at, like, 36, 40, man. I was, like, at 45. Because that's when I unlocked uh. the third 
third slot. I think I think my highest account, I think my highest was like fifty. Or like forty nine. Because you were at thirty six for a while, thirty three. I'm then at thirty two. Thirty two. But I gained I gained two subs today. Not bad. I mean I'm near an uh I'm near an uh two like I'm at like two seventy almost two hundred seventy mate like made in my yeah. life. Which you know yep. it's all good in the hood. I just got my check today. I was I'm supposed to get my check soon. Like not soon. So like what happened was that my bank like I made my account in December with Chase. Yeah. But I never put money in it, so it closed in February. Because I was expecting that Um I would be there soon. Like getting money. It just never came that quickly. So yeah. it never happened. Uh so the account closed, so then when it came in April, um that money never came. So I need to hit like six dollars by the end of this yeah. month and then I'll hit the yeah. hundred and then I'll get the the back pay and then the current pay. Yeah. My last check was four hundred. That's dude, that's lit. That's lit, kid. I used to run for my school. I was gifted one to his channel so I got excited. Yeah, she got you a gotta, random gifted. You gotta remember the, the you gotta remember the gifted though, Alyssa, is that it's up to you to continue. Yeah, it's gonna run out at some point. It will run out unless you keep it keep it rocking. I think that's my problem, is a lot of my subs, and I appreciate the people who gifted Aiden, you gifted 10, 7, I mean, um... No, no, let's, we'll say 8, but 8's pretty much 10, so... Oh, what, with you? Know? you? Yeah, 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 you, you, yeah know? you yourself, yes, 8. Yeah, yep, yes. yep, yep. But, um, and it is 10 if you count the months, but, um... It's more than that. It's not 3, it's 4? What? Is it 4 months? Um, let me see. Four months, yeah. yeah. It's four months. Okay, so then it was. So it's eleven. And I appreciate you know me. I appreciate, but uh -huh. you know it's um. I don't even know. I totally fucking forgot. What I, I I totally I don't have a clue. What was I saying? Before like when we talk. Why did I even bring oh. up the subs? You were talking about how much you made and what you're making. Oh, that subs. Like, you know. Stuff. Oh no, there's a test. But it's like, yeah, you know, that a lot of my stuff has been gifted. And, yeah. And not people subbing out of saying, like, hey, I liked it. Like, there's you, and then there's Drew, who used the Prime, and, you know, Nick, and people like that. And, like, my cousin and my friends some of my friends and stuff. But, like, other people, you know, a lot of it's been gifted and they haven't continued. So that's, like, that's what, that's what kind of hits yeah. you. It, like, it sucks. I think I'm at like 25 to like 30 regular now. Like actual people. I don't know what I'm at. I think that I think that most of that 20 cuz there's not a lot of gifted in there. There is um LTD uh, LTFD um uh, we said his name was Jamal. He came in and gifted 5 plus himself so that was 6, right? So mm -hmm. um he's creeping up on you. He's he's close. Um but uh he, so it was up to, like, so then it went down to, like, 15. But I know, like, the guy, like, Roflo that I watch a lot, he, he's been sub for a couple months. He's no longer sub. Uh, Mads is no longer sub. You know, the, the guy missed a hello. So. Yeah. You know. It's, whatever. You know what happens. I think that somebody like a Mads, when he comes back, he hasn't been in for a while. Um, when he comes back, he'll, he'll resub. But it's stuff like that. Like most, I would say I have like 15 or around that around that number yeah. of, of people. Oh, let me look at my sub points. Like sub points, I know, but I'm talking about like actual like subscriptions over time. 95. I've had 95 subscriptions. Sub points? Oh, that's... No, like I mean, total... I mean, it's just... Oh, I can check how many subs I've had. Like total okay. over time. Yeah, yeah, let me see. Hold on. I think the highest, like I said, was 45. Because that was when I got the third. I barely scraped over getting that fourth emote slot. That's fucking obliterated. Ho, ho, ho. Green Giants! Like how wait, how many subs have I gotten like in the in the whole time of streaming? Yeah, 
and mine is 95. My, wait, why 95? Because that's just what it is. You just take away 95? No. Just because? Why? Wait, why am I taking away 95? We talking about takeaway. You said, you said subtract 95. What, did I? Yeah, you said subtract 95. Oh. No. My biz one. Didn't mean to say that. That's three in a row. Holy shit. No, I didn't mean to say that. I've had 283 subscriptions. A bit. And 1,978 followers. Wow. Well. That's a snake. That was a bit of a. Yeah, that was a, yeah. Yeah, there's some issuance. And I said it, I was like, damn. When I when I saw it, first off, you wonder what I thought? I thought mm -hmm. that Tifu had raided you. I swear to Turner. Christ. I thought Turner had raided you. Because, you know, you said that you were close hey, to the Hey, that, that'll happen someday. I hope it does. I hope it does. That's going to happen. That's going to happen. But I thought that that's what happened. No. And because I saw, like, because it was such a huge boost in stuff. Because I saw, because yeah. I saw, the first thing I saw was the views. Because it was in my sidebar, and I saw how high up you were, and I was like, 90 some. I was like, holy shit. Good yeah, for him. Yeah. And then I went on, and I was like, wait, what? Yeah, right, this right. This chat's different. a little weak for 98 yeah, people. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, um, and then I was like, oh, no. Did he do it? Because cause then I saw you celebrating it, and I was like, oh, no. Did he sub bot on purpose? No, I don't have sub bot. I mean, not sub bot. I mean, like, follow bot. I'm perp, no. like, and, like, was trying to, like, fake it. I was like, oh, no. And then, um, because it kind of went from, like, that to that. And I was like, oh, no, it was definitely a fucking AIDS. Because it was going around. Because yeah. Nate had that happen to him, where he gained, like, 3,000. Yeah, no, that's a lot. And because he went from, like, 37 or 38, whatever his number was at, to, like, almost 8 or over 8 in, like, a second. And I was like, bro, what? But, um, no, I was happy that you, get, you got all sorted out at the end of the line. Yeah, they're all, it's all taken care of now, so. It's like I was saying, I think because I was also talking to, like, Clutchy a couple days after, I was like, you yeah, know, he has to report it. Because he was like, I what did. would happen? I did, Yeah. I did. Because he was like, what would happen if it happened to you? I was like, I'd report it, because here's what. You could say, like, if everyone in the world knows it happened, you could, like, it could be an enemy or something, and say, like, oh, look, he's up on it, or follow button or whatever. And, like, there's, you don't have any evidence to say you didn't. And there's a ton of evidence to say that you did. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, right. it could be done as, uh, as someone nefarious. So I was like, no, no, no. You gotta, you gotta be, go ahead, get out in front of it and be like, no, no. I, I'm innocent. I'm an innocent man here. Yeah, I, I contacted them really quickly. Were they helpful about it, or were they like kind of? They just said that either way, you're not gonna get in trouble because we know it wasn't you. Oh, good. Off. They should've been like, "Oh, I'll keep them then." then. <laughs> I'll keep. Then, right, right, and then, like, like they take away like five, and then like all of a sudden I drop like a hundred, and I was like, "Okay, good." So I hit a thousand, went down to like nine thirty, and then I had, you know, I had, I did it again. So. Now, do you think that they cut out? some like healthy tissue if you will like people that were actually no, real no no they said that um if if you let us take care of it we'll be fine but if you use like a uh place like a website to take them yeah. off then they, we might they might it might remove real followers and we can't we can't uh we can't replace that okay at least they were helpful about it yeah they're cool. did you call or email email they don't, they don't have a phone number yeah i know I've been trying to look for that oh, phone number. They don't have one. No, they don't. I think the whole like end of the month thing is like stupid for the payment. It should be like when you get to the hundred, you should get like. Well, you can you can you can get it whenever you want after you hit the first hundred. Oh. You have to hit the hundred, and then you can just pull it whenever you want. So is it because that the other payment was declined that So like once I get the 166 and then the next 100 then Yeah, no, like once like once you hit $100, you can get it and then after that you can just like get it whatever you want. Oh, see that's not how they explain. It. I think that's how it works. Cuz I thought that that like you had to wait to the end of the month and then 
if you only get the payout if you're under the month you accrued a hundred dollars. I thought that that's how it rolled. I mean, I'm not sure. I, I don't know. All I know is that I'm happy that I get some money, and it's fun. It's a good time. And I'll blow up eventually. It'll go. It'll happen. Yeah. We'll, we'll get there. Because like I said, like, it can be boring, like, when there's, like, two or three people. But when there's people talking in chat or, like, when, in Discord and stuff, and I'm able to chat, it becomes totally different. Yeah. 230, yes. Do the trout. Oh, oh, oh. Too Good. Let's see, what else? Oh, good. We got that. Oink, oink. Oink, oink. Oh, is that gone from Chipper? Yeah, it is. Let's go. Fucking serve that one up, didn't you, Chucky, you stupid <laughs> fucking idiot? Put that one on because Hayden likes that one. <laughs> Put that one on, you stupid fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah, I know. You serve that one up, Chuck. Chucky's supposed to be like his like cousin, yeah. who he hates. So it's just funny. He you always stupid fucking idiot. So he always shits What's on Chucky. Fall guys thumbnail. Like, let's see, there's another, like... Hepatitis, see you later! What's gonna make my title? I don't know, what'd you my do? First, my first win on Fall Guys, right? Yeah. Yeah. The first win. Has, the first dub has been secured. No, I don't think that. I lose, I delete the game. <laughs> no. Well, you gotta get a little clickbait, you know, you gotta get a little something. Well, I always do that. I either put, like, I don't, like, lie. I, I do, like, like, insane, you know, like, something like that, yeah. you know, so, something really douchey. No, there's no lying. Lying's bad. Being clickbait, but if the clickbait is actually what happens in the thing, then no. Yeah, then that's, that's fine, but... Oh, dude, let me fucking delete this, bro. So, um... Yeah, no, so these panels, what the fuck deal is? Like, what? I can just log in when you're, like, today or tomorrow Yeah, no, or... I, don't, I don't care, but, like, what... What is the, um... What is the plan of attack? Oh, I, I can just, like, I can give you, like... There's, like, a free website for it, and I can just, like, show you which ones. Maybe, like, you pick one, I can just put them in. Yeah, I don't care. Whatever. Um, Sounds good. I'm easy. Like I said, I, I don't... I don't really piss around with shit. It's pretty easy. Okay, my first win on... So, like, my... F oh, fuck, dude. Hold on. I need to, make, I need to find some... Win Captain Insano win that game, like huge. Third chipper. Yes, we got this phase two pack. Let's go. Alright. So Corbin Burns is closing on a tier four. Soriano's about to be tier four, so there's chipper. Trout, about 130 points away from tier five, which is awesome. Ortiz, over halfway now. Acuna is whatever. Piazza's getting a tier four. Finley. Not bad. Oh, we can get him. Let's go get him. Let's go bring him home. What do we want? Jonathan India? Yeah, we'll go Jonathan India. You're a fucking weirdo. Oh my god, we got the greatest pet round. Oh, let's fucking... Let's go. How good! Let's go. Let's go. We got the we got the best Woo! round of the pack. Thanks, Ka. Thanks, Ka. Um. You can
can do it! Naughty, naughty. <laughs> oh, teeny! Uh, so let's see. Do we do Mike? Mike? So it's definitely not Billy Hamilton, because, um, he's cheap as shit. Do we do Adelie Roostman, or do we do Mike Hampton? This is, uh, this is a diff- This is, uh, a difficult one. Oh, yes, Daddy! It's very, very difficult. Mike Hampton. They're both basically the same price. Nobody's gonna play. What do we do, Rushman? Hmm. What do we do? Do we do the Hampton? He was a Met. So was Billy Hamilton, to be, you know, quite frank. He was a Met. Rushman. I did say on stream that if we got the pack and if we did get to this round, I would take the Rushman. I did. But he can hit the shit out of the ball too, right? 68, 86, 56, 65, 62. 88 fielding. Parallel it up, it's diamond. He is a tad more coin. No, what I like to do is be a completionist. He is a tad bit. I would get a little bit more coin for him. I, I do keep, like, I am, I do try to collect almost every card in the game. Um, hmm. It's, it's definitely a, a toughie. Definitely a toughie. Uh, we do Billy Hamilton, no. Um, I would say the Hampton, because, I would say, mm, they're both the same. They literally just both became the same. I'm gonna take the ha I'm gonna take the Hampton. And uh because of because because he was a It's like fuck. I don't know what I want to do. Okay. I am picking. I'm picking my Campton. Yep. And I already have all these. They're both all the same price. They're both a thousand. So, um, we will not quick sell that. We will put that up. I have every uniform in the game. There it is. What were the other ones? It was the Marlins. It was the Tampa Bay, right? Let's see, did we make the correct call? Okay, definitely made the right call on that. What was the final one? Oh, the San Diego Road. Okay. I think I might have made the right call on which uniform I picked. San Diego Road. I did. Let's go. I did make the correct choice. Let's get after it. Um, so we're up to 19,000. We just pulled one of those cards, which is awesome. We did get the... Um... We did get, we I, I bought all these cards, so we have all them. We have all these cards. And we did get the Clemente. Very nice. Uh, we don't have any of these bought yet. Um, we'll see if they get removed in five days. Uh, if they do, that'll be tough. But, um... And then with the, uh, the ranked seasons... I just had to buy one. I just had to buy... I 
forgot. Did we get Wade Davis or Tom Murphy? I don't know which one we bought. Uh, we got, but we just had to buy the other. And with all these guys, fuck those two. They're all 34. So, they're very earnable. We have till June 14th till they do any moves on that. So, we definitely have some time. And then with the events, the event ends on uh, Friday. It ends tomorrow. I already bought that uniform, and I bought both the Cabrera and the Nick Marquez. So... And uh, the only thing I had to do is buy the two cards from the previous event. And we'll basically be in a good spot with all of those online cards. And then the offline cards, let's take a gander at it. Because we're also going to collect the Jonathan India and the Joey Wentz to get me Jared Kalanick. Alright, I'm editing your video right now. One sec. That's good. Um... So, the Familia was in Space 1. Vigio was what? Number 2. Uh, number 3, I mean. Billy Hamilton was 2. The second half heroes. Um, headliner. Online, online. BR reward. Space 1. Space 2. Event. Uh, headliner. So that's that. Prospects, whole bunch of headliners and, and set and space packs, so not even concerned. And then all the uh, the golds, we will be earning all the golds through playing. Second inning, which we also have to we have to buy. Br headliner online headliner, but very cheap online. All of these will be earned with the May rewards, so I don't buy those. Those will be earned. Okay, we did get the Tom Murphy. Okay. So. We did get the Murphy. Uh, we got all the future stars. Uh, set one and set two. And then that that's it for the rookie cards. Current headliner. Uh, set one. Online, online. Second inning. Online, online, old event. Let's buy him. We're going to put in a buy order at 67250 So then we'll have both of those cards done. And then, like I said, this is, uh, I think, what was it, three, and this one's one. That was three. That's online. Three, two... Three. And then online, online, headliner, headliner, headliner. So as you can see, we're gonna be earning a lot of headliner packs. We're also they're also gonna be probably in the in the store by the end of the game. So I'm not concerned at all about the headliners and shit like that. Space one, two, and three packs are gonna be in the um Inning rewards and conquest rewards and shit like that. So that's also going to be a whole fucking circus. Plus, they're probably going to be in the store at the end of the game, too, or in the middle of the game, sales, things like that. And at the current time, the the low portions of all of those are like 7K apiece. So I'm not concerned at all about eventually owning all of the Space 1, 2, and 3 players. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not concerned. I have all the stadiums, have all the uniforms, and I'm working on the equipment, but I'm selling all my diamond equipment as soon as I get it because it's so unbelievably expensive. And that's kind of like where we sit, you know, with all of those collections. And we're not done for the night. We're going to end by completing the conquest. That's when we're going to be done. And we still have five games to go. And we might play another online. We might play that fucking pricing event because it's only three innings and it's not that much aggravation it's aggravation but it's not that much
because I don't want to touch that BR because it's about to end. Number one and number two is um, Mac and PJ are currently in the middle of a run. It's a pretty good run, even though it's it's only one. And I can't I to test all the online, but especially I hate BR. Even though I think a lot of people say it's like the most fun thing to do, so I shouldn't have done that with that nine. That was stupid. I should have attacked upward and gone up here. Oh well. Fuck it. But you know, you know what I'm saying, Drew? Like, I like to collect. I like to collect all the cards. I had almost every card last year. I had... By the end of the game, I had almost every card that was in the event and every other card that was in the game. Other than the BR and the World Series rewards. I actually had zero of them, even though some of them became very, very cheap. And maybe one day I should go on and see if see if my buy orders ever went. I put in buy orders in, like, March for, or February for, um... Because I had, like, three million coin at the end. And I still have a million coin, like, sitting on it. But, um, I, sh I put in a buy order for, uh, uh Billy Wagner and Goose Gossip, the 99s, so. Maybe one day those will go through. That's what I know what you're saying about like, oh, sell it. It's, you know, it's like 50k and you get coin and stuff. You're right. But I was very fortunate to get into that round. And uh, I I think we'll, we'll keep it. Maybe we use it a bit. Who knows? Alright, my uh -oh, YouTube retard alert. is retard alert ready. It's going to upload at 2 p.m. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Did anyone just see that shit? Did anyone just see what just happened in this game? Did anyone just see what just fucking happened? Look at this shit. Ah. Uh. Drops it. And this dick, Harper, caught it. Um, do I think Ochani will win the AL MVP? Yes. Uh, if he continues to do what he is doing right now, pitch mediocre and Frank Dingers, drive in runs, and play the outfield and get a couple outfield assists and not be a fucking detriment to society like on that side of the ball with like errors and shit, he will. That's gone. Um, he will um, win the MVP. I know Harper makes that catch, like Christ, and then Gene Sakura hits a home run. Like Gene Sakura ain't doing that this year. He's fucking terrible. It's like I can't wait for my next game against the Mets when I fucking have to have like a Lindor hit a dinger. It's like he ain't doing that shit. That sucks. That's a total pecker ass. Yeah, we're almost up to 6,200 live, like, 6,200 views. I go up the live views, because that other thing at the top of that dashboard is a bunch of bullshit. Damn, that's a hanger. 
That's unfortunate. Good timing, too. Lindor's green hair looks like it looks like the Philly fanatic. It literally looks like ridiculous. He looks ridiculous with that. And like he might think like, oh, I'm being cool, I'm being that. Like no, we only give a shit if you crank dingers and uh, fucking help us win games. And you've been total horrific ass at the plate, batting fucking 170 or whatever the hell he's batting. Christ Almighty. Like, he literally, he, 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 he needs a fucking absurd hot June and July to even become mediocre batting average. Like, he needs to bat, like, 380 in the month of June and, like, 390 in the month of July just to get back to, like, a 240, 250 batting average. Diamond defense out there. Dude, Corbin Burns' pitch is going right down the fucking ye old cocker. Like, Christ. Stop. Being an idiot. Get that. Shit. Like, that's the thing. Like, he could maybe do that in fucking. Cleveland with the Indians, but he can't do that with New York. I can tell you that much. I can tell you that much. That guy's being a complete pecker ass right now. Once again, you can see right there in the chat, uh, if you're not already in our Discord for the channel, please join it. A lot of fun. Good times. He's going to slide step pitch out. Watch this shit. Oh, nope, he's not. And it's a curveball. Ball one. Thanks for this old base. He did get into a fight with McNeil. McNeil probably said something bitch made, and Lindor probably popped his cap. I feel good. Easy, James Brown. So good. So good. I'm good. You know what? You know what Lindor is? You suck, you jackass. Please, bye, foe. Fuck you, Chucky. Uh, and there's so many uh, more quotes from that Dinger Derby that I didn't include because they weren't like the greatest quotes. Finger Me Elmo is another one. Free Willy. I mean, I'm basically the best Fall Guys player in, that the world has ever seen, you know? Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. Somebody's got to be the best at it. I mean, uh, that's me. That's why I'm here. Why not? Why not be you? Uh, it is me. Oh my Christ, you want to see a dead body? Fucking look at that fucking dinger. Gone forever, Aaron Hernandez. The best at a dumb game. Ooh. Them's be fighting words. I definitely liked it, and my friends liked it for like two weeks. And then we kind of said like, eh, it's a bit whack. Like they weren't updating it. It was like right, it was like before season, like they said season two's coming. Season two came out like two months later, like shit. Or season one, whatever the fuck, I don't even know. No, season two. And it was like, yeah, no, you, you kind of lost us there. Kind of lost it, but you know what? 
for people like Hayden who like to play it, and, and I'll be and everybody else. Will play. Well, I mean, I, I I live to play it, you know. But that's good, right? Like it's it's a good game. Like it's not like an awful game. It's just like no, it's, it's a fun game. It's, it's not a sweat game. No, it's not sweat. This is sweat. The, the sports games are sweat. They're sweat. Big sweat. All right. So we end up with the Phillies. We have four games to go. So we're probably going for like another half hour or so. And then I don't know what we'll do after. Maybe maybe we will play that silver event. Who knows? Maybe we'll get a little frisky. Who knows? Great success. But the problem is, you want to know what fucking online is? He is painting my assholes. Painting my assholes. Lee Smith's on the grind to two. Corbin Burns continuing to get up to four. Soriano is like two good games away from being tier four. Chipper Jones is closing on tier. A lot of tier fours going on. About to happen. Team's lit. But the thing is, I got this team all at like the same time. And they've kind of been in the same amount of games, so they're all kind of progressing at the exact same time. You call me fat? Yeah. Okay. It happens. Shit, shit happens. Went to 76 live views. Love to see it. Love to see it. Give me a hell yeah! I liked Among Us for a bit. Yeah, so did I. I was a big fan of Among Us. So the problem was, and I and I played it like 19 streams in a row or some shit like that, like 19 different streams I played on it, and they're all on YouTube. You can go watch them. The problem is, um, you go in the way of the dodo. The problem is, like I was always playing with kids, and the kids were fucking horrific, and they would just say things like, "It's blue," fucking what? Like with no logic, like no like, oh, you said you vented. From uh, uh, cafeteria to shit and, you know, cafeteria to power and that doesn't exist. Like, shit like that. Picking up on people's lies. They were horrifically bad liars. Horrifically bad, you know, imposters. And just, they didn't know how to play the game. They had, like, no logic and reason. You would say, like, hey, like, you would even bring that shit up. You'd be like, hey, this guy said that he vented from... Uh, vent, you know, not vented, um, from cafeteria to fucking power. And you can't do that. And they'd be like, I don't know, that's not enough proof. And you'd be like, you'd be like arguing with like 12, and then you'd ask them like in the lobby, how old are you? 10? Like, Get and the fuck eight. out of here. Like, you were born when I was in high school. Get the fuck lost, my guy. I'm not even old. Like, like that was what I hated about it. That's what I hated about the game, was like, you'd be playing with like... I think I legitimately played with, like, two eight-year-olds once. I was like, bro, what? You were literally... And it was 2020, so I was like, you were literally born when I was a sophomore in high school. Right. <laughs> like, they were all my, my birthday like, school. I was in, like, you know, sixth grade or something. Yeah. I don't know. The birthday was, like, September of 12. I'm like, Christ, I was literally a sophomore. Dude, again, Drew getting blocked by the auto mod. It blocks you saying retards in the chat, but uh -oh, doesn't do that. Oh, retard alert! Retard alert, class! Um, and it blocked him again! But see, now I've added, I've added retard and retard to, to the list of permitted terms. So I bet if you tried it again, it would go. Try it one more time. Oh, and here's another thing. If if you have a problem with the word retard, you're a retard. You're fucking, you're, you're, you're soft. retarded. You're retarded. You're like, soft. You're soft. Well, no, th like that's the whole joke. Is like if you have a problem with it, like people like would say it to like me in college. They'd be like, "That's the R word." I'm like, "Retard." Like, like you know, 
don't tell me it's like human nature like right like don't press that button you're gonna fucking press that button so it's like don't tell me i can't say it because i'm definitely gonna want to say it like 80 billion times more now you know yep it's the age-old thing but it is funny definitely funny and you know what if people can't hang I don't want them around oh my Christ okay. Lord have mercy, I'm about to bust. <laughs> I, I love that one. Some of them are pretty low. I don't know why they're that low, but they just are. Like, I don't know. I gotta go in there and kind of boost some of them up. Oh. Ooh, did Acuna hook that one? Acuna did. Gone forever, Aaron Hernandez. Wow, 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 he's a very nice. You suck, you jackass. I coached 14 you, and I said it at practice, and they all got real quiet, and they said the school treats it. Oh, no, they 100%. They equate it to that, and it's like, no, it's not. It's like one will make you people go, I don't think you should say that. And the other will go, um, you're gonna get your face punched in. Like, there's a big, there's a big fucking difference. And, again, and, like, and Tom Segura has a great bit on it. A great comedy skit on the whole, you know, retard thing. And he's like, uh, it's never used, like, as a derogatory term about people who have down syndrome like it's never about like oh look at that it's never like used towards that it's like it's used towards absolutely retarded ideas like like oh let's go drive to my house and then i'll drive you back to your house and then we'll drive back to mine to pick up clothes like no that that idea is retarded like that's stupid it's it's idiotic it's craziness um that's what it's used for people are like nope it's like, yeah, okay. Be a pecker ass somewhere else. Thanks, you retard. <laughs> like, <laughs> just funny. It's funny stuff. No, but they 100% do. They do. They treat it like that's the, that's the, that's a bad, you know, very fresh word. And it's like, it's not a fresh word. It's like, no, stop. Is it the most kind thing? No. But is it on the line of probably the most egregious fucking racial epithet out there? No. Yeah, but like, that's what I'm saying. But like, that's what I, that's exactly, because no. That was, we cleared retards and we cleared retard, not retarded. That was a different word. That's a different one. So that doesn't count. Um, I like that's a thing. Like you never use it to describe them. Ever. And if you do, you'd be like, that's a little much, right? Like that's you're a little much. Or you would say the word mentally retarded, right? Like an actual medical term. Or tard. Yeah. Or tard. <laughs> Being a little tardy. But, you know, it's like not... It's never used against them, like towards them, ever. Like, it's used towards friends and dumb ideas. And people who piss and moan about a word are fucking retarded. Like, you see, like, how it works? 
perfectly just flows into each other into itself like if you're getting butthurt over a word go touch some grass The Mets are bitch made. The Mets are totally bitch made for pitching out of me there. Fuck Dellen Batanzas, he's not even on the team, he's fucking hurt all the time. Pussy. He? He's he is literally the definition of a pitcher who's like, my pussy's cool. When he wants to go out there and pitch. And when he does pitch for the Mets, he's fucking abysmal. So like he can stay on the disabled list. I don't even give a shit. Like, nobody misses him. Like, nobody misses him. Like, that's the thing. Like, honestly, before he just came in for the Mets in this game, I totally forgot that... Dellen Batanz is a Met. And he's been a Met even last year. I totally forgot. That's how irrelevant he's been. And the only memory I have of him is him, is him blowing that fucking Braves game last year. When they were up, like, 9-1 some dumb shit like that, like 8-2 or whatever the hell when he came in, and he fucking blew it to Travis, goddamn Christ and Darnell. Assholes. But they're my team. The New York dickheads. We have 80 live views on this stream. Okay. Tell your friends. Bring them on in. Bring them on home. Spread the good news. That's probably the biggest thing, right? And I'm sure that you've kind of thought about it too, Aiden. Is like having people talk about you and your stream to other people, like real people that they know, and then spreading like that. It's such an underrated thing, you know? Is Dylan Batens going to pitch out this time? So yeah, chat, um, just saying it right now, I might not stream tomorrow because it honestly it depends if the Pussy. It depends if the Islanders win. Pussy. I know. It depends if the Islanders win. I'm going tomorrow to game three. If the New York Islanders win their hockey match tomorrow at the Coliseum, I'll be on. No, no, no. If they lose, no, no, I'll be in a piss mood. No. And no, I will not come on. No. No. You're bitch made. I know I am. But also the game starts at seven, and You're fucking bitch made. it's probably gonna go to nine thirty. I might leave the Coliseum at like ten because it's probably gonna be the last time I'm in that joint. Um, no, nope. it's closing. So, and then plus if it goes to like five overtime, I'll be home at twelve, and then that's just eight. Listen, if it goes to five overtimes, I will kill myself. Mm, if it goes to nope, five overtimes, nope, nope it, you're a bitch. If it goes to five overtimes and I'm there and we lose, I legitimately might kill myself. I'm not even kidding. It's TLS. Like, it is pussy. My pussy would 100% be cold. And I'll deal with it because I I, I can't. Facts. I was just thinking about... Yeah, word of mouth. Yeah, it's important, right? Because if you tell your friend that and he hangs out, says I like it, and then joins. He tells friends that you don't know about. Friends that he has. And it's like on and on and on, you know? It just triples. The triple effect. It's a good trickle-down domino effect. So I'm not streaming tomorrow, most likely? Shush up. I'm a good luck charm, my guy. I've barely, 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 barely ever lost when I go. And, okay, so honestly, the only time that they ever lost was when they retired Butch Goring's number. They lost to the Bruins 4-0. Oh, I was there. Um, they lost game two of the second round to Carolina. I was at the Barclays Center. I fucking hated it. We had a one nothing lead going to the third. We eight ass. Eight total asshole. In that series. Should have won game one. We were robbed. I Listen, this is the thing about being a fan. Oh my god, he hit another. He hit another. Ho, ho, ho. Green Giant. Oh, yeah. 
is that we had a goal disallowed by Anders Lee. Remember, it was nothing, nothing going into overtime, and then they won one nothing on a play off the boards. Anders Lee got a had a goal taken away because he touched the goaltender for goalie interference, even though it, he fucking was pushed into him from behind. It was total bullshit. Total bullshit. And that would have been one nothing. But you know what? It's Fort Never Lose, and it's the last little wrap of Fort Never Lose. And I think that the Coliseum has one more little run left in itself. Uh, left in its historic building. And I hope that I'm there for it. I really am. Uh, if we go down 2-1, then we need to win Game 4. And um, I don't want to do that because then Game 5... In Take Pittsburgh, me home! I'm just saying. Must win. So I don't want to do that. And I want to stream tomorrow, so I want to win. Blue Ridge Mountain Cannon that's a bit, that's a bop. What? It's a bop. Yep, yep. See, if you like that song, you gotta go to the St. Louis Blues. You gotta go to a Blues game, because they play that, like, in the middle of, uh, the third period, as they're, like, sing along. They play that song, the whole stadium sings it. West Virginia, Mountain Mama. Take me home, country roads, wood. Around her, ladies, <laughs> stranger to blue water. <laughs> All right, Soriano needs like one more good game. And then Laying it on the sky, just to taste the moonshine. Teardrops in my eyes, country road. Take me home to the place I belong. Yeah, that note gets a lot of people going. Oh, you actually yeah. are listening to John Denver. Oh, I was like, okay. yeah, I'm like literally listening to it. Yeah, John Denver, he's the fucking yeah. man, man of the hour. Yeah, I just, I, I really don't want to lose tomorrow. Like if we win. And we're up two one, like, and then we win game four. We're up three games to one. You need to win one to three games, like. You, you gotta, you gotta grip the dog. Older than the. Like, that's the biggest thing. Is I, you gotta win. You, we gotta win them all. Because if you win tomorrow. And then we come back and win at the Coliseum Saturday. We're three games one going into game five in Pittsburgh. It's whatever. Then we go back to the Coliseum for game six with a chance to clinch and go on to the second round. You gotta take it. Country road. Gather around her. Modern lady. Stranger to blue water. We used to play a John Denver song in band. It was pretty lit. John Denver's lit. Oh, he's a fucking man. Except there's a much more better version of that song. It's like a pump-up version. Take me home to the place I belong. West Virginia. Mountain Mama. I did consent consider sending him home. <laughs> That's great. I wasn't even talking about like I was like yeah we're singing the song but like I was considering sending him home on a tag up for a second which is complete. Did John Denver like drink himself to death? I think he, he is dead. I don't know how he died. I think wait hold on. He uh oh oh Eric, he. Fucking died in an air crash, dude. Fuck. Oh, he did. I drank some. Uh, 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 my, fuck. I don't know. That was a few people. Yeah, Elvis did drugs. Yes. Died. Some while. I don't know. The Bobby shit. Oh, 
Here's a question, Drew, for you. Um, do you think that if Otani still goes off, because he's the new love child of the media, that he'll get the cover for 2022? Because that's what happened with that's what's happened with the past. Baez Hang was the media darling. The guy. Sorry, I'm vibing. Yeah. He was the media darling in 19, like 18 and 19, and then he became the person at 20, and then Tatis was the media darling in 19 and 20, and then became the 21 guy. So do you think, like, Otani, who was the media darling for the last couple of years, and definitely is now, do you think that Otani will become the cover artist for 22? Because I think the answer is yes. Because that's how they do it. She calls me. Radio reminds me of my Yesterday Country Road Take me home to the place. West Virginia, Mountain Mama. Thank you. Country Road. Country Road. Dude, I, that, they, the other version of it, that's what they do. Is, nah, nah, nah. No, nah, I mean, like, the, the original nah, nah, nah. one is pretty. It has fucking almost 400 million views, so. Yeah, but the, the remix version. Like that, I listened to that. I always listened to going to school, like on Fridays, it was on the radio it, on like New York radio. They would do like a, a weekend countdown, like a weekend, yeah. like blast off, and yeah. they played it. Oh, dude, it's lit. It's like it's like from the 90s. My buddy has a record shop, so that's where I go. Oh, yeah, that's legit. pretty legit. I have records, I have a record player, I like it. It's fun. So, all my records are. Beetle from the 60s. To the play. Are you playing it again? I'm having it on repeat. <laughs> Let's okay. see, I'll change it. Here we go. Hold on. No, I'm gonna need the go. I'm gonna need the country roads. Go home and find the country roads. Okay, 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 okay. Here we go. Here we go. I got I got one. Here we go. Uh Ba, ba, ba. <laughs> oh, you want to know a story about this song? Sure. Okay. So, for our, for in ninth grade, you, everybody in cl in the school, in your ninth grade, had to take a course, and you would learn the songs for your monthly mass. That's what you would do. So, yeah. we would have to warm up at the beginning. Remember, this is everybody in the grade. So, like, this is not, like, a select chorus like I was in, you know, with only, like, a couple people from the grade. This was, like, a, like a, everybody had to do it, of all tracks and everything. So, nobody took it seriously at all. Like, nobody went hard. Everyone was kind of just saying, like, murmuring it. And then when you got in the mess, everyone would just scream the fucking songs. So, yeah. nobody gave a shit. <laughs> yeah, nobody would give a shit. So... Um, to warm us up, we had to do a taekwondo, because you also took taekwondo as your gym class freshman year. So we had to do a taekwondo routine in in here to um, to Eye of the Tiger. And we also sometimes would replace it with the safety dance. So we would be in fucking chorus class, you know, in this, in this music class, having to go like, bump. Bum, bum. Like, shit was AIDS. Yeah. Shit was horrific. We all hated it. And then we'd also have to do the, sometimes the Cupid Shuffle. Yep, yep. And we'd have to do the Cupid Shuffle in school, in class. And they were, and then she would, like, pull people out to do, like, lead, like, lead it. And it was fucking brutal. Like, hysterical. Hysterical. Oh, that's fucking annihilated. Get, that ball is oh, oh, never oh. coming back. Fucking serve that one up, didn't you, Chucky, you stupid fucking idiot? <laughs> oh, that shit is never coming back to. Oh, oh, oh. Green Giants. Oh, oh. 
I just press all of them. But they all kind of blend into making this fantastic little... Uh-oh, retard alert! Retard alert, class! Okay. You can do it! Give me a hell yeah! Gone forever, Aaron Hernandez! I love doing that. It's so much fun. But, um... No, yeah, that's, so that's what we had to do in our chorus list, and then we'd sing, like, the holy songs. Because it was, like, Christian... We wouldn't do, like, actual, like, psalms and shit for the mass. We would do, like, Christian rock for the mass songs. So... It was... It was fucking hysterical. You ever been to my Madison Square Garden? No, I've, been to, I've been to Madison. Give me a yeah. question. Give me a question. I've been to hundreds at the Madison Square Garden, but for what? Uh, just, you know, I thought I thought you, I was like, I wonder if he's been there. I'm like, yeah, no, of yeah. course he has. No, yeah, I've been there. I've been there to see Billy Joel a few times. Uh, Billy I've Joel, some... I love Billy Joel. Dude, well, Billy Joel is from Long Island, so like everybody here knows him. Everyone knows him. It's like it's like a sacrilege if you live on Long Island and don't know like fifteen thousand Billy Joel songs at the top of your head. Yeah. But like, do you know him or do you know him? Because I know like deep cuts that are fucking bangers. From, no, I just like, you know, like yeah. Piano Man and all that yeah. Kind of stuff. Yeah, no. We, we know shit like Until the Night and, uh, you know, Half a Mile Away and Zanzibar and stuff like that. I mean, Zanzibar was like a single. But still, it's like, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you know a lot more deeper cuts. Yeah. And also, like, you go to the restaurant where, you know, where... You know, you went to the Village Green, like, in Scenes of Italian Restaurant. Like, that's, you know, I've driven past that. And the restaurant that he wrote it about, in Syosset, and shit like that. So, it's like... It's lit when you're on the island. Yeah. So that's your favorite song, Piano Man? Uh, from Billy Joel. Yeah. No, no, yeah. yeah. Oh, and, uh, you know, she didn't start the fire. Oh, but. yeah. And that's a classic. I mean, but for me, as somebody who knows history, I know, like, I know the historical context between, behind every single one of those shits. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Like, you know, I know exactly what he's talking about when he's spitting his bars. But um, that's actually his least favorite song. Um, he hates he hates that song, but he plays it because everyone likes it, but he himself hates it. He hates that song. He says as much, like, as great as, like, it was as a single for him. Like, if he could, he would go back in time and not write that song. It's the only song he hates. I'm like, bro, why? It's a banger. It's something like he wrote the he wrote the words first, and then the like every other song he wrote the lyrics later after the music. So he feels that the because the words came first, then the music is that the words copied. The music, it's something, something like that, and that's why Billy Joel hates hates that song. Yeah. But you know, that's that's piano man, that's him. But there was like a story when he, so like somebody was out on like the uh, East End was throwing out a piano. They were just throwing it out because it was, like they felt like it was broken, it was no good, and all of a sudden he just rolled up, and. Uh, started playing and he was like no this is great and he was fucking playing it too so everyone was like oh if you want billy joel to come by just put a piano it's like a rat just put a piano yeah. outside your your building and, and billy joel just spontaneously come by and just and he and he called like the guy who was throwing it out out and was like oh dude this is great like look at this it's, it's good like it was like an old like 1800 shit and he was like no it should be donated to like a church or something like this is good it's it's quality like he was saying like pet like he was doing the pedals and stuff and he started playing jams like that's yeah. what that's what happens with billy joel on long island it's fun, and I've seen him in concert. It's it's a good time. Have you ever seen Billy Joel live from Long Island? I've not. Oh, it go on go online like go on YouTube and like look up like his concert at the Nassau College where I'm gonna be tomorrow for the Honda game where they yeah. play. It was on. It was broadcast live like, um, and it's like his best concert. Like, if you go on, like, his iTunes and look at all those music videos of him, like, in concert, 
for like until the night and scenes from Italian restaurant and all that shit. That is from the NASA. Event. That's from what I'm talking about. That's from yeah. the like his big shot concert. Like, and you could see like the signs in the background. Like, Master Pico loves Billy Joel. Like, Master Pico was a town and, and yeah. stuff. And he grew up near there. It's fun. I love. I love him. He's awesome. It's it's fun because he kind of encapsulates like Long Island and like if you're a Long Islander like you his songs like touch you differently, um, you know they kind of hit different you know, and yeah. uh, it's just it's fun. It, it's definitely a fun thing. Like when when they on when Sirius XM comes out with the Billy Joel channel, and um, and they get going with it, uh, it's a nonstop uh, ripper of that channel uh, for that like one month that it's out. I've always wanted to see like Michael Jackson live, but obviously too late for that. Yeah, but he was definitely a lit, a lit performance. Except he lip synced all, all the songs. Yeah. You went. You went to Michael Jackson to see him dance. You didn't go to Michael Jackson to see him sing because he never yeah, saw him. Yeah, right, 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 right. Which is retarded, which is dumb, but it's like that's what you did. Whatever. Uh, I wish I could have seen the Beatles. I've seen Paul. I've seen Ringo, but yeah. I wish I could have seen all four. Like in the prime, like Bennett Shea in '65. Like that would have been, that would have been the wave for me, personally. Would have been there. But I've been lucky. I've seen some. I've seen some good. I've seen some musicians. I've seen Huey Lewis in the news. Yep. I've seen um, Tom McLean. He does American Pie. I know, like, not enough people know like Tom McLean, but then when you say American Pie, everyone's like, "Oh shit!" I've seen the Doobie Brothers. I've seen um, Chicago. Yep. Um, I've seen. I love Chicago. I love all the bands that I've seen. I don't see bands that I've seen. I've seen Jimmy Buffett. Um, a few times. Like I said, Ringo. I saw Ringo once. I've seen. Um, I've seen Paul a number of times. Yeah. I've seen Paul Simon. Yep. Um, I've seen um, Casting Crows. Uh huh. Um, I've seen a lot of the oldies. You know, they would always come to the park near me. I would go with my yeah. dad. So we would always see that shit. Like all the uh, doo-wop. Doo-wop is my favorite type of movie. So I'd see all the yeah. doo-wop bands. I saw Dion. Uh, I saw Johnny Maestro in the Brooklyn Bridge. I've seen the Capri's. Yeah. I've seen a lot of those old shits. I've seen a lot of that. I mean, the Capri's have my favorite song of all time. So. Yeah. Which is, There's a Moon Out Tonight. And, uh, you know, cause it was... It was like one of the first songs I ever like, learned how to sing and stuff. Like with my uncle, he would do like the, um, he would do like the the first part, and then I would do like. Um, so basically, how the song goes is like, um, like, it's like 
there's a moon out tonight. And then you'd go, <laughs> that's what, that was the part that I would do. And, and that's my favorite song to sing. And uh, I love it. I love it. Do I use button? I use, uh, I, I, yeah, I, for the zone, I do button. I know I just swung a missed on that one. But yeah, I, I, I button it. Interesting fact, Michael helped make Sonic 2. Yes, I know that, yes. I also know that Michael Jackson was supposed to be in on the, uh, on the 98th floor of the North Tower of the World Trade Center on 9-11. But, but he overslept. Yes, Seth MacFarlane was supposed to get yes. on the plane. Yes, he was on but flight he, 11. He got, he, got, he got drunk. Yes, he was supposed to be on flight 11. Um, God damn it. Man. Fuck, I'm giving up homers to fucking CPU bullshit. Um, that wasn't even bad. Like, that's... But, um, yeah, no, he had had a concert with the Jackson 5, like, the 30th anniversary tour or some shit like that, at the, at the garden the night before, and, uh, and then it went to that. Crazy, you never know. That whole day is filled with all that shit. Yeah. The whole day is filled with all that. People who are unfortunate, people who are fortunate. What happens? They call me Gress. Yeah, so I use I use directional because you know the reason why, what how I, what I feel about it is that there's so much RNG in the game, um, with the PCI placement and the PCI dots and the PCI this and that, um, that with this it's only one type of like my timing isn't that bad. I can get pretty good timing on stuff, so I'll leave it up to the one piece of RNG which is like how it wants to rate the hits, and if it's perfect, so I'm gonna get good results like that. Uh, you do get unlucky, you know, sometimes, but, you know, I just kind of feel to try to take some of the, the RNG out of the game, you know, so to speak. Um, and also my thumbs, they really don't move that well, this thumb, to do the PCI, uh, you know, to get it, to get it kind of moving and be able to move it in, in a good spot. So it's like, that's kind of why I don't use it, you know? Um, hey man, this is my first MLB game. Well, congratulations. Um, I'm happy that it went to Xbox. Um, I've been asking for it for years. I'm on Xbox, but I've had it for years on PlayStation uh, 2, 3, and 4, and 5. I have this one. On, I, I didn't buy it on 5, but I had 20 on 5. I've never seen anyone use directional, but you seem really good with it. Would you play me? Uh, yeah. yeah. Of course, my guy. This is, like, I'm just playing some Conquest because I was just finished up the second... Uh, second round of the grind to get Kalanick, and we just got him. We just uh, we got our tenth player. Um, so yeah, that's what I've. That's the only reason I've been redoing the Nation of Baseball. I already did it once. Um, I do want to do it five times so that I get all thirty gold players for free. Because uh, I personally believe that there are going to be more players like the Kalanick being put into like collection rewards for it. But hundred percent. If you're on Xbox, right? Yeah, because this is your first game, right? So I would assume that you're on Xbox. 100%. 100%, my guy. I'll play you. I don't care. And I seem good at it. That's good, because I, I do try. I, like, I'm not even kidding around with that. Like, I do try to be pretty good with it. Because um, it is hard. And like I said, the one thing, there is a very, 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 I can't stress it enough, negative stigma towards directional users. Oh, that's gone. That thing is absolutely obliterated. Get out of my lobby. Oh, I clicked that button. No, no, no. I fucked up. I clicked the wrong button. I, once I clicked it, I knew exactly what I did. Once I clicked it, I knew exactly what I fucking did wrong. I don't know. I gotta fix that, because that's absolutely ridiculous that it keeps doing that. I don't know why it's doing that. Oh, is that gone too? Nah, that's it. Is it? No, it's not. Let's go. But, yeah, no, 100%. We'll play. It's gonna be on All-Star, right? Like, because that's, that's what online play is for, like, VR and stuff. And for most of your run through ranked. And, yo, they call me Grizz. If you have any questions of the game itself, right... Any questions of the game? Ask. Ask away, my guy. 
please, you're more than welcome to ask. I am a uh, respite of knowledge, if you will. I am a respite of knowledge. Um, if you have any questions about the game, let me know. Ask me. I love to talk, as you can clearly see. I'm talking about bullshit. So, I could talk about anything, and I legitimately mean that. And Hayden can agree. Like, he's seen it. Yeah, he just talks about. He just talks and doesn't shut the fuck up. I don't he's shut good up. At it. it helps because all that. But radio no, but it's, it's 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 not in the bad way though. No, it's not. It's in, in the entertaining way. I hope that's what I try. But it's in that radio training of just no dead air My and just chatting. Is big and it keeps getting bigger. X Poppy, BZ. I ground it out, bitch. Um, thank you so much for the follow, my guy. Okay. Uh. Give me a hell yeah. Woo! Thank you so much for that. It means a lot. I appreciate it. Uh, tremendously. Uh, means a lot. Um, welcome on in. Um, you know, I appreciate it. Uh, you're welcome. Um, wait, what do you mean? Oh, he's a friend? Oh, bro, yo. Introduce yourself, my guy. Yo, Drew, does he build Legos too? Does my he build Legos too? Is big and it keeps getting bigger. PNC. Shimpy. With the follow, thank you so much. Thank you very much, hey, my guy. Cool. I know. Thank you very much. Welcome on into the stream. Hope you enjoy. Hello, MTV. Welcome to my crib. Hello, MTV. Welcome to my crib. That's a that's a fucking hysterical video. Um, I appreciate it. But yeah, no, chat away. Ask me questions. Oh, FIFA friend. I was gonna say because there's nothing wrong with that because I build them, you build them. That's why I was asking. I was like, bro, does he build? Does he get does he get after the Lego grind? Because I do. Let's go. Tier four chipper. That's what we like to see. That gets me feeling some type of way. Uh, tier 4 chipper. And unfortunately, I did not see what we were doing with that. I did not see... Uh, how much longer we have till other things. But no, Shimpy, welcome in. Um, introduce, you know, chat. Who's your favorite baseball team? Do you like sports? Where are you from? Ask, talk about, ask me whatever. You can ask me about the fucking weather. I don't care. I chat. You ask, I talk. Very simple. Very simple. Very simple strat. Speedrunner strat. As I talk to the king of the 1.16.1 speedrun of Minecraft. Not hate it. I'm dog shit at speedrunning, bro. <laughs> Oh, I'm not playing them on whole event. All right, I have every territory except one, right? Yeah. All right, so we're going to play this one Boston game on rookie. Hopefully, we can win a rookie game, right? Like, let's see. Maybe I'm not total AIDS. And then uh, once we do that, we'll get a, we're going to have two packs to open as well as the 10-pack box. And then we might play They Call Me Grant. Um, hold on, I'm gonna add this com, because I don't think it's there. Add com. Hold on. I'm just writing what, I'm writing a com. There. So if you add, if you just type in GT, you'll get my gamer tag. It's Bazinga Beatles 8 on PSN and Xbox. It's both. I'm gonna pull a trout. Well, it would be my, uh, it'd be my third trout pull of our 2021 experience. 
I pulled them hour one on stream, and I kind of flipped out. I sold them, and then I pulled them a co like a couple days later. Uh, I pulled them back like two, like a week or so later, eight days. Pulled them back, and then that's what. And then I bought a little bit of coin, and I got through like like I bought like two three hundred dollars worth. Ripped through every single other person, and then we had we had chipper we had chipper in the gang. But I appreciate everybody in here. I appreciate everyone. So yeah, like I said, um, they call me Grass. Is that I will play you. No doubt. Uh, after we do this, and then we rip some, rip some back. But like I said, if you have any questions about the game, like talking about like the game and stuff, game mechanics and shit like that, please don't hesitate to ask questions. I love when questions are asked in the chat, it allows me to be able to talk and interact with you guys. I love interacting with chat. Um, I pride myself on reading every single message and talking with everybody and, and chatting. So if you're in there, tip, tap, type away, my guy. And if you like what you see, please consider following. And if you like what you see, I mean, you guys already have. But if you like all what you see, if you really like it, and if you're feeling, re <laughs> if you're feeling real generous, uh, please, it, no, it's not necessary, but to consider subscribing. But also, the biggest thing before you do that, tell your friends. Tell your friends. It's important. Get that... What is it? Y-O-M? No, it's not Y-O-M. Where the fuck would Y come in? The play? It's W-O-M, you dickhead. Sometimes I'm pretty stupid, but... Okay. Whatever. You suck, you jackass. Another classic movie. But that's like the thing, Hayden, with like your shit, with your stream deck, is you just have to watch comedy movies and shit on YouTube and just hear something and that goes click and say, I want to put that on my... I just have you know? the, um, the... Hi, how are you from Spongebob? Yeah. It's a good one. It's a good one. But, like, for me, I've got stuff, like, I have the Jeopardy theme if somebody's paused and taking way too long. Like, yeah, 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 da, da, da. I just say that, yeah. though. That's funny, though. Like, I have a bunch of, like, the memes of, like, Lord have mercy, I'm about to bust, and you like jazz and stuff. Like, get those memes in there. But then also, like, I love the Borat stuff, so I have six Borat stuff. You know, I have the four Kent Murphys, we're gonna grow some more Kent Murphy. I have three South Park, we're gonna grow more South Park. Um, some of that Adam Sandler shit. You know, one from the Water Boy, one from Happy Gilmore, and one from the Longest Yard. Like, you know, it's stuff like that. Two from the campaign. Um, a bunch of stuff from like Troy Dan that you'll see on his streams. You know, you gotta, you gotta try to find stuff. Like, I'm also gonna put some stuff from like Ownage pranks on there. Yeah. Like, like some of his Buck Lau and and uh, some of his calls to the gay hotline and shit. All that shit, I, but, you know, that's the biggest thing, is, like, trying to find stuff, and you'll come up, like, I also had to put on there, but I wanted to write down is, you know, Haley, you cool cats and kittens from Carol Baskin, you know, I gotta, I wanna put that in there, from Tiger King, maybe even put some Joe Exotic on there, who knows, but it's all about just hearing something that oh, you like exotic. to say, yeah, <laughs> just trying to hear stuff that you like to hear, and just put it on there, even if you never, like, use it, even if it collects dust, like, it's taking up, like, zero space, like, who cares, But I appreciate it. I, listen, I appreciate all the views that have been going on tonight. Appreciate it. Tremendous support. I love it. Absolutely love it. It's alright. Really, nobody has any questions. Nobody wants to ask me about sports or weather, music. You can literally ask me anything. Like, it's literally an ask me anything. We're on Reddit. We're on Reddit right now. 
<laughs> like it literally is. You can do whatever you want. We're very I'm very easy going here. We're very we're very chill, we're very copacetic. Fun environment for all. Yeah, basically for anybody who just joined, what we're doing uh, here is, um, that was a terrible story. Is we're just playing the final game of the Conquest of the Nation of Baseball. We're going to have done that then for the second time. Um, the goal is to eventually do it five times, which sucks. It's a lot of work. But to get it five times and get all of those nice gold prospect cards for free. Even though I could buy each of them for about 4K, I don't want to do that. That's, you know, uh, what, what would that be? Um, 12... Ooh. Should be 18. 18 times 4. I really don't want to spend that much money. I could buy two World Series players for that. You know, I don't really want to do that. So, that's what we've been doing. We got the Jared Kellenick today. We just got him um, in the collection. And basically, I want to keep doing it when there's nights off, uh, where there's not a lot of uh, My content. My crew is big, and it keeps getting bigger. It's Laddie's Laddie Boy. Thank you very much for the follow, my guy. There's a Laddie in the house. Um, means a lot. Um, hope you enjoy it. Hope you enjoy what you're watching. Uh, like I said, chat away. Chit chat. Um, but yeah, that's basically what we're doing. Is getting after the conquests. And on the days where there's not a lot of content, we're going to be ripping the conquest. Um, I do know on Friday we're going to have a big stream because we're going to have a player program. We're going to have, um, a new event that we might take a gander at. It's the current event right now kind of ass but we're gonna take a gander at the event there'll be a player program uh, there's going to be a conquest map so there's gonna be a lot of content coming out on Friday for the game uh, so I'm excited to get after that but like if I stream tomorrow I'm going to the Islander game game three tomorrow Coliseum so um, stream tomorrow isn't a bit of a question but if we do stream it's gonna be restarting oh my god oh my Ho ho ho. Green giant. Oh crap. Cheese. Throw in some of that. Woo! Give me a hell yeah. And then we'll fucking serve that. that one up, didn't you, Chucky, you stupid fucking idiot? I love Kent Murphy, but um, no, I appreciate everybody in here now. I appreciate it. Um, tremendous support tonight, and uh, you know, let's keep having some fun tonight. Let's keep having some fun. But um. You know, if um, if we stream tomorrow, which I want it, which I want to, we're gonna be redoing the Nation of Baseball, getting after it for the third time. Uh, Friday, like we said, there'll be a player program, conquest, you know, all that stuff, daily moment, you know, all that good things to get after. Maybe we look at the event. Um, new headliner pack doesn't concern me, but that would be uh, Friday, and maybe it even leaks into Saturday. But then. You know, that's when the content goes back into, you know, going into the Nation of Baseball. That's kind of been our thing to play. Because, like I said, I do believe that there will be another Kellenic out there that they try to put in there. Whether it is, um, it's going to be another prospect, but I don't know who it would be. I'm not familiar too well with the prospects. Um, but definitely I think that there's going to be more... Uh, opportunity for cards like a Kellenic, like high draft picks to be collection rewards and that you're going to be required to do the Nation of Baseball some more. So that's kind of where my thought process is, thought process is behind. Is to kind of get after it. If that makes sense. But if you're watching and you like what you see, please consider following if you haven't. Like I said, we have some fun. We definitely have some fun here. Every night. We have a good time. We laugh. We joke around. Um, 
It's a good time. A nice little community. Uh, we're up to 430. Actually, no, we're up to 440. And we are up to oh, 440. Bad. We are up to 440. We're back up to 440. We are, we are chilling. You know, we've been, we have been, uh, chilling like a villain, if you will. Shut up, no, I'm just kidding. We're up to 440, which is insane. Incredible. Uh, we just hit six months, uh, yeah, two days ago. Six months of we doing it. When you think about all the off time that I've taken. Stupid. It's kind of incredible how much we've grown, and I appreciate just all the support from everybody. It really is. It's fantastic. Like there's, there's certain goals that I want to hit by the end of the year. And we're on those pathways for it. And, it. and it is exciting. It's exciting, and I'm happy that everyone enjoys it so far, and they want to come in and have a good time. I'm just excited. You know, if you're in chat, tell me who you think I'm going to pull. Because I know I'm going to pull no diamonds, right? Like, you know, I'm not getting my hopes up too much. I don't know, but tell me who you think. I mean, they called me Grass, said that I was going to pull Trout. I've already pulled Trout twice. So, uh, if we were to get a, trout, a, a third Trout in the first uh, month and a half of the game, I mean, I'm kind of using up all my pack luck. But we did. Now, oh, that's on the lands down the street. That's what you call. Ho, ho, ho. Green Giants. A little gone. A little gonzo amore from him, but, um, I kind of used up my pack, up, pack luck up tonight. I got into that, I got the space two pack, uh, because I hit 590,000 XP, and we were able to pull into that elite round. So, we pulled the Mike Hampton. Adley Rushman was considered. He was considered, but... We wound up, we wound up picking, we wound up picking Hampton. Ooh, he might be out. Nope. Let's see. Ah, uh, I mean we're up nine nothing. I really don't care. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's whatever. I'm sending him if I get thrown out. I'm not upset. Oh, but I appreciate it. almost five hours in. Uh, we got 11 people. We've been up to 14, 13. We've had a lot of viewers over the last little bit of time. And I appreciate it. I appreciate it a lot. I know sometimes with my low voice, it doesn't sound like I appreciate things. You know, it kind of sounds like I don't really care. Um... Which does suck, but believe me, I do care. It means a lot to me. Um, I appreciate it so much. on Ortiz. Let's get it going. Ortiz cranked the... F oh. Right when I was said Chris Ortiz cranked the fucking Danger Derby uh, last time. Which he did. He did crank a no-doubter. Uh, unfortunately. Couldn't crank one there. I mean, that would have definitely given him some serious points towards becoming a tier... Um, tier... Tier 5. Yeah. Ortiz is, I think, tier 4. I'm pretty sure... A lot of my guys are starting to near Tier 4, which is awesome. Uh, we just got to Tier 4, what, Alfonso and Chipper. And then uh, Trout and Ortiz are like halfway home through Tier 4. Corbin Burns is about to be Tier 4. Um, just a, a lot of Tier 4s. No Tier 5s yet. Trout is on pace to be the first Tier 5. Trout is on pace to be the first Tier 5. He is. Definitely is. Damn. 
Come on. Franchi Cordero. I definitely feel like Franchi was not on the Red Sox. He definitely was somewhere else. Where else was he? I don't know. Was he with uh, San Diego? I think he might have been with San Diego. The Finley was a good dinger. Finley and Tatis, both of my pinch hitters, cranking absolute fucking no doubt about it, dinger derbies. Alright, let's see, uh, let's see our, I mean, our, I have all the team affinities 100%. Zlatty, what is good, my guy? So Corbin Burns is about to become, Corbin Burns is about to become Tier 4. Lee Smith on the pathway to Tier 2. Buxton, he's chilling, just getting over to Tier 3. Gossage just became Tier 2. Soriano became Tier for last game, so did Chipper, or two games ago, Chip, so did Chipper. Cunha's on his path, there's Banks, and then there's Ortiz, and then there's Trout. Trout nearing under 1,000 XP to go, so kind of crazy. Tatis got some points. Piazza nearing Tier 4, and of course, the Steve Finley, who I love. There it is. And then we restart. It just sucks. Just sucks, asshole. It really does. Nice dingers. Thank you, my guy. Thank you. Uh, let's get the Luis Gil, because he's a, a Yankee, right? Like, why not? Uh, we already have our Metropolitan Brett Beatty, who is kind of a mash unit. Kind of is. Um... But I think we might go with let's go with Lewin Diaz. Why not? And then now we open up now we open up our packs. Silver doesn't change to anything nice. And let's get into it, right? But I appreciate it, my guy. I appreciate the compliment of the Dinger Derby. And I appreciate you also following. I hope you enjoy the content. I hope you enjoy it here. Like I said, we have a good time. We have a fun time. Well, gold. I'll just quick sell it a thousand. Oh, thank you. Oh. Um, I'll list them at uh, two seventy-five. Why not? Oh, we have that. Luis Urias. Oh, we'll keep the news. Come on, these packs have been kind of uh, uh, a little dry. We've had a gold player and two gold equipments. I'm going to keep that. Uh, it's new gold sound, so we'll keep. Uh, I'll keep all those news, right? Nothing wrong with a bit of a new. And we sold that other guy. Another gold. Wow, packs are kind of hot. Trevor May, New York Metropolitan. My team. May's been really good. May's been kind of quality. I don't know why he's down to a 77. Wow. We're using up all of our gold pack luck right here. I have seven of those. Using up all of our gold pack luck. Oh, we got City Field, and we got Albert Amora Jr. Three. Hello, MTV. Welcome to my Nate. crab. Nate. Nathan. 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 Nate. <clears throat> Nate. Are you kidding me, Nate? Nate. Give me a hell yeah! Nate, I can't... Nate. 40... Nate with the raid. Hold on. Of 42, as we were ripping packs, and of course the packs are dry as shit. Um... Nate, the legend of the game, one of my... Real closer friends since I've been doing this thing. Um, coming in hot with the raid of 42. Unbelievable. Nate's the best. And listen, honestly, here's the thing. When I don't stream, I watch Nate. Nate is the best. So all you guys coming in there from him. Um, I usually chat with some of you guys. Uh, awesome. Nate, I can't... I can't thank you enough. I really can. I really cannot thank you enough. We're just hanging out here, just chatting, having a good time, uh, opening up the packs. We just finished up. We got the uh, Jared Kellenick done. Uh, finished up the Nation of Baseball. Uh, 
for the second time. So it's uh it's all good, but Nate, I can't I can't thank you enough, my guy. Awesome. Just total Woo! total the group is big and it keeps getting bigger. Alexander Rose, thank you very much for the follow. I uh, appreciate it. It means a lot. Less than ten. Um I know closing in on it, closing in on the uh on the four fifty. But um Nate, just a tremendous thank you. Uh Everybody in here who, again, is from Nate, um, you watch a legend. Nate is a legend. Uh, we've got great things My crew coming. My is big and it keeps getting bigger. A Dizzy with the follow. Thank you so much. Um, I know. But um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Nate and me have some great things uh, cooking. We are planning um, uh, a podcast together. Talk about sport. Talk about baseball. Uh, so we're, we're working on that, and, uh, you know, Nate's just, Nate's the legend. Uh, he really is. Uh, he's been nothing but nice to me for uh, over five months. Yeah, he really is. He, he's, he's, an awesome, he's an awesome guy. He really is. I'm happy that everyone's in here. I hope that uh, you like the content and, and uh, get after it. We're about to, I think, uh, play someone in chat. We're going to do a little, a little friendly. My crew is big and it keeps getting bigger. Uh, I gotta slide out of here, but I'll talk right. to you later, brother. No, no problem, my guy. Um, Sounds good. The truth, three one seven. Thank you so much for the follow. The truth. I'm gonna assume that you know it's uh. You're a fan of uh, the recently inducted member of the Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame, um. Paul Pierce, right? You'd have to think that, right? With a name like the truth. And if you don't, you know, it's whatever. But, um, again, just I'm, I'm speechless. I really, you know, it's like, it's crazy. It's crazy. Um, Nate, I, again, I appreciate it so much. I re Like, I have no words. I really don't. It's crazy. It's crazy. Uh, I appreciate it so much. I really do. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I'm ready. Let's see. Thanks for the chat. Yeah, no problem. No problem, my guy. Am I right? Am I right or wrong? Was I right or wrong that you, uh, and also uh, that you uh, like the Celtics or like Paul Pierce? I could be wrong on all of it. But also, it, any of you guys that are in here from, from Nathan, right? Any of you guys that are in here, chat about sports. I know sports. If you ever see me in Nate's chat, we all talk. I, I'm always the guy that's given, like, the fun facts about music and stuff. And always talking sports and, and things like that. So if you guys are in here, please um, let me know. Whatever stadium. I don't care. You want to do ship it. You want to do an old stadium. You want to do polo. I don't care. Don't bother me. We can do ship it. But no, 100. Yeah, so yeah, I was right. Okay. See, I know my shit right there. I'm already proving myself. But no, anybody in here want to chat sports, chat away. Please chat. I will, I will, we'll have a conversation about sports. Uh. I used to be a radio guy, you know, just to kind of give a little bit. I used to be a radio, um, uh, radio. Yeah, I was a radio guy. I was a radio host. I did my shit. I had a show. I made my show. I won national awards. I was pretty good. I, I kind of was trying to downplay myself right there. Don't know why. I don't know why. Uh, when I did what I did. And I'm trying to do that with Nate. For all you guys that are here, you know, from Major Mangos, from Nathan. Um, I'm working on him taking that magic that we that I had and trying to um, Gretzky redeem my old talk show intro. See, I'm just talking about that. I'll do it right now. And a pleasant good afternoon, everybody. Welcome inside the Empire State Sports Show on 88.7 FM, WRHU, and streaming live on Facebook at WHU Sports. I'm Dylan Sanders, alongside my co-host, Drew. We have a great show lined up for you today. We're going to talk about the Mets and Jets, the Isles and Knicks and Rangers and so many others. See, that was my intro. And then we would go into talking about, you know, the rundown and talking about um, talk about the topics of the day. We had trivia. We had so much fun. If you ever want to look it up, look up WHU Sports, look up Empire State Sports Show. That's me on Facebook. And you'll see all my old, all my old shows. I, dude. I don't even want to talk. Girl, I don't even want to talk about it. I don't even want to talk about it. He's a snake. What do you want to do? He's a snake. Um, 
You did send it? I didn't. I don't got a challenge. Is it in here? Dude, he's a snake. He's a snake, my guy. Like, here's the thing, and people didn't understand, like, what I meant by that. Because I was talking with someone in a chat yesterday, and they were, like, from Toronto. And they didn't really get what I meant. And what I meant is, like, because they didn't know the story, because they were Toronto Maple Leafs fans. So they didn't really get the story. The story is this. He said to the Islander fan, to, he said to Garth Snow, the GM, to the Islander fan base and stuff, Listen, I build me a new stadium. I want to be here. I'm your cornerstone player. Don't trade me. I want to sign a contract. So the so Garth Snow's like, all right, I'm not going to trade you. So they didn't trade him. And then he left. So we got nothing for a really, really, really good hockey player. And it was like, that's ass. That's not good. That sucks. So that's why all the Islander fans hate him. If we traded him or if he had said, I'm not feeling the Islanders, I'm done. We would have said, okay. And that's what would have happened. We would have said, whatever. Why did that stop that big snake? He is a big snake. Why would it stop that? But you know what I'm saying? That's the problem with it. That's the problem with it. It's not It's not good. Um, he just handled it terribly. He really handled it terribly. And, um, you know, it's, it's a shame. It, it, he is a snake, right? It's a shame. Because he could have handled it better. Like I said, if he had said, please, I want to go to my hometown team of Toronto, we would have worked out a trade. We would have worked something out. And and that's what everyone said. Um, you're going to sound like a big... Anyone able to match up on Xbox Exhibition to let me get Dugout... What the hell is Dugout Walk Achievement? Dugout Walk. What the hell is that achievement? I'll, I'll play you on the... I don't even know what that means. I don't even know what them dugout walk achievement. What does that mean? I guarantee because they call. Oh yeah, yeah. Because right, it's in here, right? You'd be in game challenges. Because we're playing a Diamond Dynasty challenge. Oh, picking off up. A... Oh. Um... How do I do? Dude, I've never played this shit. Oh. Should I do this? But that's the problem with the with the whole situation of of John Tavares. All right, so Drew will play you. So example, you got a thing. Um, example, you got the you got Drew. But um, that's that's the that's the crux of the argument, and that's what nobody understands, right? Like nobody gets that. Nobody understands that that's why Islander fans hate him, because they see it as oh, a guy just left his team and the team wasn't that great like whatever and he went to play for his hometown team like wouldn't you be happy and on the outside yeah i could see how that looks like maybe islander fans are being a bit more butthurt than they should be but in reality he fucked the new york islanders over because we could have gotten a mitch marner type we could have gotten a, a pretty penny a couple of picks something ransom because at the time our gm our current one lou lamorello was the gm of the toronto maple leafs so it would have actually worked out pretty nice It would have worked out pretty swell. But also, and you could see down in the channel points, I know none of you guys have channel points, but if you want to ask me trivia about New York sports, if you want to ask me anything about any of the sports, any team, you can talk. You can chat away. I appreciate it tremendously. I love talking sports. I really, really do. The Islanders were insane with them. They were okay. I mean, we didn't... We He won us our first playoff series since 1993, but... We didn't really do much. We didn't make the playoffs in 09, 10, 11, 12. Uh, that was at the... Yeah, we'll do the panels later. Um, he was... Uh, what do you call it? He broke the, the second longest playoff drought in our history, right? Because they went to... Um, there's the Discord if anybody wants to join that. But, you know, they went to the playoffs and lost in six games to the... Uh, uh, Penguins in 13. They didn't make it in 14. Lost in seven games to the Capitals in 15. Then we beat Florida in 2016, right? We beat Florida. And then we um, we got our ass beat by Tampa Bay. And then we didn't go in 17. And we didn't go in 18. And we didn't go in 17. Uh, uh, excuse me. We didn't, you know, but one of those, play what was it? 
14. 14, our season got derailed in 14 because of, um, because he got hurt in the Olympics. I should send you the challenge, all right. I'll go out. I've never done, actually, like, challenge. Stop, go over here. Play versus friends. Did you accept the friend request? Oh, accept that friend request. Yeah, send the yeah, I'm gonna do that. Um but I was gonna just send the friend um did you accept that? Because if you did accept the friend request, then I would be able to accept this. Like I'd be able to hit play as play versus friends. You know what I'm saying? So accept accept the shit. Accept the friend request that I gave. Actually, wait, no. Send, send new friend request. Didn't, didn't I hit... Oh, do I have to hit, like, go? But, you know, that's the biggest thing. We got our 14 playoff run derailed, or idea of a playoff run derailed because of, um... We got it derailed... Because of him getting hurt in the Olympics. You know what I'm saying? So, that hurt. That definitely hurt us. It hurt us in the long run. Um, 100%. So, that definitely sucked ass, didn't it? Um, but again, it's just one of those things that not a lot of people know about when they talk about the Islanders. Hold on. Do you want me to back... Send, oh, send a friend request via Xbox. I got you. We'll do that. Where is it? Find something. The. What's it? They call me. But can I just say this too? How awesome is Nate? First off, for the raid. I mean, that's number one. But number two, how how um awesome is he as like a streamer too? Isn't he great? I love. I'm telling you, like, when I, when I, um, when I'm not streaming, it's literally where I hang out. I hang out in his chat. I love being in his chat. It's amazing. I love him. I genuinely, genuinely, genuinely love him. Yeah, Nate's awesome. Nate legitimately is the best. If you don't follow Nate, I mean, a lot of you guys came from there. But, you know, I forgot to shout it out when it happened. Because what happens, because I know him, you know, I know that he has to go sometimes, you know. Um, like when he, uh, like when he raids sometimes at night, because this is like his dinner. I know that sometimes he can't really hang around and he's busy. So it sucks. But if you're not, if you're from me before the raid and you're, uh, you don't know who Nate is, go follow him. He's the best. I think he's the best, um, uh, what do you call it? I think he's the best, um, MLB streamer. I really believe that. I just think he's awesome, genuine, kind, and his vibes are awesome, too. I love, I love when he's ripping music and stuff. I need to reset my game. Jeez. That's tough. Here's a question for you. Will Connery team? That's a really, 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 really good question. Because he just put up 100-something pricing points in 56 games. Um, had he had the other 26 games, he might have had, like, 160, 170. Like, he would have been going off. He is a really good player. Like, there's no denying, like, what he is. Um, he is... Connor McDavid is the best player, I think, of this generation. And if he can continue to have seasons like that where he's able to separate himself... Like, he was kind of already known as, like, great, and when Edmonton got the first overall pick, it was kind of a big deal, and everyone knew it. But, like, if he can start to separate himself from the rest of the pack, like kind of like DeGrom, right? Like, DeGrom was a pretty good pitcher in 14, one rookie of the year. Pretty good pitcher in 15, was important for our World Series run. Pretty good pitcher in 16. Pretty good pitcher in 17, but had some shaky starts. And then just decided, hey, I'm going to separate from the rest of the pack and have, like, the three greatest years of somebody in a long, long, long time. Like, doing shit from, like, the 1900s. Craziness. Like, that's what it's all about, right? 
is separate yourself. So if he can start separating himself through everybody, that's what's gonna be that's what's gonna be going on. So nine inning game, all star, all star, uh, no guest pitch, no quick count, strength zone on, hot zones on, off on balks, umpire accuracy. We want that perfect. We want that perfect. I expect 150 points. Yeah, I, I think that that's a I think that that's a big thing. Umpire close plays. Uh, we'll do um, ejections are off, injuries are off. Yeah, I think that's quality. I think that's a quality. I think that's a quality shit. Um. You know, I just think that you know what you know what I'm saying. Like with that, with with the, like the Degrom thing is like if he can separate from my the world. Crew is big and it example. Keeps getting thank you very much for the follow, my guy. Um, we're up to 4:44. We're very close to that, to the goal. We're very close to a couple of our goals. We're uh, six followers away from 450, um, which I wanted by the end of the month, and we're six subs away from our monthly sub goal of 15. So, kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. It's it's going good, and we and we've got. Oh shit! I got it ready up. Hold on, hold on. No, he won't leave. He won't leave. He won't leave. He won't leave. Do I think he should? Perhaps. Will he? Will he? Probably not. He seems like a pretty loyal guy. Um, if he's gonna leave, I would really hope that he goes to a team like the New York Islanders. Oh my Christ! If he went to the Islanders, I think I I think I'd honestly lose my shit. I think I'd cry, dude. If he came to the honors, I'd cry. I'm not even. I'm not even ashamed to say it. I wouldn't even be upset. He would. I would cry. I think so would everybody, right? Like if if he came to your team, you'd be like, oh hell yeah, you know, like you'd be kind of, all right, we're both doing the Corbin, dude. The Trevor Story is a great card. D Gordon, very interesting card. But, you know, we should have some good times. Oh, I was. I should have played that. My meet the Mets from the seventies. That I play at the beginning of the game. I'm 15 and 2. I'm, I'm not like that bad online. I just hate it. I hate the online. And I'm gonna tell you something right now, chat. I do play directional. I know that there's a stigma. But honestly, the way I look at it, you're getting fucked with the RNG one way or the other. That's how I kind of see it. With P with um P um, PCI, you gotta, you know, do it. Also, like, this thumb really doesn't fucking work that well. I'm not even kidding. Like, it hurts. Um, so I can't really ever do that shit. Mmm. Good eye. Good eye. You know? Fuck me. It's pretty fucking close. That was a terrible pitch, Corbin. Good shit, man. Gotta get back in the camera. Gotta get back in the camera. I got this. Like I said, it's just a friendly, right? It's just a friendly between, um, between, um, Grassy and me. So, you know, it's all good in the hood. But that's kind of like my feeling, right, towards it. I know that it's very taboo, and I know that it's very, um, looked at disgracefully, right? I just kind of feel like, one, it's in the game, right? That's number one. Number two... I cannot play P like I've tried I tried in 20 I tried in 21 I tried I can't do it I just can't great stream man well I appreciate it I appreciate it. I genuinely try very hard like, I'm not even kidding I try very very hard to uh, come on and like I like like Nate try to make people laugh I try to chat talk to people have a good time try to put out some good vibes out there you know um I said it uh, two streams ago that I'm very lucky. I've had a tremendously good life so far, and I want to try to make people feel as good as I feel. I try. I'm, I genuinely try to make people want to come on, and if they're having a rough day, come in and and have a good time, and able to chat about sports or shit like that, and and have a good time and have a fun time, and, you know, crack jokes and laugh and things like that. That's what I want to do all right now we get to the fun part where dylan sanders has to learn how to hit the ball 
Like I said, I'm 15 and 2. And I've hit some dingers. And sometimes I kind of suck ass. Or not. Boy, that's a good pitch. I genuinely thought that was going to be a ball. Good shit. All right. Listen, it's nine innings. Don't don't judge me on one batter, please, please. Like we we are fifteen and two, right? Like we we've won games, so don't judge me right away. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. It's nice nice to be judged. No, no, no. That's a check. Um, has anyone felt that the check swing has been a little bit better um, over the past little little period of time? I definitely feel like the check swing has been a way better apparatus. I was early. Fuck. Fuck me. Early. 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 Judgment-free zone. Hell yeah, man. Of course. I was going to swing at the curveball. I, I was. It was coming. It was coming. That was a strike. If you don't beat his ass, I'm unfollowing. How is... Dude, they don't... Dude, Autobot hates you, Drew. Drew. Autobot fucking hates your guts. Oh. I see how it is. Cuh. <laughs> Okay. Uh, that was a really good hit by Chipper too. That that's what sucks about that whole thing. They do hate you, but um, you know, I, it's so nice for everyone who's coming and follows, and everyone else that is hanging out. I hope that you guys follow if you enjoy the content. Um, like I said, I come on, we talk sports, we have a good time. Uh, this Trevor Story card scares the shit out of me because I used it and he had like 30 homers within the first like four days of this game. Card is absolute sicko mode. We got it. Woo! Uh, let's see. Up and in. Ooh, a little bun play. I like it. I like the, uh... I like the thought process there. I like it. I like it, but... <gasps> unfortunate. Popped up. Ooh, that's the opposite way. I have a whole bunch of stuff on here. Mmm, that's a good fucking cur. Good curveball. It's a good curveball, I'm not gonna lie. Definitely a good one. Trying to pound me inside with that fucking cutter. Mmm. I was late. No, no. Like, you've got to come over the zone, right? you, you got to think. It was ball four. <clears throat> it was ball four. That happens in real life, too. I can't tell you how many times I played, like, in, like, high school and shit. And that would happen where you swung at ball four, and you look at strike three. It's just how it goes. It's how it goes sometimes. You know what that is? It's fucking... Well, that's a base hit. No speed, no speed. We, we, we don't... We break it down at second base. We don't move. Because there's absolutely fucking snail pace speed. At second... I was super ultra duper late. Like, big fucking car.
the noise, dude, I have like, so what is that, 30, I have 30 and then like a bunch, like almost 50 noises, 50 sounds on the board. That's a fucking, that's an eye, that's an eagle eye. No, I was fucking late again, bitch, just another fucking... Corbin Byrne be the fucking I ain't gonna hit the shit then. <clears throat> Alright, so that was a bit of a fucking embarrassment. That was a big of an F in the chat. You suck, you jackass. Happens. Ooh, Paul de Young. Be gone. Christ. Playing hee haw with the fuck around gang. Naughty, naughty. Terrible. It's just like, that's just, honestly, big, big effort in the chat. All right. We're all right. We're chilling. It's only one. It happens. Listen, it was a good timing at Ship It, and it was like right in the middle. Like, I think his timing was a little bit off of it being a perfect perfect, you know? So it, it definitely deserved to be gone. You know what I'm saying? Like, it definitely deserved to be a homer. But, does it suck? Yeah, it sucks. Bro, it is Corbin goddamn Burns. Please throw a strike. Thank you. It is you. Throw a strike to you. I'm actually surprised. Oh. <sighs> terrible curveball. No good. No good at the curve. No good. No good at the end. Eight. Sit down. Wow. That went exactly where I wanted to go. It did. Hold on. I gotta fix the fucking stream. That's the number one thing. Quality is booty. Not, not sixty frames. Maybe like ten, but definitely not sixty. Fuck me. <laughs> Fucking oof is right. Ooh. Again. Ooh. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Shut up. Hold on. I gotta fix this shit. One second with the, uh... Because it's not 60 frames. It's not 60. And it's... that's actually pissing me off than... more than losing. Because what I have to do is, like, I have to, like, reset the Elgato. It's weird. It's stupid. But that's what we have to do. <sighs> Hold on. We'll be back on in one second. Because I, I can't see. Now I can. Now, watch. You're definitely going to see a very big difference in the quality of frames that you see. Oh, yeah. I can note. You, you got to. You, you can't look at a straight face and tell me that you didn't notice a difference there. Oh, big F. I mean, this is, like, crazy. That's a dot. I know I can come back. No, I'm not. I'm not concerned. I like I said, I'm 15 and two. Like, 
You know what I'm saying? Like, I can... I can come back. Just, am I? I don't know. I'm gonna get Baltimore chops like that. Like, what am I supposed to do about that? Right? Like, look at that! Bro, just early, and I jammed him. And then I get, I get a Baltimore fucking chop hit the first base. seen enough from this asshole. They gotta get a little warm and then they're coming in. I'll say fuck it. Right down the middle. Cocker. It's the only thing else that's working. It's crazy. I try to paint, it goes all over. I get an out when I throw the thing right down the middle. You gotta love it. The Winnipeg Wieners. Also, here's the thing, bro. I'm playing you, Grassy, my guy. You never followed me. It's kinda fucked up. I'm not gonna lie. It's kinda fucked up, don't you think? How the fuck am I too late on a change? Are you kidding me? It's like, yeah, okay. Who's up? Four, five, six for me. So I'm out. Corbin Burns is fucking done. Enough. Haters in. We're bullpenning the rest of the way because Corbin Burns eats my whole asshole. That's a perfect release, and it didn't even go where it went. Like, that's crazy. That's great. Like, I don't know. Anyone else feel like that's kind of ridiculous? That you have a perfect release, and it just... Why even ask you for a meter? You know, like, why even ask? Why even care? Much more dominant fourth inning. All right, good shit, hater. Putting up a zero. Let's go. See, I don't have the comeback powers like Nate does. Nate can come back and shit. He's good. How am I late? Can I just... How am I late? I feel like I'm early as shit. That, that's what I feel. Late. I don't feel late at all.
Dude, it didn't look late. It didn't look late as right. But, you know, listen, you guys watch Nate. I watch Nate all the time. Like I said, he's my favorite MLB streamer, right? And he talks about the RNG all the time. And, like, how the game is just fucking. It's weird. Like, sometimes it just gets weird with it. You know? You know what I'm saying? Like, to me, that felt on time as shit. But that was too late. Like, it's weird. Like, that just didn't feel right at all. Do you know what I'm saying? Like... It felt good. Like, that... It just felt good. All I know is that Hater's been a little bit better than Burns. He's had a lot more control than him. And the, the home run that Otani hit was fucking ridiculous, too. I mean, can we, can we keep it a Ben Frank here in the chat? Like, I gave up a home run in an online game. It was the only run I gave up when I won 4-1 today, right at, the start of the, right at the start of it. Where, yeah, it was kind of like his home run that he hit in real life. Like, it was, like, up here. But it wasn't even good PCI, too. Like, that card is in, is absolute Captain Insano. Yo, the animations are AIDS. Like, that was a perfect release, too. Like, that ball was not strike. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what else am I supposed to do? That ball is not a strike. Yes. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can't put it in the zone, so then I put it out of the zone. Like, alright. But that is kind of like real life. But Listen, Hater gave me two fucking strong innings in the fourth and fifth. He gave up one hit, struck out three. Like, good, good shit, you know? Like, he pitched, pitched a good game. He's done now. Let me tell you, tell me that's too early. No, it's not. No, it's not, my guy. No, it's not. Is that gone? Tell me that's not gone. Are you kidding? Fucking cuh. Like, bro, what? Like, we got two sets of rules going on here in this game. That had to be gone. That's good timing on a fastball. Like, it's why I hate playing online. Everyone goes, oh, you should play online. It's fun. Why is it fun? Why is it fun? Like, that almost went further than the good timing one. And that was an outside slider to a righty. Like, that's crazy. That shouldn't happen. That shouldn't be a thing. That that almost went out. I just hate online. Like, I know I'm butthurt because I'm losing. Yes, I am. The answer is yes. Yes, I am. But I hate online because it's just ridiculous. Where you get something like that, you crank one, and it dies. Shit. And, he was, and what, he hit the one home run? Early? Come on. There's a different set of standards for... Listen, the game has a predetermined outcome. It, it's just predetermined. Who's going to win? Who's going to lose? It's just how we're going to get there.
No way. Brother, what? And then he's going to get a double out of it? Bro, come on. We're in a different set of rules here. I... Bro, what the fuck is that in the corner? Can we can we talk about what the fuck that is? Can we can we have an honest discussion of what the fuck's going on in this game? Trout throw the fucking thing. Trout. The fuck is going on with this bullshit game? Like, come on. This is a ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It's not fun. Who thinks online's fun? You cracked out if you think online's fun. That's fucking, that's a damn fact. That something that's not even in his BCI. And then we're going to do Ernie Banks has diamond fielding. Ernie Banks has diamond fielding. And we're and we're going to do that? Yeah, okay. Like you, you were crazy. We're getting a double play. Get the fuck on the bench. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. We clearly, we're operating on a different fucking plane here, you know? He's getting these fucking strike calls, a blue pit that scores a run. I hit, I fucking crank one with Ernie Banks to center field. No. It's caught. We're just on a different set of rules here, you know? Just on a different set of rules. It happens. It happens. I feel bad. I do. I genuinely do. Because I'm sure that, you know, when you're watching Nate, he says the same shit. Because it's true. And, and and you watch Kyle and Demu and all of them. Like, they all say the same shit. Because it's true. And even the small people like me. We all say it. Because we all see it. Like, it's crazy. What we're operating with. Like, how just some games, it's just crazy. It's, it's crazy. How uneven it is. I want to see this shit. Yeah, okay. Bro, give me a fucking break. That ball literally just went through my back. I just watched it. Just watched it. It's crazy. Come on, Lee. You dickhead. Giving up a run. I know that it didn't score that other run. But, like, I know it didn't score the other run. But how does a goal make that play? But the softer one to Ernie with diamond defense did do that. Crazy. <sighs> yeah, I know. I know what you're saying, Truth. I got you. I know. I can, But how are you supposed to win when you fucking competing against competing against the game that's just? I'm not asking for it to be fair. I am actually asking for it to be fair. To be completely honest, I am. Fuck you. There's no way. No way. Come on, Lee. Throw the fucking thing, cock. I just decided to throw it right down the fucking middle. Because he clearly could not paint the outside edge. So I just said, why not? He can paint that one, but he can't paint this one. I haven't even pitched in reality. I haven't even pitched a bad game. It's just I can't hit right now.
that's a blue pit for him, right? Like, come on. I mean, you gotta admit, the game's... And then I get a good, and we do that. It's comical! It's comical. It's comical. It's funny. Come on! Wait, excuse me, what the fuck is that? Also, why the fuck was Lee Smith playing? Why the fuck was Lee Smith still the thing? Oh, I don't have anyone warm? I don't really give a shit. Obviously, we do this. I mean, obvi obviously, that's the way. Because who cares about... Uh, who, you know what I'm saying? Like, who cares about the pitcher that's coming in, you know? not the way the pitcher coming in you don't give a shit about you care about getting the uh getting it in your count right even pitched dude the one inning of ridiculousness and then the one the blue pit and then the line drive to center all right it's the mo it's the 42 mo i've hit the 42 mo i've also not hit the 42 mo so we'll see what happens ernie banks should have had a home run let's not forget about that too like let's be let's keep it honest Challenge me 02? No way. What a sicko. Like, honestly, what a sicko. Alright, it's an infield hit. I'll take it. My fourth hit of the day. Oh, shit. Gotta go Tatis, right? Like, that's it. That's base hit. Come on, Buxton, you dickhead. Pitch. Pitch.
No way. Come on. Hit that shit. Late. Fuck you, late. He's going low. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. Now this is Goose. Goose. You gotta love it. You get two hits, and then all of a sudden the RNG says, Nah, I'm done. Should have had a hit on the other, on the fucking fastball to Soriano. Alright. It's whatever. I don't beat this kid. Life goes on. Yeah, okay. Shit. Like, fucking. Cuh. Yeah. That's crazy. Crazy. No way. That's gone. Like, that was gay for me. I'm not going to lie. But at the same time, that home run was absolutely ridiculous. Like, that was not even close to being a good PCM. Yeah. And it goes out. I don't even give a shit. I really don't care. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the guy's a pencil dick, too. He hasn't followed the stream, too. He's been in for hours. Being a bit of a herb. I get a good timing on something out of strike zone. Give me a home run. Like you gave him fucking show high. Give me a fucking break, game. Cocksucker. Yeah, piss off. <clears throat> That's ridiculous. Two back-to-back -back good timings, and it was like, no, nah, fuck. Fuck out of here. Crazy. Oh, yes, daddy. Fucking crazy. Get the fuck out. My crew is big, and it keeps getting bigger. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Bullshit. Cocksucking game. It really is. Like, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. Nah, it's not a GG. Because honestly, I should have won the game. It's great. Like, you get a good timing. Fucking blooper. With D. Gordon. Are you fucking kidding me? And then a base hit. Great. And then I get a good timing with Big Poppy. Best of three, fuck that. I ain't playing no more of that shit, box. If anything, I'm playing the event. Fuck that. I'm playing the event. Yeah, I know you got lucky. I was here. I lived it. I lived it. I watched it. We all did. You got very, very, like, ridiculously lucky. And, I, and I'll take it at that. We ain't doing that shit again. We're doing some event. We're going to have a nice little time. You know, it's 5 in the morning, but we're going to play an event. We're going to change the title to event. Fuck that.
event grind. Even though I have both cards. Like, I don't even know why I'm grinding the event. I got both. No. I'm not. Listen, I can't beat the game, right? Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. You can't beat the game. The game's ridiculous. Uh, I'm not saying you're a bad player, but here's what I'm saying. Is that the fucking show high homer, give me a fucking break. You didn't even have it in the center of the PCI. Uh, the other fucking blue pit with D Gordon, give me a break. I hit one good timing with Ernie Banks, who has a billion more power. Ernie Banks, who has a billion, and it gets caught. Then Mike Piazza pulls one early, trying to maybe get some luck. That shit fucking got caught. So, no. I'll pass. I'll definitely take a pass on that. No. You gotta put this card in. This card's the best card. Fuck, fuck Tony Bitwin. Noodle. Total noodle. I'll take a pass. I'm no shit. I'm not sweating at all. What I'm saying is like I'm not playing that again. Like Christ, because you can't put logic on it, right? And I'm sure like again, you watch Nate play. You can't put logic on what happens to him. And I'm sure if he were here, we talk the same thing. We've talked about it. I've talked about it to him in Discord, and I've talked about it in, in face, and not face to face. But, you know, you can't beat it. It's crazy. It's crazy. There's no reasoning. How do you reason it? I know everyone says, oh, directional. You can dot someone up on the corner. Bullshit. I've hit so many home runs off the corners. So that's a lie. Yeah, you might not get to it as much, but it's not like an automatic out. That's number one. The second thing is that with... Um, you know, with him, he hit that one, he hit the one homer up, up, and away. The thing was not even close to being a strike, but he hit it. And then with a good time with Big Poppy, I fucking swung over it. Crazy. Like, you can't sweat it because there's no reason to. There's no reason to. Because you can't make sense of what goes on. You can't make sense of what goes on. You can't. And like I said, I'm not mad at him for the game. I'm mad at... The game for being the game. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm mad at it not being consistent. It's not a consistent thing. I don't even... Like I said, I'm just here to play. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just here to rip and have conversation. I don't care if I win or lose event games, right? They mean dick. I already have both cards, right? Wait. GL? Oh, good luck. Wait, what? Oh my god, it's you, Drew. I swear to Christ. I'm no, I'm in no mood. Oink, oink. I'm in no mood, but you know what? Thanks, Ka. Oh, thanks, Ka. Group hug in the shower tonight! You can do it! I wanted to use Jazz Chisholm, because then I could use this. You like Jazz? If he hit, if he did hit a dinger, but there's a lot of things that have to then occur correctly. That's slow as shit. Seventy-three. It ain't no Williams Astadio forty-seven, but it's pretty close. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I'm just here. Like the event means nothing. <clears throat> It's with silver players. It's a little better. You know, like, it doesn't matter. I'm playing Drew. I like Drew. Drew's cool. But you know what I'm saying? Like, Gress, I'm not mad at you for the... I'm mad at the game. Like, that's the biggest thing. And I'm sure, like, Nate says the same thing. Like, he's not mad at the player. You know how he says all the time, like, the player, I'm sure he has a nice wife, like, a nice girlfriend that loves him and a mother and stuff. He makes that joke. Um, It's like that, where... It's, it's like you can't, you can't parcel it out, right? Like, you never know what's coming with the game. But, like, see, that, that deserved to be a flyout. Because I was late on an inside pitch to a lefty, to, yeah, to a lefty, that deserves to be a flyout. And it was, you know, like, that made sense to me. Wow, that curveball's really fucking good. Oh, no, that was a changeup. 
I'm still trying to deal with Corbin Burns bullshit in my face. Eyes like a hawk. But see, I'm able to also then turn around and make a joke out of the out of the deal. Like, how do I make contact with that shit? How about no? Can we be? La can we laugh and be like, no? When I was like, when, we, when he was asking to do the three, I was like, no, no, I'm done. Thank you. And I was like, no, no, thanks. I'll pass. I tried to time this shit up and I was, I became late. I tried to time it up. Okay. I have to say I caught that. I do have to, because that was a little bit of a good timing on a fastball, and that thing went absolutely nowhere. That thing went absolutely nowhere. Yeah, that was crazy. That thing went nowhere. What was the fucking exit velocity down there? Like ten? No way. What was that anyway? You really gonna hit me, Drew, with a perfect off the ripper? See, the problem is, I love pounding up and in with the fastball. I do. Because in real life, you wouldn't get hits, but in the video game, you can do whatever you want. Oh, that's because it was the worst fucking curveball I ever threw. Now that one's gone, right? <laughs> Fucking let's go. Oh, we're replaying Drew? Drew. Drew, we're replaying shit? I like Drew. Drew's sub. I could break his balls. That's kind of a dot. Yeah, that was a good one. We got an out. Hooray, chat. <laughs> we got an out. Fuck you, Jesse Winker. Bitch. Going first, dickhead. I hate that. Like, in real life, you're definitely making an attempt at first base. Excuse me? I was indoor. Oh, that leak. That leaked right over the fucking cocker.
Bro, throw the goddamn thing. Kisses. Alright. Way down four. Oh. No, you fucking idiot! You bunted the wrong way, you dickhead! Bro, you kidding? I pointed it that way, you fuckhead. Idiot. The pitch is out of energy. I don't really give a fuck. So, how come he can pitch better when he's out of energy than when he started the game? It's crazy. Like that's stupid. Like me too, car. Me too. Carrots. Nobody ever expects to conquer right down the middle. It just surprises so many people. It's such an underrated strat to just throw it right down the fucking middle. Because nobody ever expects it. I mean, that wasn't right down the middle. Why couldn't his first be like his second? Jesus. What do you throw? Three pitches? Oh, yeah. Leave Ken Griffey in, bro. Leave Ken Griffey in. Do it if you have balls. Why did I swing at that shit? Why? Why? That thing was about to hit me.
You could do that about a thousand times. I won't fucking win the game, so. I don't even give a shit. Dude, throw a cocker right down the middle. I swear to God, I'll miss it. See? See? That's what I'm saying. Like, you don't gotta be worried. Like, when I'm off on my hitting, I'm fucking way off on the hitting. I told you, man. It's insane. I can't hit. I can't hit. It's. Let me tell you something also. It is 5.13 in the morning. I'm not... I am using that as an excuse. It is an excuse. I'm fucking dead tired. I was almost done. I was literally, like, wrapping it up. And then Nate hit me with the big raid. And I had to stay on. Dylan Bunny is an 18 ER, right? That's nice. Oh, good. I got a bunch of progress for people I never fucking want to use ever again. I love you, too. I'm just going to do this shit. I'm going to fucking go lose this shit. Um, I'm going to be toxic as a motherfucker right now. Uh, Polo Grounds, because fuck everybody. Actually, no. I'm going to be even more toxic than that. Forbes Field. Fuck everyone. We are going to be toxic as a shit. We really are. I'm going to be that guy. You know, fuck that. I got fucked up by Dylan Bundy by Drew. That is the power of Dylan. Fuck my asshole. Fix this. He's got power. Oh no, Brandon Brandon Lox has power. Fuck that. Put him there. Carson Kelly can go there. Chipper Jones. Fuck him. Kill Badu. Oh, he's ready? That's good for him. Can wait. Now you can. Let's get pumped up. Let's get pumped up. Oh wow, we have almost the same record. Oh my god, I'm home. I'm home. That's hysterical. I'm big four fields because I want to be a fucking 50 and 80. I mean 80 and 58. Yankee fan. Skip it. Oh. I love that. That's honestly my favorite thing. I love that I'm at the whole, uh, not polo, at uh, Forbes Field. Maybe it'll help my shit ass hitting. Let's, we gotta sit up. I wanna win a fucking game. I, I never really won an online game. But I wanna win it on, then we'll, I don't know. If everybody wants me to keep going, then I'll keep going. If you want to keep me fucking embarrassing myself. I don't know. Is everyone having fun watching me embarrass myself in front of many heads? Is everyone... Everyone down with that? Everyone's, everyone's liking watching me get shit on? It's definitely entertainment. Oh, that's in. Yo, that's in. Dude, that's in. Catch that. I do appreciate everyone following. I do. Four away. I mean, uh, five away from hitting the sub goal. Uh, follow goal. show high, bro. That home run still got me pissed. Wasn't even in the PCI. And it was low. 
and outside too. Crazy. There's a bit of a floater. Come on over, make the catch. Let's go. Who the fuck? Oh, it's Kopech. I was like, whoa, what the fuck? 99. I go from Dylan Bundy with Drew fucking kissing my taint with fucking 72 and shit. And I go to Kopech. I can't hit. I can't hit. I even had trouble hitting in the offline. I just can't hit tonight. It's because I'm fucking... It's 518 in the morning. That's why. That's right, Adam. No, stay fair. Stay fair. Yeah. Guy knows what's good. I drop down the bunt. And I swing. <laughs> Is it the fairest one? Late. How was that early? Uh oh. Stinky. Right. We didn't fucking give up a run. We also didn't score one either. Kind of an L. would have been gone, but we're at Forbes. Dude, this game's gonna go like 55 innings. Watch this shit. It's gonna be hysterical. I mean, no pitching. I mean, no nothing. It's gonna be AIDS. We're all gonna be here for it. I think whether I win or lose this shit will be done because it will be like 5.30 and I've got shit to do. We'll raid, obviously. We'll hit somebody up with a little bit of a raid. Fuck! Is that gonna fall? Oh, it's Jose Alvarado. Fuck Jose Alvarado. He's a baby bank bitch for the way that he acted against the New York Mets. Not get the timing. Like that's late. How the fuck is that late? That is the catcher. Carter. Kelly. Oh, that was right down the fucking cocker. Hit that shit. Like. Fuck. Oink, oink. <laughs> Full four, let's go. Chipper. He's our first base runner, Carson Kelly, of the game for either side. Oh no, they got a base hit. They got a base hit. You got a hit. Oh my Christ. <laughs> fucking serve that one up, didn't you, Chucky, you stupid fucking idiot? 
get the bullpen. Go to get the, get the bullpen. I don't know even know who do I have. Who do I have? Kingly. Good shit. Let's go. That thing was fucking annihilated. And then you hit me with a. I agree. Can we talk about the fact that that thing was fucking obliterated? Look at that shit. That thing was fucking gone in a hurry, wasn't it? Uh, I'll let him start the inning, and then, and then we'll go to the pen. All right, good first out. Good first out. That's fucking one. That's one. That's one. Pinch hitter. So Alvarado's out of the game. Lords Guriel Jr. Dude, that was a big doink. That's what I was trying to hit against you. <laughs> you know what? He just fucked around with that fastball too many times across the heart of the plate. I'm not that much of a retard. I'm kind of retarded, but not that much. That's two out. That's two. <laughs> two out in the ninth. Oh, yeah. No. Kind of. All right, top. You know, he's probably going to drop a fucking bunt. Shit. Nope. Safe. Fuck. Ooh, it gets a little intriguing. All right, bullpen's coming in. What's his shit? Very late. What does that mean to me? I know it means he's very late, but like, what is what do I? Come on, bro. Let's go. <laughs> Woo! Give me a hell yeah! I've been finally able to use this shit. Oh. Maybe Forbes Field is the way. <laughs> Do we go to we lose? Yeah, let's go to we lose. we lose I think so I think we kind of we, we go to we lose and then we're gonna raid down now so we're gonna do But all my pitchers suck, so it's like it doesn't even matter. Oh, what the fuck batting order did I just have? Because it was kind of lit. What do we do? We did Matt Adams, we did Lau, we did Badu, Kelly, Jones, Isbell. Yep, good enough. I'm home again. <laughs> I'm not supposed to be home again. I'm not supposed to be home again. Oh, shit. I wasn't expecting the ball to be put, like, in play, like, one until I overthrew it. Like, that was kind of, uh, much. Thank 
Thanks for the strike, I guess. I don't know. Can I just say that as a Met fan, I fucking hate Chris Paddock? Oh, well, now I really hate him. But can I just say I fucking hate him because uh, he's a pussy who cried about the fucking Rookie of the Year shit with Peter? And I don't forget that shit. Oh, he, he actually perfected that outside pitch. That's pretty nice. Alright, so there's no fucking way that I'm getting him at home. But... Ah! It was pretty fucking close. Down one, not bad. It was a good hit by Winker. I mean, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna front around. I mean, it was a good hit. It sucks that it was against me, but it was a good hit. Should I try the ball? Change it, fucking filled. Fuck, barely touched it. I'll take it. Full for the winker. Let's get it. And Suarez, that was a bull. Suarez, dickhead. No. Thank you. Strike. Fuck. I was early on it. I knew it was going to be in the zone. I feel like this is going to be in there too. Alright, I didn't like how that was looking, to be honest. Kind of looked a little outside to me. It's a strike, it's in the zone, but at the, off the hand? Off the hand didn't look. Off the hand didn't look closer. <clears throat> That's Forbes! What was that? 91, and he hooked the shit out of that thing. That's the beauty of Forbes, right? Because that's probably gone in many other stadiums. I mean, so is the Winker. But mine would have been a 2-1 lead. Forbes fucks me. Forbes isn't supposed to fuck me. It's supposed to fuck my opponent. He's on the move. Cuh. Would that have been a strike? I don't know. Too damn close to take, I can tell you that. That's actually a pretty good jump that he got. 21 pitches? He ain't lasting too much longer. Is he out? Taking him out? No. He is warming. He is warming heads. He is warming heads up, so. Fuck, man. I wasn't paying attention with that shit. Pay attention, ball. 
It was a ball. It was a ball. It was. That one was a little bit more obvious. So was that one. 28 pitches deep. Let's go. Fuck! No! <laughs> no, no. No. Did anyone see that shit? <laughs> no way. No way. I literally said, let's go, because I thought it was in the gap. No way. I thought, that's why I said it, because I thought we had the game tied, and I was looking at the speed of my runner at first, because I was going to send him. I, I totally, 100% thought that it was a home, um, not a home run, it was that it was a, uh, a, a in the gap base hit. 200% thought it was gone. Um, you know, down for extra bases. 200%. I think that's funny. I definitely think that's pretty funny. That's that's an old time move right there. I think by me. I made him work, didn't I? Fuck. And he's slow as shit. So that's gonna fall. That's a triple. Go home. Well, take my chances, right? Take. I mean, he's coming out of the game anyway. But it's like force him to take him out of the game. You know, he's coming out anyway. But it's about getting him out for real. He's probably gonna steal. I'm gonna let him go. Oh fuck me! Fuck me! Let's go. We in there? We in there? Ooh, that's a nice cut. I like to take the first pitch. Even when I was playing the game. Uh, in real life, that's what I like to do. I like to take. I see that's a strike, so that was a good swing. It's 95, 89, 95. So it's two, kind of like two speeds, but it, in reality it's not. All right, so it's Pedro and uh, it's Canely. saddest part is I worked all those counts and I and I really did get a ripper and unfortunately it just went right to him shit does happen sometimes shit happens Problem is that thing swooping across the strike zone. You don't know if it's gonna land on the corner or not. Like, and I say that as I do that, but you just don't know. You just don't know. That's a fucking closer, right? Like that's, yeah, that's kind of a hawk to take, but at the same time, it's like, there's a lot of that ball that's not in that zone to be i fucking Ben Frank with you. I mean, like, come on. That shit. Shit was a little sus. A little shaky. Oh, 
much. Whatever. Like I said, you know, once we're done with this um, game, it's almost 6 a.m. for me. It'll be a nice, good stream. Um, we'll go raid. Uh, yeah, we'll go raid Daniel. So. Yo, homie's pop Smitty. Bro, it's not even funny. Well, I got hit. I've been watching a guy for like five months. We've become very good friends. His name's Major Mangoes, Nate. Nathan Crawford. He used to play for the Twins organization. And we've become good friends. We talk We talk all the time. So, and we're crafting a show together. A, um, this might be an Inside the Park right now. No. We're crafting a, uh, a talk show. So, um, you know, it just, we've been hanging out. It's been a good time. And uh, he hit me with the rate of 52 people. Well, we already had like nine or ten, so we were we've been kind of cranking it. And Jesse Winker's been cranking my asshole all night long. Yeah, we gained uh, I think we gained ten, ten nine or ten followers, so pretty nice shit. Uh, fuck me. Cuh. I mean, I don't care. Just, like, thank you, my guy. Thank you. I don't even care. I'm just going to throw him right down the fucking middle. Like, we're losing 4 nothing. We're not going to win. Um, just end it, and we're going to go hit him up with a raid. Um, send him over to Danielle. Good shit. But, no, I appreciate it, Smitty. And we got 20 subs. and Not today, but, like, total. We got 20 subs. And... And we're up to, you know, 444 uh, or 5. Uh, oh, that's a fucking awful call. Yeah, I I haven't played. Um, I haven't played since... Uh, since this game came out. So whenever I let... So, whenever, so April 14th, I played it. Because... Um, April 15th, or I, maybe I played in the afternoon of the 15th. That's been it. I literally haven't launched the game since April 15th. Or 14th. I don't know. So, I haven't played League Play. I haven't played. And you know what sucks, too, is I had some friends on there that I had made. Like, um, uh, the guy Ryan from Canada. Um, Owen. Caden. There were some people that I had become friends with. And it's just... It's, it's sad, because since they don't have this... And I don't know them in real life. It was like that was the only time I played with them or talked to them. So it just sucks. Uh, not worth it. Dude, I mean, you know it. You played with me and against me. You know what I'm all about. And that was the LC-10. So the fact that that thing has been nerfed into the ground, I'm not with it. Like, that's not it, Chief. Like, that was my shit. That was my, that was my gun. And it's gone now. Yeah, 74 U's been hit hard. It's LC10, all that, all that stuff. So, you know, it, I just haven't played it. I haven't played it in a while, and um, you know, in over a month, we've been ripping this. And yeah, you know, it sucks because some days I don't stream because there's not a lot of content. And uh, where with that, there was always content because the game just didn't change. So, it does suck in certain ways, but in other ways, I've had a lot of fun with this and lots of raids and. Definite channel growth has happened with this. You know, it's been it's been a good time. Uh, listen, I tried twice, didn't I? I tried twice to bunt it down that line, it failed. It happens. We're down. Listen, we're down five nothing. We're down to our final out. I don't really care, right? Like, we're playing the event just to have some fun. We played. We got three event games in. We played online. We finished the baseball, you know, Nation of Baseball. I don't know if I'll be on tomorrow. Like I said, we got the Islander playoff game that I'm going to. 
Um, if they lose, I'm not gonna play. If they win, I might get on. Um, but then Friday, there's a ton of content. Friday is when the content pours on in. Player program, a new event. Which I'm not really good with, player program and uh, conquest map. So there's just so much shit to to get after. Uh, on Friday, it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty lit. Oh yeah, you're right. You're from Pittsburgh, motherfucker. Fuck. But uh, it's all right. It's all good in the hood. It is. It's chill. We're chilling out here. We had a good time. You know, Nate hit me with that raid almost two hours ago, and so many guys have stuck around and followed and stuff. And it's been, uh, it's been great. It's been a great little stream. I know. It's great. I don't know. No, see, here's the thing. We're going to win the next two games. I guarantee it. Because you don't come to Ford Never Lose when Ford Never Lose is closing and beat us. Because it's a best of five series when you look at it. With Islanders having home, home, uh, home ice, and you're not beating us in Fort Never Lose, you're just not. So unless we can throw in an eighth game for you, it ain't happening, Chief. It ain't happening. It ain't happening to me. Nah, you don't think so? You think it's an L? My crew nah. is big and it keeps getting bigger. I don't know. Latux, thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate it. Thank you. I don't know, Smitty. Smitty. I don't know. Have a good night. Thank you so much. I hope that my rage was a little entertaining. I know I'm not the greatest, and I don't know why Nate rated me, because I'm not great at... I'm not great at online at all. I really fucking hate online. <laughs> I really do. But, um, I appreciate you hanging out. I appreciate you following. I really do. It means a lot to me. Um... You know why he rated me? Because we're boys. I love Nate. Nate is my friend. He is a good man. And, yeah, practice with Big Round. I mean, I'm not nerd. You know, like, the one thing that's good about being in, like, radio training. Not radio training. I've already done it. Like, I did it for four years. But the one thing that's good is, like, I wasn't nervous. Like, when I was in front of the 52, the only thing I was nervous about was having to play online. Like, I was not nervous about talking, you know. So, it was, it was very good with, with that. And, you know, I hope that a lot of you guys come back around. You know, and, and you come back around and you and you hang out, you have a good time. Like I said, like talk sports. Like I love that Smitty is talking about the penguins. Like it's what's keeping me from not ending the stream and rating. Um you're fucking natural. Well, I appreciate it. I appreciate it a lot. And like I said, you know, I cannot overstate it enough how much I appreciate Nate's raid. Like, I'm gonna message him. Um Um I'm going to message him uh, tomorrow. No, I mean, I'm going to message him right now. But I'd like to call him tomorrow and say thank you. Because that's who I am. You know, that's what I am. Um, you know, I know that there's a lot of other people that are more popular than me that he could have rated. Um, you know, there's a lot of people that are on right now. And I'm sure there were people on almost two hours ago. Um, it means the world to me that he did it. And, and but that's just who he is. He's just a great person. Um, GG, sorry for sniping. If the Islanders win, yeah. If the Islanders win tomorrow, and I'm not in a piss mood, because I'm not going to be in a piss mood if they win, right? Because I'm going. So if the Islanders win, I will be on stream. We will chat about it. And Smitty, I better see you in here. If the New York Islanders lose, I'm going to probably be in a piss mood. If I get on, it's going to be on late, and I don't know what I'm going to play. I don't know what I'm going to play because, like I said, um. I hate online. Uh, I might rip some event. Who knows? Like, we might have some fun. We might just have some fun. I don't know if you saw... Yes, I did. I saw what you said. Because I know that you were subbed here once um, when we played together. Uh, and that meant a lot to me, too. Um, but if the Islanders win the series, that you'll get five, I'll take it. I'll take... Uh, listen, I'll take that. I have no problem with that. That's a very quality bet. It's a quality deal. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's a quality move. I'll agree to that. 
that if the Islanders win, the uh, you give me five, I'll take, I'll take it, I'll take it, because I think you're gonna give me five subs. That's why I'm taking it. <laughs> um, no, but it's it's all good, you know. It's welcome all good. back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. What? That's me pressing. Uh, <laughs> thank you very much, Smitty, for the, uh, for the sub, resub, re um, for now two months. Well, it's like, it's really like three, because we've known each other, but then there was that break in between. But, um, didn't even notice I wasn't sub. Yeah, it happens. It's all right. It's all good in the hood. You know me. We're all good in the hood. And the 20 doesn't change to 21, because it's a fucking joke. The monthly sub goal don't move. The whole thing's a fucking circus. But we're almost there to the su to the follow goal, which I wanted by the end of the month, and then the sub goal, um, which Smitty's wonderful five when the Islanders beat the Penguins in six games, um, will <laughs> will help us hit. Um, but no, in all seriousness, I appreciate everyone who came out. I appreciate everyone who followed. I appreciate everyone who uh, supported. And also Smitty, because you just resubbed, right? I didn't have an emote when you were here. Now I do, as you can see. Now you have the emote. Um, and I appreciate you, you know, resubbing with the Santa squad for the next 30 days. I appreciate it, my guy. I do. Yeah, see? You didn't have that the last time you were here when we were playing COD. You didn't have it. You didn't have it. But, no, I appreciate everybody who came in, uh, like I said, from Nate's stream. Uh, I can't shout out Nate enough and, and say good, not so many nice things about him. I appreciate it. And, and that's just like, again, um, it's who he is, um happy that you guys watch him because i think that he is the best i think he is the i think he's the nicest i think he's the funniest i really do think he's pretty funny and his chat's pretty chill too but um i appreciate everybody who followed you know what do we have like 10 11 follows we had a couple of resubs and other types of subs and, and things like that so um it definitely means a lot to me uh i don't know why my voice cracked i'm not crying like i'm just a bitch but, um, 100%. Have a good Whee! night, man. Um, let's see. I'll give an oink oink. 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 I'll give a fucking... What else do we want to give out? What do we want to give? I'll give an oof. What else do we want? King of the castle? King of the castle. King of the castle. He is failing my assholes. <laughs> failing my... Uh-oh. Um, okay. okay. What do you want? I just suck my balls. <laughs> but, um, no, I appreciate... So, we are going to go raid... Um, he's still on, right? I'm not going to be fucked up. Okay, he is. He is still on. Uh, no, no, let's, let's get it, let's get it going, let's get it popping. The fact that I, listen, the fact that after that raid, that I was the third most viewed MLB streamer at a point tonight was absolutely fucking mind-blowing to me. I looked it up, I was like, what? And then when I saw it, I was like, oh my sweet, gentle Jesus, Danielle, I don't know how to spell it sometimes, Danielle Freak. So we're gonna raid, I appreciate everyone who, oh, sorry. I appreciate everyone who came in and followed and supported and, and subscribed and watched and hung out. I appreciate everybody. Um, even if you didn't follow and sub and all that shit, I still appreciate you all. Um, online sucks. And uh, let's go, Islanders. Fucking, you're going to be hearing this a lot, Smitty. Get ready. But uh, no, I appreciate everybody. I appreciate it. Let's go raid. Let's go help out. Danielle, he's at like 60, so let's get, we'll get him up to like 85. Uh, if you don't already follow him, another awesome, very kind man who streams the MLB. New kid, right? New father, right? So, pretty good. Uh, let's go do that. Come on, it says 24. Let's go. We got, yeah, we got 19. Let's get after it. All right? So, I appreciate everybody. I love you all. Uh, can't thank you all enough. I'll see you all maybe tomorrow. And one last time, let's go on with this. All right? So peace out, everybody. Peace out.